Did you know, no matter how many times you purchase with Jewelry Maker in the same day, you'll only be charged one fee of postage and packaging. Select our standard delivery for just $3.95, or if you'd like to receive your goods sooner, upgrade to our premium option for $5.95. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Buying with Jewelry Maker online couldn't be easier. Just head over to our website, jewelrymaker.com, and click on the register link. Simply fill in the required fields and you can shop 24 7. You'll also be privy to a faster checkout and personalised offers. Jewelry Maker, your one stop shop for all your jewelry making needs. Is it hot enough for you? Do you know, I pulled up in the car park, it's 31 degrees according to my car. It's so hot! Apparently it's going down again Sunday onwards. Is temperatures. it? Temperatures, yes, yeah, so we've still got a couple of days. Because he rang me this morning about sort of lunch times and he said, Are you out in the garden? I went, Am I heck? It's, it's too hot. <laughs> I'm sat in my lounge with the curtain shut. I can't cope. We used to do that when I was a child, when we were hiding... Oh, and I shouldn't have said... Ooh, oh, that was, that, was a, that was saying a lot about my history then. Go on. Hiding from the rent man. Hiding from the rent man. We've all done it. All our parents did really? it. Well, a lot okay. of us did. Right. <laughs> it's sure. the rent man. We're not in. <laughs> <laughs> oh, how are you? Apart hot. from the hot. Apart, apart from, from being hot, heat. I'm good, thank you. How are you? No, yeah, good. Mm -hmm. Very lucky. I've got Mark Smith, my bestie, and we've got the sexy Scott producing. It's going to be a good night the tonight. The sexy sales manager. There he is. Look, see everybody gathers. Like flies around the honey pot in there, look. Now then, like I said on my Facebook, if you if you follow my Facebook page, we have got the sales manager producing, and that means he's got he knows how to he knows how to get he deals does. that nobody else is allowed to do. He knows which buttons to press. He knows <laughs> <ain't enough. laughs> he knows which buttons to press. Don't you, Scott? Yeah. I think he's a bit he's a bit you know when people get a bit mm because they're but they're hot, I think he's a bit Back hot, in the day, it? we used to have, before the um, Style magazine, we used to have a Hub magazine. A Hub? Okay, and about four years ago, Scott, you won't mind me saying, was on the front cover. Oh. And, it was, and we were launching that month a range of wooden beads. Okay, <laughs> so there's, there's a picture of Scott's face bedecked in wooden jewellery, oh. and the tagline, wa the tagline was, you would, wouldn't you? Oh! I've still got it at it's home. Oh, I'll bring it in, oh, I'll bring brilliant. it in, I'll bring it in. Yeah, yeah. It's gorgeous. Uh, right then, can I just tell you, but, uh, before we start anything this evening, this man was close to tears with this kit. I'll, you don't mind me in saying, a good do you? Way, in, in a good, good way. way. He got yeah. so emotional with this kit. Are we allowed to give a flash of his jewellery before we do anything else, please? You've not seen it yet, have you? In the flesh. In the flesh, yeah. Look at this jewellery. And he's done it all in a day. Haven't you? Mm -hmm. A day. What, is that fair to say? A day. A day. A day. Yeah. <laughs> Mark Smith has made that jewellery in a day. Mm. Not without stress. Not without the the, the odd text the and panic station. Phone, yeah. phone calls of, of reassurance. Still, and I said to him, "See, you fret, I and then that. you deliver jewellery like I that." I love that. Well, oh. am I right in thinking that we've got two tubes of long magatamas this go. evening in brand new colours that we have never had before? And Swarovski pearls that I've never seen before. Not Swarovski used pearls before. that you've not used before, not seen before. Lo no. Long magatamas in, magatamas in two colours that we've never had before. There is a star in this. In this, there is a little star in that necklace you just saw there. Well, also, mm. can you just bring over the um, the if bracelet? I bring over the, which one? The one that you're going to give away. Oh yes. Can I bring you this one first? Did we mention this to you, Scott? I believe oh, yes. we did. This is the blue opal from our first kit. Yeah, for those of you that fell in love with the tangerine opal, we have a kit in the 7 o'clock hour, 42 chances only mm. on this limited edition stunning blue opal. It's beautiful. 42 Absolutely chances, beautiful. that's it. Now this bracelet, now we're, oh, not, yes. we're not giving... No, no, no. no. I was just, that's confusing because I asked you for the one we're giving right. away and you pass that across. Just to show the blue just opal Just to off. show, yes. right. So, no. Yeah. 
but this is... So, because I was so enamoured with this kit, and because it's insect day, it's a bug's life day, and I looked at this and it just, it just sang bumblebee to me, when we get to the nine o'clock kit, whoever purchases the kit, we will choose one name at random to win this Magatama bangle. Which I think is just No, it nearly summer, didn't happen, it? I'll be truthful, because I, I tried summer. to blag it, mm. didn't I? Mm. I tried to blag that, so, and he said, no, no, we're giving it away. I went, no, yes. he went, no, Xena, hands off. I went, oh, all right then. So I did try and yes. ill for it. I did. <laughs> so we have the 42 only limited well. edition kits with the true blue, the royal blue Ethiopian opal. So we've got that coming up in the seven o'clock hour. In the nine o'clock hour, we've got whomever, a whomever, 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 whomsoever, whomsoever, buys yeah. the kit in the nine o'clock hour will have the chance of winning that Mark Smith stunning piece of jewellery. Mm -hmm. Love them. What mm -hmm. was that little thing that you were talking to Hannah about before the show about? You thought they were really lovely and for fascinators and. Oh, what these. Was that? Oh, Can we start these. with these? Because it's our, we're calling it our. our Bugs life. Bugs life. Yeah. I had to rescue Daddy Longlegs in my study today. I like Daddy Longlegs. I think they're really cute. Yeah. I, I got him straight in my hand, and then I put, and he came back in my spare bed. I was looking from one the study to the spare bedroom. Put him out, and then he came. I went, "What are you doing? You won't have any food in here, will you? No point living in here, is there?" So I got oh, his yeah. little, and I put him out, and the out he went. Do you know the damage that the grub of the crane fly does to people's lawns. My lawns aren't growing very much at the minute. Ours aren't. No ones Not are. are they? They're going. Bows are going brown. And mine. Yeah. I've bought some They'll special. I've bought some treatment. They'll I'm going to do it They'll tomorrow. Come back. It just needs a bit of water. How oh, about for fascinators, for garlands, wow. for cake de decorations? I'm just oh, thinking really? you can embellish the antennae, couldn't yes, you? With you beads could. and so gemstones. There, and don't know whether you can see that. If I just put my hand behind it, there are some little antennae. Look. And you could oh, cover those yeah. in seed beads, couldn't you? Yeah, them little gemstones. Yeah. Aren't they beautiful? <laughs> For two? I told oh, you. Gosh. Sales manager in the producer's chair. I warned you. I'd put that on top of a parcel in amongst the wrapping on a nice parcel. Would you? Yeah. See, that to me is fascinator all day long. Fascinator. Steely boppers. Steely boppers. Yeah. Steely oh, boppers, yeah. Do you remember call? those? Yeah. Oh, can I do it? Do you remember those when we used to all wear those as kids? Your boppers and you'd walk around like that and you'd go around on your bike. You don't remember these kids, yeah. will you? I remember. You remember them, do you? Well, they were called boppers, weren't they? De or dealy boppers. Dealy boppers. Yeah. Do you remember? Yeah. If you go to an 80s party, you've got a dealy bopper and a butterfly. Mm. <laughs> you think I'm joking? Even this weekend, Radio mm. 2 going back to Ibiza for the 80s. Really? Yeah. Radio 2 with old, old Gary Davis are back in Ibiza this weekend, 80s weekend, in Ibiza. I wish I was going. Oh, I wish I was going. Bonnie Tyler, Tony Hadley, all that lot are going to be there. Oh, they wow. have a great gig at, in Ibiza, that will. Oh. Yeah, he was on your plane when you flew back from Mallorca. You also haven't mentioned to me that my lovely cousin flew you home. My cousin's son, Matt Bennett, flew Scott home the other day and he didn't even tell me. Oh, wow. yeah. He flew him home, my cousin's son. God, I don't know if I'd get on a flight with Matt Bennett, my cousin, flying me back. Yeah, did you not realise? Yeah. <laughs> um, the doors had shut and he was on by that point. Right, can I just um, ascertain, darling, how many have got left? They're amazing. They're wonderful, aren't they? We had 120. I've got less. Ha over half the stock has gone. Aren't they beautiful, though? So we think... If you check these out, a lot of you have. Tell me what you're going to do with them, will you? Text in on 60777. Start your text with JM Studio. So, Mark, you would use them as... What would you do? I would incorporate... Use them on top of a parcel with a, in amongst your bows. Yeah. You have your ribbons on your bows. Yeah, that's a good would, idea. Yeah, um, obviously, floral. A floral, floral decorations. Yeah. Floral decorations. Yeah. You could wrap it around a candle. Yeah, wrap it around a candle. Cake top yeah, decorations. Cake toppers, yeah. If you're decorating for a wedding... I know our lovely friend Alan, mm -hmm. you know, our mm -hmm. uh, guest designer yeah. Alan that used to be here. He's just done a, decorated a whole wedding mm -hmm. for some friends. That's the kind of thing you could have a butterfly themed. You could have butterfly themed parties. You could even put, could you, wow. like if you've got guests coming round, I'd actually have these on the table in the garden in a flower pot with some flowers. One on a pillow wrapped around a chocolate. Oh, that's, oh, Arcadus. Or, <laughs> yeah, actually, when you're having guests coming to your house, you could just have those sort of, you could twist those and have them on mm. like the, head, the, yeah, head, the, the bedstead, yeah. the bed frame. You know, like people wrap um, fairy lights. 
It's a good idea. That's a nice idea, isn't it? Or in your cinema, if you're going to the oh, races, yeah. if you're yeah. going to a, a ball, you could have that in a beautiful tiara or a headband or on a course. There's so many ways you could use those, isn't there? Um, I keep thinking that Mark couldn't possibly keep coming up with totally or amazing jewellery, but OMG, this is his best collection yet. Wow. Karen Thank says. You, Karen. Hello, Karen. Oh. I think she said something nice to me then, didn't you? But I didn't read it. Sorry. I think she said, oh. hello, Zena. Hello, Karen. Hello. Hello. Marion, yay, Team May is on our screens again tonight. Have a great show. Both love from Marion, my mate from Four Oaks. I know what Four Oaks is now. Did you have a look? Yeah. Let's meet at the dessert shop. We've got to go to the little dessert shop. It's all low fat. Diane said, lovely to see the dynamic duo again. Oh, it's a good job because we're on Thursday as well. <laughs> you can't have in trouble, like you? Saturday, Monday, you know what we've got Tuesday. On, am I allowed to say what we've got on Thursday before you know we've even gone we know, through today? You know you're not, and then you do. You know mm. you're not. No, it's not that. It's something else. Oh. Oh, my word. Well, we, what, should, we, should we get through tonight first? Okay. Should, let's, get, let's get through tonight first, okay. and then you can do it at the end. I've never right? had it before, ever. Okay, should we do it at the end? Okay. 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 Can I show Mark the Aquamarine? This? Yes, I can, Scott. Um, how many left, sorry, did you say? Oh, oh, there's only 20 left. They're so lovely, on. Do you know, just one more thing. You know what I'd do? You know, if you bought, like, a beautiful um, bunch of flowers, like it's my, my friend's wedding anniversary on Tuesday, uh, 30 years on Monday, I'd tie those to the, to the, uh, to the bouquet. I, I think that's... I think that... And then somebody's got something, somebody's got something to keep, haven't they? Ooh. I love those. Look at the... Have you seen... Not before I move on, I'm so sorry. Have you seen the detail? Can I just be... Scott, I'm sorry, but... Can I just show you the, in, the internal detail? Not just in the wings. But look at that! Look at the detail! Isn't that beautiful? I love them. Yeah, you can mould them as well. Mm. Oh. This is... Are you sure I've got the right strand there for that price, hon? You're joking. Uh, can I just mention, this evening... Oh. Just put that under there, look. This is he's stolen it off me already. This because my, it's Mark Smith's favourite gemstone. Just put it down. On, there you go. You can see it better then. Um, oh my word! I don't think I've ever seen aquamarine in this in this shape before. Play. No, no, oh, no, 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 no. Yes, Mark. Don't you start? No, no, no. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, 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 yes. We are going under. Should we say? Yeah, we're doing it under ten pounds. <laughs> In quarter of an hour. I might be wrong, but I don't think I've ever been produced you, by wrong. Scott before. You wrong. Have you never been produced by Scott? I you must have I don't done. think I have, you know. I don't it's think very I have. exciting. Can I have my board back, Sorry. please? Yes. Sorry. I don't think so, Scott. Oh, no. I think you are. I've definitely not had you in my ear before. And I've had, I've had the earpiece for 18 months now. So, yeah, let's just say that then. I've not... Okay. Yeah. There is, there is a little turtle oh. out here. There's only ten left. It's not the Labradorite, it's oh. not the Baltic Amber, oh. it's the Rainbow Moonstone Turtle. Oh, you have to have the set. Well, yeah. But we've had them, uh, we had the Labradorite on the other day, it sold oh, out. he was cute. He was so cute, wasn't he? I told my little brother yeah. about him because he's got a real life turtle. Now then again, it is wonderful. You can see the hints of the blue, but they are yeah. spectacular. I've just got to avoid those. You can see the reflection of all the overhead lights there, but you can also see that lovely glacial shiller of the blue underneath, can't you, in that turtle charm. Four carrots. Yeah, but you just splashed it all over me. Oh, no, I didn't. You did. No, you did. Oh, sorry. <laughs> are you all right? Did yes, you just burn your I mouth? I did. Mm. Was the tea hot? I you all right? Everything. Yeah. That's nice. 925 sterling silver, four carat rainbow moonstone. I genuinely, I know we talk about the prices here and we get shocked at some, but I do not understand how with that much silver, 3.7 grams, all that detail in that silver work, that hidden bale that is behind the tweezers there, looks you're not even going to see it when it's, when it's actually on the neckline. I'll show you to scale, look. And if you've got any of our sterling silver chains, it would be perfect, wouldn't it? Whether you go on the on the neckline, whether you go, and, and for I mean, it's not a bug, oh. but it's an animal, isn't it? An animal-inspired jewelry. Really it's an popular. animal with an exoskeleton. What? It's an animal with an exoskeleton. Oh, it's a reptile or amphibian. Is it reptile? Isn't it? 
a tortoise. Can we not talk about reptiles? I'm already scared about the snake we've got here. I'm petrified of mm. seeing it. Okay. Don't want to see the snake. I'm not very good with snakes. I'm not good mm. with snakes. Oh. No, but we've got a video of it going back into the house, into the wall. I keep sitting there thinking I'm going to have a snake around me thinking, hello, would you like help? Would you like help with the show? No, I don't. <laughs> anyway, um, well done to Tracy, Jane, Karen, Esther, Collector, Deborah, Collector, Christine, Collector in Dumfries and Galloway. Wow. Last chance on the lovely Turtle Tastic. He's so beautiful. And wait till you see the uh, the Agilor Essence when you get home because it's just been, uh, it's beautiful. Can I just show Mark actually because you can't see it. Look at that. Oh, it's beautiful. I love the knobbliness of his legs. I'm sure he'll say the same That's thing lovely. about you. I don't know if Scott knows, but a group of tortoise is called a creep. Mm. 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 Scott's got his legs out today, ladies and gentlemen. You'll never see my legs in a million years. I don't even have my legs out at home in the privacy of my own home. But Scott's got his legs out today. Mm. Um, now then, we only have... Oh, and I've got the most wonderful strand of black spinel today. Have you? Oh, yeah, I'm going to show you that while I show these, because I haven't got many that... Look at those. They're so unusual. Oh, my word. Never seen that. Where's my mystic topaz? Look at these. Ah, right, then I've got the last... Is it... Look at those, aren't they? Ace. They're amazing. They're brand new today. And they're coming wow. up for, for you as a star by in an hour and a quarter, half past seven. I love oh, them. I love them. Love them. Uh, right then, now you Gosh. love these as well. We have got the last, how oh, many, darling? Look at this. The last 12. I'll say last because we've got Mark Smith on. I've got the last 12 of the Mystic Topaz. Oh, my word. Beautiful Mystic Topaz. Real new kid on the block. Do you know when these were first um, discovered? No. 1998. 1998 is the first time we started seeing Mystic Topaz. Very young. Very, oh. very, I would say probably the, probably the, the most yes. latest or most recent, whatever that yeah. means. I can't yeah. work out how to describe it. That's but um, yes, yeah, so we've got, um, it, because obviously Topaz is naturally, <laughs> naturally colourless. But then what we've done there is we've given it a lovely coating to give it this unique rainbow colour effect. I'm going to like a Scott show. We're, you are going to like mm. a Scott show because yeah. Scott's just mentioned. Is it a lowest <laughs> ever price, mister? Yeah. Oh. It's a sales manager special. Wow. Mystic Topaz. If you like glitter, if you like brilliance, if you like sparkle and you like lots of colours and you like the AB on the Swarovski, that's got your name on it. I'm just saying. It does. Got your name on it. £21.95 never happened before. Last six chances. You've got to be quick. And Neela, boom, she's in. She's had two. Deborah's in. Oh, all the girls from Essex are in. Are you liking Jack on Love Island? No, but, you know, just wondered. He's ever so nice. I can't believe I'm watching Love Island. I'm actually You know the shock. names and everything. I mm. watched it when it was Callum Best back in the day. The original Love Island I watched, which was with Brendan and Celebrity Love Island. And I loved it. It was brilliant. Um, it was really good. It was really good. But then my little brother said, please watch Love Island. And I went, oh, I've really got better things to do in my life. And I think, actually, <laughs> do you know what? I, I literally get home from here, get in, race upstairs, get me, get me kegs off, get me dressing gown on, get downstairs, cup of tea, get on me, recline my sofa, Love Island. <laughs> you like Josh? Yeah, Josh is good. Josh is good. But Jack, oh, I'd go for Jack's lovely. Anyway, in case you're not watching Love Island, then uh, everybody's like, you've gone right down in my estimation, Seema. Who said that? Everybody probably. Everybody. <laughs> Everybody probably. Piers Morgan. Is it true that Piers Morgan's son might be going on it? Apparently. And he's, he's been right having a go about it as well. It's hilarious. Mm. Um, we've got a text message from Julie Susie. What's it? Good evening, Team Maze. Scott. Yum, yum. So, mm. Trust him to put that message in. And crew, the Mystic <laughs> Topaz are lovely and sparkly. And mine, Chili Susie, what's it? Hey, Scott, um, I won't say anything, but has any, have you said anything yet? About you? Okay. Would you, am I not then? No, okay. Okay. Silence is go. Are you sure you don't want me to say? Because it's. Okay. Oh, that's going to be difficult for me I mean, to keep your mouth shut now, isn't it? Mm. 
Silence is good. How long before you get married? Two weeks till he gets married. <laughs> Hard to get a break. In the meantime, it's going to be your first, and we've got lots of amazing mm. ones tonight because we've got the sales manager in. Summer. And those, those aquamarines. Oh, in fact, shall I show you the aquamarines together with the pearls? Mark's like, yeah, please. Ten minutes on these aquamarines, coming up to ten pounds. Oh, it's so naughty. I don't know what that laugh was. Uh, so, big, 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 we've decided Nougat, haven't we, Mark? <laughs> We're not happy with nuggets, are we, when it comes to a pearl? No, Nougat. 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 You just touched my lips. I wonder what French for nugget is. Nugget. Have to you get. You touched my leg then. Accidentally. Oh, thanks. Got all excited then. White fresh. Oh, not again. Oh. Really, not again. Hornet face. Go away. Really. Mind you, it is bug day. It is bug day. I think it was a hornet. Oh. To be fair, it is a bug day. We should have a hornet, shouldn't we? Yeah. 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 Now then, I happen to know. Now I don't know whether I'm go allowed to. Am I allowed to let people know about the not a bead tool? Is that allowed? Okay. Saturday morning. I think it's ten a.m. The not a bead tool is back. You know the blue one. Oh wow. Yeah. Ten o'clock. I think cause I've just done a voiceover for it. I don't know if it's ready for tonight, but I think it's ten o'clock if I remember my voiceover. I did it in one take because it was too hot up in the attic where we have to do the microphone recordings. I was like, that's a one take wonder, that is. It's too hot. But I think it's 10 o'clock Saturday morning, the not to be tools back in. Yeah. Anyway, just thought I'd share that with you. We can't keep a secret, me and him. Pointless. So uh, you heard it first here. Six to seven to seven to nine mil. Big full length strand. Why are you looking? Why are you looking <laughs> perplexed not, at me? I've said to you, you can. very fair. If, that's not very fair. Well, I, I want to tell the, tell the world what we've got coming up on Thursday. You can later. And you told the world what's coming can, up yeah, on but, Saturday, but, which is even further away. Yeah, but that's a tool. That's not what you're trying to for Thursday. No, it's not that. Okay. It's something else. It's something else. Whisper to me. Whisper to me and I'll... Can I just... We'll discuss it in the break. Okay. Okay. So the Aquamarine is coming up in six minutes. Under £10. Under £10. But um, I bet... I bet... I was just going to... Do you mean six ninety five at the minute? Ooh. Oh, I take it back. I'm not going to like a Scott show. Oh, you are. What? What? Because you're not at home buying. Four ninety five. Well, that's illegal. Oh dear. Warning. Price police. Ooh, ooh, ooh. There you go. Yeah, that's slightly better, isn't it? Four ninety. And uh, they're not bleached. They're not treated. They're not. They're not. They're completely natural. Completely na Oh, I know what I'd put with them. My other star buy that's coming up at half nine today. Oh, I love frosted. I love frosted. Amber. We do, do because you know that mm. one we had the other day where you got that specific green that's oh, yes. only yes. on that nugget strand. Do you remember? Yeah. You, yeah, was that yesterday? It was. Yeah. <laughs> Gosh, I can't remember yeah, when yesterday it was. was. Yesterday, yeah. It might have been. I wasn't sure if it was Saturday, but yeah, the yeah. frosted nuggets, great for the, great for every unisex, everybody, non-gender specific. They are your star buy, your frosted nuggets. Um, but everything we've got on the show today, star buy is going to look at that. Oh, Larimar yeah. as well, and that Larimar. Uh, I've got to just show you this as well. Sorry to keep. He's getting stroppy. You, you are a bit, you are a bit feisty today. He snapped my head off when you did on the phone. I went, well, it's because he gets excited. <laughs> he gets excited. We were on crossed wires. It was oh, my, no, it was my fault actually. Here we go. Michelle said the French word is pipette. Pipette. Oh. Loving the show, guys, and keep up with the French. You sound better than I do. Oh, I doubt that, Michelle. Oh. I tell you what, then, Michelle. Pe Pepite. Petit pois. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Oh, excuse me. Hey, fever. I'm, it's really bad again today. Yeah. Sorry. Papit. Larimar, most affordable Larimar I've ever seen. You make the most of a Scott. He doesn't produce very often when he does. Make the most of it. I've also got Chrome Dark Side and Burmese Ruby coming up. 
as well. Uh, right then, uh, but Michelle, merci beaucoup, madame. Oh, Mark. No, actually, I love it when you get feisty because I love it how passionate you get. We were just at cross wires. I just didn't explain. No, I, I didn't. I don't think you didn't explain it very well, and I don't think I heard it very well. Right. And we were getting all confused, weren't we? And he was mm. going, Wait, and it, it's this, and I'm like, oh, I don't get it. No. <laughs> but so we got there in the end. I'm so sorry. We got there it in was the my, end. I think it was mostly my fault because I think, I think I just didn't get it. <laughs> okay, you only think, I've got it. I've got it. <laughs> And it's terrible, isn't it, when you're trying to explain it to someone and they're not getting it. You're like, are you, are you what's wrong with it? Mm. <laughs> um, OK, um, Michael, Mike, let's have a chat. Oh, ooh. Oh, my word. Oh. See, this is where I wish I could prom set. I must learn how to do it. Well, get Claire's DVD. Yeah, I'm gonna Teach her how to prong set. It was launched yeah. on Monday, wasn't it? Yes, yeah. Oh, look at this. This is the last 20 available on the most stunning. We so, so rarely have a concave cut. And it looks like, you know when you go to see, a, like, like you see a firework in the sky? And it ricochets up into the sky, doesn't it? It goes like a rocket and then it suddenly explodes. And at that point of explosion, when it goes boom into the air and then it starts to fall like that, doesn't it? That, you know, it when, it goes, you know when it goes boom and, it, and then all the fallout goes like that? Yeah? That's what a concave cut looks like. Very, very, and do you know as well, with a concave cut, it takes about two and a half times longer than any other cut, and therefore should be at least twice as expensive in a concave cut. Look at that, isn't that stunning? It's got a lovely girdle as well. That is beautiful. I'm going to even turn that around so you can see the reverse, just to show you the brilliance of the cut of a concave cut. The lovely thing is as well, you are going to get four of them of the same size, well, 11 to 9 by 8 to, 18 to 14. So you are guaranteed to get four of them. She's very generous. Um, I've been on a, on, a, on a gemstone collector site presenting where I would have happily charged you the following price for one of those, if you don't mind me saying. Got to be honest. Oh. 24.95 my lovelies for four concave cut whoppers of clear quartz it's another lowest ever price is it mr sales manager do you like being called sales manager does it make you feel big and important yeah he says <laughs> never ever happened so we've ne we've just taken 20 percent off he's not just giving you like a, a pound he's giving you 20 percent saving there as our lovely Scott. So, mm. um, again, if you did manage to buy Claire McDonald's prong setting DVD on Monday that we released oh. on its own individually as opposed to the, the birthday box set, and you got that brilliant prong set DVD, you're going to learn. And Claire, to be fair, she didn't know to, how to prong set about a year or so ago. Mm. She was about that. So I might have the time frame slightly wrong. But I remember the day that Claire learned how to do it with one, and had our prong setting kit. I don't know if we still got those prong setting kits, um, Scott. Do you remember those? They were brilliant, they were, with the fold-over unit and the wooden clamp. They were, I don't know if we've got any, if we could put them on, I don't know. I don't know if we have, but Claire oh. learned how, and she said to me, she couldn't believe how easy it was, the prong set. You know, and now, look at her, she's absolutely superb. Um, mm. And she's even done a whole DVD on it. When I was at the garden centre before I joined Jewelry Maker, I was, I was known as Garden Sundry's manager. Were you? Mm -hmm. What does that mean? What's a sundry? Everything that isn't alive. So weed oh. killers and pesticides uh -huh. and composts and oh. all the and tools and all the oh, okay. all the gubbins inside. Garden sundries manager. Yes. Mm. Mm. That's funny because when I left today, you know, the last thing. I, funny enough, on it being bug day, mm. I unwrapped my package of ant killer powder. Do you? Mm. Which I feel a bit bad about. I just don't like killing things, but mm. my ants are oh, taking over. Yeah, that causes a lot of damage. Oh no, but I keep looking out at them, going, make the most of it. <laughs> I can't bear to, I can't, I just can't, I can't bear, because they work hard, don't they? They work so hard, I feel sorry. Now they, um, is the basket stop working? Mm. What's wrong with the basket, Sandra? Collecting John Friesen, Galloway, Doreen, Carolyn, Collecting Fife. If you hover, you may miss out. Do you remember that advert? It's a lot less bother with a hover. Yeah. What is it? Less, was that right? Yeah, it was right. It's a lot it's less bother with a hover. Yeah. Do you remember? 
1995. What's your favourite bug? Favourite What's your favourite bug? bug? Gosh. Text in on 60777. Start your text with James, do you? Is it a ladybird bug? Because they call those ladybugs, don't they, in America? Yeah, yeah. As opposed to ladybird. Ladybug. I'm trying to think of the most useful rather than my most favourite. Mm. I like earthworms. Oh, earthworms I love worms. Do an amazing job in the yeah. garden. So I think mm. earthworm is my favourite. Yeah, I like a worm. It's not really a bug, is it? Well, you know, bug. We'll be, yeah. a, we'll be loose with the word okay. bug. Earthworm. Okay. Um, they are about to sell out and they're also going to go lovely, beautifully with the next star buy, which is his favourite gemstone. This is brilliant. Are you sure <laughs> you can do this prize? I'm, I'm just oh, saying. Word. You think you are. Mm, I think you should be unsure, mister. Because it's a really long strand. It's aquamarine, it's which is... This is perfect. Oh, sorry, I lost what I was in. What was I saying? completely lost with the thread of what I was saying then. Long strand. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Long, long strand mm. of one of the most recognised gemstones on the planet. One of the most loved. It's got so much folklore and all associations said to be, the, it's said to be brought to the surface from the chest of a mermaid. Ooh. Mm. Gosh. I think it means the chest at the, uh, with treasure as opposed to the mermaid's chest. Oh, no. Why well, say no, no? Nothing in brackets. What do you mean? Natural. It means it's natural. It is no natural. Treatment. No treatment. No heat so treatment. So how are we doing what we're doing? Because you because you got man you don't question the manager. You just you just accept and enjoy. Okay. Because okay. quite if the manager's done it, you can't do it. You're not. We haven't done anything wrong, have we? No. Nobody. Nowhere to go to. Sixty-four carats of aquamarine that is completely genuine from the wonderful Madagascar, where we absolutely love our labrador labradorite to come from. You've got bridal, 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 definitely. Perfect with that lovely light blue for bridal creations and commissions. So it's a necessity, I would have thought, for anybody working and making bridal pieces. And then if you just adore blue, we know, don't we, after all the research that the gemology world keeps doing is that, and the jewellery trade, is that blue is the favourite colour of jewellery. Absolutely, yes. That is yeah. male, female, everybody, you know, that is the favourite colour, bar none. Now, you can see a price, apparently, of... Nine ninety five. Still far too low. We, it is far too low <laughs> for for such a um, forty have gone. <sighs> How many did one have? Oh, actually, that's quite mm. good news. Now Sandra's very impressed with the price, so she's bought two. Sandra, you might wish to increase your order, my lovely, because we're turning the nine upside down. We're turning it on its head. Now, later on, I'm going to be doing a demonstration on how to kumahima with magatamas, and you can replicate that exactly. I would be buying four strands of this, and I would make the most incredible chipahimo yep. treatment. And this, this shape of gemstone, if you have lots of them in your stash, is the perfect shape for kumahima with. It's just beautiful. Oh, you're in trouble with Liz. Scott! <laughs> so much so, she's put it in capital. Scott! You always know when you're in trouble when it's, when it's capitals. An exclamation mark. I know you are in charge, she says, dot, 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 dot. But that price is just, she's shouting again, but hang on, she turns it around into a positive. She said, ridiculous. And then, but then she goes, woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> that was a roller coaster of emotions. That was a Scott. A little warning, little warning, little. Then she went, it's ridiculous on behalf of the, of the gems. And then she bought it. <laughs> We all do that, don't we? We go, oh, I feel bad. Oh, I love it. <laughs> we get over it pretty quickly, don't we? <laughs> We're like, ooh. Right, um, now the good news is, we are... <coughs> oh, you are right. The good news is, not that Mark's got a cough, the good news is, is we actually managed to get a reasonable volume of those. We absolutely, if I hold that out over the board for you so you can see, we stacked the strap. They're all bunched up like that. Ooh. 
So they're stacked on the strand. It's the the colour is so strong. Colour's brilliant. It? It's beautiful. Yeah, and uh, we're at six ninety five. Oh, well, there you go then. Listen to this. Mm -hmm. Deborah's had two. Mary's had two. Sarah's had two. Anne's had two. Joyce has had two. Karen's had two. Collector in Somerset's had three. Muriel's had two. Beverly's had two. Olive's had two, and the list goes on. Can't have two. You'd have how many? Five at least. Five. I've got, I, can, I can see the piece of jewellery in my head that I would make with it. Go on then. It'd be a, the, the, the Kumahimo piece. Oh, okay. Can you and show what, what you mean it's by... it's graduated, isn't it, this necklace? Yes. So you would take five strands, you would take the first inch and put them together, then the okay. second inch together, so you'd have an amazing graduated... be like a mayoral chain. Have you got a Kumahimo there? So anybody that doesn't yes. understand Kumahimo knows what, what on earth you're going on about. So this is Kumahimo with the Magatamas that we've got coming up at nine o'clock. So this is the braid which is Eslon, which we've also got an amazing bundle. Oh, we've got all the Kumahimo discs and weights and yeah, cords we've got, and we've got everything. endings. So, yeah. so this is the braid, and then we move down into six O's, and then we go into the Magatamas. Wow. So all, this, all of this is from one kit, which we've got coming up later. So you imagine that design, but, but with, with the aquamarine. With the aquamarine, yeah. Phenomenal. Superb. Thank you. Can I just say, Scott? Yes. We love you. With gritted teeth, thank we you. We loved you anyway. But when you do things like that, we love you ever just a little bit. We squeezed a bit more love out for you. There's always a bit more to give, I think. I do. It doesn't drive me mad that people go, I'd give 150%. You're like, no, you, uh, no, you don't. Yeah. I never get that, do I? No, do I don't you? 100% is 100%. Mm, no, 100%. You don't need to go anymore. Uh, lovely length of drop. Look at the postmark. Look at that one in the middle mm. there. Look how long it is. That's it's really like when you see a droplet from a tap, isn't it? You know when you yes, see a droplet yes. and you watch... I need to get out more, I appreciate. But you watch it and it, and it, it, it sort of builds and builds and builds and, you, and then it goes. That's the kind of... Do you no. like my sound effects tonight? <laughs> huh? uh, Kyoto says, good evening. Good evening. Oh, good evening. Ooh, good evening. Good evening, good evening good Kyoto. Evening. Good evening. I'm confused. Oh. Is this the Star Boy show? No words for these prices other than thanksies. Oh, I've never heard that word. Thanksies, I like that. <laughs> oh, can we use that? I like thanksies. Has anybody else heard that before? Thanksies. Oh, I really like that. Oh, Margot as well. These are all our regulars coming in. Margot says, Scott, what are you doing? I'm seriously <laughs> skint, but I love it. Hello, lovely people. <laughs> Hello, Margot. I love the word skint. I like the word skin. Mm. Oh, they, I do the voices of what I think, they, they, what they're trying to say. Yeah. Because they're the <laughs> one, you know, getting in character, don't we? We like to get in character. I love that though. Thanks, Is. I'm going to use that. Oh. Watch out, my new texts are going to say, Thanks, okay. Is. What a lovely word no, that thanks, is. Sis. That upsets you because it's not grammatically correct. So you're not comfortable with thanks, Is, in the next, mm, are you? That's all right. I've never heard it before. It's a new word. So then, that's kind of the Kumahimo look, isn't it? Yeah, that's it. Yeah? Yeah, it's perfect. Yes, yep. Oh, Scott's on a roll. I'm just going to show you as well. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, I'm sorry. I've been, you know when you wake up and something's bitten you? Oh, I've been bitten right on my shoulder blade. Do you sleep with the windows open at no, night? No, no, no. I always no. think somebody's going to come in and attack me, so right, no. Right. No, don't like leaving the windows open mm. when I live on my own. Mm. Do you? Yeah. Yeah, no. Um, yeah, no, I'm too scared. Can I just mention the black spinel, my lovelies, which is coming up at, well, it's coming up at half seven, but... Because we've had a lot of interest on text messages into the gallery with my producer, he's just put them on um, uh, pre-order. So if you fancy getting them all early and you've got to go out or you've just, I don't know, you've got to bath the dog, bath the kids, D-O, bath yourself, D-O-V-X-95. So you can get it early. So you can, now, the way you do that, it actually says, buy it, get it early, doesn't it? And you get a little blue border around it as well. You do. A little turquoisey blue so border. So you can just ring the call centre and uh, look. And it's like it's like when I get a thing from the from the um, from the from the theatre saying, well, because you're a friend of the theatre, because you're in the know, you can buy tickets earlier than anybody else. So I'd bought Les Miserables tickets, the exactly the seats I wanted. Messaged all my mates, right? They're on order. Do you want me to get them for you? Got everybody I know, Les Miserables tickets before they go on sale to the general public, and that's what like the pre-order is. You get to ch ch get it early, because we've told you, you, it's like, oh, yeah, I know, I can get it early. Aww. It's good, isn't it? So those, what's the price on them? What are the, what's, what's the shape? Because I'm looking at it, I would... I Faceted would... cone. Oh, exactly what I would name them. Thank you, that's clarified. So, that. are there any left? 
Scottalicious. Right, we, do you know what? We had 265 and over 220 have gone. At 6.95. Tell me what, actually, Mark. I know you've gone on about Kuma Hemo in and things, but you could just restrand that, couldn't you? As it is. You could, As couldn't you? You brele wrap them into all sorts. Brilliant. Really elegantise them. That's a good word. You're lovely. Oh. I told you that today. I had this big speech that I was going to talk to you about on, the, on air this morning, but I didn't think it was... It was the right thing to do live in front of people, so I'll leave it for another day. It was lovely. Yeah. It was. I feel short it'll, make you, it'll make you cry. So no, I don't make me cry. Don't make me cry. You know how easily I can cry yeah. on it. I can't believe these. They're <laughs> incredible. I've never seen this shape before. Um, can I wow. just say, if you don't check out within the next... Well, I'll tell you what, can I give you the list of people that have yet to check out, just to give you a little nudgerama? Because Angela... Ella, 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 Paula, Collector, that was mine, Rihanna, um, Doreen, Dorothy, Lisa, Diane, Cindy, Madeline, Christine, uh, Lisa, Anne, all of you. Now, Nora's just coming on the telephone. And Neela's had four? Get, get you, Neela. Wow. Good for you. Um, so, all those people within the baskets. Now, when I read that out, that, do, that doesn't include people that come straight through to the call centre, because I don't know until you've uh, checked out. I'm not psychic. Yeah. Uh, how many on the phone? Yeah. So we can see the call lines, but we don't know... How many they're buying. Right, so, but I yes. don't get access. Now, no. the producer can see how many people on the telephone. I can't see, because I'm not psychic. I haven't got a little, a little camera everywhere. You're not everywhere. Mystic Meg. No, I'm not. Yeah. Do you remember her? Mystic, that goes, well, that goes mm. back a long way. Mystic when Meg. When the lottery started, wasn't it? Yeah. Mystic Meg. Yeah. Mystic Meg. I don't think that was a real name. Anyway, um, yeah, if, I'm just a bit worried, because if, if people are coming in and buying four each... That's not going to last long, is it? You can have a little play with them. One of my other favourite strands is on the tea bar over there, I see. That one? No, no, to the right of the jadeite, the, um, the coated. Oh, the yeah, we love that, don't we? Yeah. Yeah. Isn't that beautiful? Now, there aren't many of these left. In fact, 13 are lucky for some. Peter Sight. You like out of this world cabochons, something totally and utterly unique then you opt for Peter sight it's just so difficult for me because look when I hold that all you can see is the overhead lights look and it, it does its best to sort of ruin all the effects but that's why we offer you 30 day money back guarantee now I tell you I bought online which I don't know whether it's actually legal but I bought online a very a, a, an expensive telephone mobile phone yeah, over a, th over a thousand pounds, and I had fourteen days to think a about. Thousand what... pounds. Yeah, fourteen right. days. Now I don't think in our busy lives that fourteen days is long enough. Thirty days, I'm, I think that's fine. I think that gives you ample time to take something back. Mm. But fourteen days, I don't think is fair. No. So actually, no. I th I think thirty days is smack on to you because it just gives you enough time to not have to rush. Mm. You get your chance to fall in love with it, see how you feel, think about the joy you're going to make. If it's not for you, you send it back. At our garden centre, we had a hardy plant guarantee for 10 years. If you bought a tree or a shrub from us and it died within 10 years, and you bought it back with a receipt... And I bet you didn't have many people did it do, did you? 10 years. I will just say, this is going to make me sound really bad, and you're all going to think of me badly now. I buy from a shop, a certain kitchenware type style shop that offered a lifetime guarantee. And when I moved house, yes, when I, he just said which name the shop was, when I moved house five years ago, I found unused in a packet a, a Venetian blind cleaner. Unopened, never used, and I don't have Venetian blinds mm. anymore. Mm. So I took it back <laughs> after 16 years. And they did it, they took it back. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Well, I don't like, it's not the money, I don't like wastage, and I knew I'd never use mm. it. 16 years. Is that, have you, can you beat that? Taking wow. something back and getting a full refund? <laughs> I felt bad, but it's not the money. It's the fact that I don't like, I didn't like it to be wasted. I wanted somebody else to be able to buy it with the Venetian blind. I've only got seven left of the Peter side. They are fascinating gemstones. I can never show them properly in the studio because of those very, very, very bright lights. But you will fall in love with them. And from as a collectability, these gemstones are so unique and so highly sought after that if you manage to get hold of those, you've got yourselves a real, real rare treat to get Peter Sight cabochons. They're lovely, aren't they? 
I just love, love, love the. In fact, do we know yet? Have we done a count, sales manager Scott, of how many different gemstones we actually bring? Because I bet it's a lot. Mm. <laughs> oh, Lucy? Is it Damn, Tom, isn't it? Tom, Sorry, yeah. Tom. Are you all right, Tom? Yeah. Apart from I've just changed his gender. Sorry, Tom. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Tom. He thinks, hang on a minute. It's OK. He went very manly then. It's OK. <laughs> He's all right. Um, anyway, sorry, Peter. Sorry. You, oh, That's love. Mark's sorry, I've been just yeah. look what Mark's done with the six ninety five aquamarine. Incredible, doesn't it? That black spinel is on pre order right now. Wow. D O D O V X ninety five. You thought I was going to sing then, didn't you? Mm. She was D O S. Oh. It's great until they go into the chorus. Then the second, she is D. Then it goes a bit. You don't like that bit. No, do you? Mm, that's quite a good little song. Oh, Scott, singing it here now. Oh. See, I thought Fantasy she's Island D. was a much better song than The Lion Sleeps Tonight with Tight Fit released their second song. Oh, did you? Fant yeah. I used to do the dance routine to that. Don't worry, we'll convince Mark in the break to give us a. Mm. Yes, we will. It's about time you dance live on air. About time. Wow. Who's got what big ones? Oh, sorry. Hey! Oh, oh, my word. These are the double ones, aren't they? These look like wow. the double ones. You'll see what I, I mean. I love that sound. Look. Keshi pearls. But can you see, look, they're doubles. Can you see? Let me hold it out and show it you. You'll see what I mean. It's like a double keshi look, attached on every single one look. Do you, do you understand what I mean? Yeah, no, completely. Aren't they They're ice? Amazing. I mean, there's organic and then there's organic. Yeah, there's kind <laughs> of... amazing. I mean, can you imagine trying to recreate these yeah. with all our technology as human beings? You wouldn't, you wouldn't have oh, a cat in ours chance, would you? You wouldn't. They wow. sound beautiful. I love the sound, do you? We love the sound of those. Look at that's that. Just, as it is, that's just so elegant. You only it? need one, don't you? I mean, look at that from yeah. there. You, look at that. From a distance. Oh. Do, 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 do. Who was um, Bette Midler's musical director for years? There's a question for you. Stephen Sondheim? Nope. Good um, guess, though. Bacharach? Nope. A male or female? Male. It was a male. Lavender, fresh water. If you, if you, t if you know, text in. Six zero triple seven. It's got nothing to do with keshi beads, keshi pearls. <laughs> I grant you, but just intrigue. It's just interesting. Wow. Now then, as organic as a pearl gets is the keshi. Twenty chances left. We are. Mark Scott has managed to go into the vault, and he's literally grabbed everything that's got about twenty thirty left, haven't you? Yeah, a lot of low stock items this evening. So it means if you see it, you love it, grab it, check it out, bag it, leg it. Okay, <laughs> that was a bit long, wasn't it? Do you fancy a fiver off to spend on something else? Like, let's say you post and package in. Because technically, if you buy those, we've just given you your post and packaging back. Because the post and packaging, three ninety five all day, you pay it once. That's your standard mainland UK post and packaging. Gosh. 27 95 For genuine, organic, I take it they're natural, Scott Delicious? Yes. Completely natural. Well, I agree. Something that beautiful does have to be, he's just said. He said something that beautiful. Oh, oh look at the iridescence, Mark. I love that. Oh. Do you remember that, that it had that same sort of shine on the pearls last it night? Did. Oh, on the ombre pearls. Yeah, oh, like they green, were lovely. I went to try and get those after the show and they'd all gone. Are you all right? Do you want to go and get some? Do you want some water? Drink, thank you. Can you have it's some just the then? Air conditioning have some water. Then. You know what you need to get? De uh, humidify for the room. My dad's bought me one in my bedroom. What, for in here? Well, no, yeah, I might, tell you what, I might bring it in. Mm. We could do with a humidifier in the studio. Because it gets quite dry. It's very dry, yes. They're amazing. It's got cycle, I'll buy you one. Jingle it around your microphone. I love that. Oh, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. Got in trouble there. Oh, it's lovely. It's like rain. Deborah said, I. Ha oh, hang on. Deborah's. Oh. No, hang on. This is my, now, Deborah's got this trance. So we need to know what Deborah thinks. I have this strand and I just came back from more. Oh, oh well, there you go, okay. then truly gorgeous. And Deborah's put gorgeous in 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 capital, so she means it. 
gorgeous. She gorgeous. Whenever I write that, I write G-A-W-D-U when you want people to go gorgeous. Absolutely right, Margot. Oh, uh, well done. Barry, Barry Manilow. Oh, really? I never mm. knew that. There you go, Glyn. Oh, Barry Manilow. Could you get more camp? Oh, no. Yes, yeah. <laughs> Bette Midler and Barry Manilow. Barry Ma yeah. <laughs> Amazing musical director. Imagine, apparently. He's yeah, touring this year. I'd love is, to go. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I'd love to go oh. and see Barry Manilow live. He's oh, brilliant. Well done, everyone. Well done. I have no idea. Glyn and Margot. Yeah, well done. Now, if you want those superb Lavender Keshi organic natural stunners, uh, that's, is it another lowest ever price, Mr. Scott? Do you know what, Scott? You might as well take the glory for these, because if we are doing... There's no point not telling them. Why well, have you just gone, ow? You put your finger in the fan... Oh, he's got a fan going on in there. Oh, he's got a fan mm. in there. Don't worry about your guest designer and your presenter and your crew. Sales manager's got his fan going. And do you know what <laughs> boys do? Because boys do, don't they? He's just stuck his finger in it to see what happened and then gone, ow. <laughs> Why do boys do that? Does it seem to be a boy thing? Do we not think, or am I being too sexist there? Mm, probably. Mm. Mm. What we used to do as kids on our bikes, we used to put, using a clothes peg and a playing card in our spokes, so it sounded like a motorbike. Same sort of thing. I don't like to talk about bikes, because I used to always get hand-me-down bikes off my elder brother. Never got my own bike. My dad would not let me have a BMX, because it meant I was a tomboy. So I never got my BMX, and do you know, I then, I, and I never, the one bike I wanted to have handed down to me, I was never allowed to have, and that was the chopper. I didn't get the chopper. Do you know, even now, it, if they... They're a lot I, of money now. If you've got, I if you've want got a chopper. An, if you've got an original S chopper. Still yeah. want a chopper. Yeah. I do. I really want a chopper. They were ace bikes, weren't they? I think the chopper was like the Capri of bikes. Mm. That's yeah. what I think. Yeah. Oh yeah, Mark loves queer quartz. They are oh, with the stars that we, we had, had last, last night. night. Oh, last night, sorry. <laughs> clear, clear. Oh. Cl I tell you what, we it is our clear quartz the is not. The quality this year has been phenomenal. Oh, it? it's just. I it's mean, been a drought, hasn't there, for a couple of years for mm, clear quartz, mm. and then. Oh, that's what happens with Mother Nature. Yeah, yeah, sometimes she true. delivers, sometimes she doesn't. Yes, yeah. Um, Clear, 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 clear quartz in eight mil rounds. I know what I'd put with them. Mm. I'd put those with that. Look at that. You put a little cone either side of yep. a quartz and just alternate. Yep. Wow. A little, little dicky bows in between. Exactly, yeah. yeah. So you have them facing back to back. So you'd have yeah. the flat side there and the flat side there and you have it. Oh, mm. that looks so cool, wouldn't mm. it? Yeah. yeah really so different. They're half seven, but they are on pre-order. DOVX95, if you want those. And they are really giveaway prices, those Black Spinel, if you don't mind us saying. Um, but the Clear Quartz, they are a joy to work with, aren't mm. they, Clear Quartz? Well, it's a staple. I mean, everyone yeah. should have Clear Quartz in their stash, along with your, your Black Onyx and your, your Agates and your Quartz. And do you know what? Your... I think our Clear Quartz looks just as lovely faceted as yeah. unfaceted, no, don't absolutely, you? Absolutely right. Because, they, because of the clarity. Oh, another one going down. Is it another? Right, Scott, Scott, don't mean to tell you how to do your job as your mom manager. <laughs> However, if it's a LEP, would you tell us without me asking? Because, I don't know about you, but if... Oh, so take it that every item on the show tonight you're going to take to a lowest ever price unless, unless you say otherwise. <laughs> oh, he's just set his stall out, hasn't he, everyone? So he's just said, our sales manager, he's going to take everything to the lowest ever price unless he tells us otherwise. Help yourselves then, because you're going to know you're getting it naughtier than anybody else. Oh, yeah. So then 88 carats of clear quartz in those 8 mil rounds never been taken. Would you like to know how many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six. Perfect clear quartz. Thirty-four p. Look at them. Look at that. I mean, how many times at magnification are we currently, roughly, Mike? About twenty times. An eye jeweler's loop is at ten times when they clarify and, and grade diamonds. So we've gone double that, 20 times magnification, and you cannot see an inclusion. 
you could get a pair of binoculars out and look at them even further. You'd still not oh, see no. an inclusion. <laughs> Debbie said, I have been working with Clear Courts from JM today. Have to say, it's special. Loving the show. Thanks for the tempting bargains. Oh, Debbie, you ain't seen nothing yet. Just saying. Now, in five minutes, in cinq minutes, we have the blue, the blue opal. Tom, sweet pea, could you just pass me those blue opal? Have we got the blue opal? There, there. Can you see? That. No, that's the, the one next to it. That's it, sweet pea. Thank you so much. Right. Now, if you got the orange tangerine opal, oh, now wow. I had, we had seven on the show, we was did. it yesterday? Last night, yeah. Last night yeah. they all went. So they've gone. No more. Gone. Um, and I launched those in a kit with, uh, I think it was with Claire McDonald. They all sold out. Tonight only, again, because we've got that man in the chair, we have 42. First time been on air, and I think the last. In a fantastic kit, we have the brightest, the bluest opal that we've ever seen. Ethiopian opal, by the way. We do, we are bringing you the, the, the blue pearls as well. Scott and Mark, this doesn't sound right, I've been out in the garden today mm -hmm. with those opal. Is that what you two are doing out there then? Ah, I did wonder. And I have to say, when I, when I opened the kit to work on it, I had no idea that the pearls were culture pearls. I thought they were shell pearl. Just putting it out there. Oh, yeah, just a bit of... The, there's a bit that We've dyed the pearls, they're we've dyed the, the opal. And, but, Incredible yeah. shape. Wow. So those are, I'm just going to show you one more time, 42. It's nowhere near. I mean, we didn't have many of the tangerine opal, but we had more than that, and everyone sold out, every single one. Now, on the black spinel that we've got coming up in half an hour, how many have gone? 50. Not surprised. Can anybody see the price? These are just <laughs> lovely. These, I think, would look nice as like a, underneath a gemstone, mm. as a, as as a, a pin. Bead cap yeah. yeah, above or, or, but, or, or below. below yeah. Or above and below. Rosary oh, linked. Stop it. Above and below, rosary linked. Oh, yeah. That'd be nice. Mm, lovely. So, I'll tell you what we'll do. We will go and mosey on over to a little, just a little short break, or we have a little group cuddle. Yeah, a little, nice, Mike says. Yeah, a little group cuddle. <laughs> Watch out, Tom. And uh, we'll come back, refreshed from our cuddle, won't we? Mm -hmm. Our scooch, our squidge. And then we will be all geared up for these fans for the break for that and the black spinel. Our jewellery maker community is a fantastic platform to share, learn, chat and make new friends. So why not like our Facebook page and join over 64,000 like-minded people? Did you know that when you book a jewellery maker workshop, you're given exclusive access to our jewellery maker shop? You can browse through special items and offers, be privy to selected discounts and deals that you can't get at any other time. Shop whilst you learn and grab yourself some amazing offers. For more information on workshops and available dates, contact our call centre. You can now book Jewelry Maker workshops online. Just head over to our Jewelry Maker website and click on the workshop link. We have a wide range of workshops from beginner to intermediate covering a variety of mediums. Once you've found a workshop you would like to attend, simply click on the book now button, fill in the required fields and then press continue. This will take you through to the payment page. If you have any questions, you can contact our workshop coordinator at any time by emailing workshop at jewelrymaker.com. We look forward to seeing you. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share.
At Durymaker, we are always looking at ways to provide you with a fantastic shopping experience. With this in mind, we'd like to welcome you to our new pre-order option. Selected items throughout the day will be put on display and made available for pre-order. When the presenter informs you that the pre-order service is available on an item, this is your chance to pop it into your online basket or speak to one of our brilliant call centre team members and be one of the first to secure your purchase. Okay. Have trouble finding the end then. Oh. There we go. Okay. Hello. <laughs> That's a nice opening for a show, isn't it? <laughs> Have trouble finding his end. Okay. Uh, right then. The good news is, what's the good news? You've not been given the best. I tell you what. On a Tuesday night, you've been given the best kits ever. I've been looked after this week. You've been week. schmoozing somebody. You have, haven't you? Well, I've been looked after this week. I have to say. Mm, I think you have as well. Can we please, please, please start with the opals, please? Please, please. Now then, I was very lucky to launch the Tangerine Opal recently within the last couple of weeks, I think it was, and they all sold out. In fact, I think there were about seven yesterday that hadn't checked out their basket, baskets, so it dropped back into stock and I got to set, sell them all over again, and the seven, poof, gone like that. And they're stunning. You, did you buy the Tangerine Opal? Mm -hmm. I thought you did. <laughs> I'll kill him. I knew he would. Did you buy the Boulder Opal? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, what was it about the orange, the Tangerine Opal that made well, you it buy that, it? It was just that wow colour. And I don't know, I, I really wasn't a lover of orange in the past. I was just not a fan Don't gemstones all. change your mind, but though, about colour? completely. I love orange. I've spent all my yeah. life hating yeah. purple. I mean, hating it. Somebody bought oh, really? me a, Oh, yeah. Somebody bought me a purple scarf. I had to take it to the charity shop because I couldn't bear purple. And then I've turned completely. And now oh, I really, really like purple because of Amethyst. How funny. Isn't that weird? It's exactly the same. Could I say, though, that with... No, orange isn't for everybody, but, like, orange has turned... The, the beautiful gemstones has turned mark onto orange. Having said that, the op tangerine opal and this opal will go brilliantly together because we know navy blue and orange works. We go back to the Egyptians with carnelian and lapis lazuli, don't we? We knew it worked then and it hasn't changed. Um, it's got more popular. But also we know that blue is the favourite colour of, mm. of men. And, unisex, yes, everybody, yeah. um, a lot of people, 50% of people say their favourite colour in jewellery is blue. 50%? Non-gender specific, that is, as well. 50% say blue is their favourite I also think, when you think about guest designers that do, always do a navy blue and a white, nautical, really bright, most of us, I'm talking for the girls for, for a moment, most girls have got a blue and white. In fact, I nearly wore a blue and white striped top tonight or a, na na you know, a white and navy blue striped dress and things and maxi dresses. In fact, a load of us girls went uh, out to Portugal for um, my, my family's, uh, Sarah's um, 40th birthday recently. All seven girls of us that went on this boat had a maxi dress oh, really? in blue and white stripe. <laughs> Every one of us. And we did, obviously it was hilarious. But So therefore, this opal, I believe, is going to be... We're never going to have enough because I've got 42. I don't even think that's an eighth of what we need, no, sweetheart. No. But there you go. Graphics, please, so that everybody can check out on the rare first time that we've ever had, and we're not going to beetle around. Thank you. We have really royal blue Ethiopian opal. Ethiopian opal. Now the pearls are dyed, the Ethiopians dyed. But I, I never mind whether something's been coated, no, no, dyed, no. heat. I don't care. No, Is that no. bad? No, no, no. I not. honestly don't care. If I can get a gemstone, a genuine Ethiopian precious opal in that blue, I have no issue with a bit of dyeing at all. So they are stunning. And please let me mention, I only have. 42. I'm going to keep mentioning that and then oh, we are giving you those. Aren't they beautifully colour matched? I just think, I just think they're incredible. 
That's an amazing... Um, is it cobalt blue or a royal blue? I'm not very good with my blues. I think a real royal yeah, blue. Yes, that's what I was That's thinking. a royal, yes. isn't it? Yeah. A really royal mm. blue. But can you see how I was confused with the pearls? Look how yeah, round they are. They're, actually, they're incredible. They're not. They're, they're yeah, genuine amazing. freshwater cultured pearls. But as I said, died, a little bit of dyeing there going on with the opals and the pearls. But that's it. And they are superb. Mm. Those blue opals. Yeah. But as Scott mentioned earlier, when we were um, we took them outside, the the reds, the greens. I mean, the reds are. If you can have an electric red, can you have an electric? Yeah, red? of course you can. It was just phenomenal, absolutely phenomenal. What coming out of the? Yeah. Oh really? The opals, yeah. It's still got all of the, the pin fire. We've got reds and greens. Oh, brilliant! Yeah. Have we? Yeah. Okay, so when you take that into natural daylight, they're yeah. going to see flashes of greens yeah, and reds. Exactly. Exactly. Brilliant. Again, can't show it in the studio because no. of the studio lights, but that's why we give you... We don't ask you to take mm. our word for mm. it. Mm. We say, have 30 days, you'll sit... Because there's no point... What would be the point of us sitting here telling you something that happened, knowing in our heads that you're going to get it home and he doesn't do it? What's going to happen? They're all going to come back. That's false economy. We wouldn't do that. Mm. There's no point. Absolutely no point. We might as well tell you exactly what it is and then you can see for yourself. And it just backs up what we say. Um, so, um, stunning... Blue opal. Now that's a funny price, eighty pounds thirty-four. Because what what that means is for to get Ethiopian royal blue opal, which we've, I don't think we've ever had on jewelry maker, no, have we? I've not seen it before. Nope. No. First time ever. And I tell you what, if like Mark and you got the tangerine Ethiopian opal, I'd definitely put the two together. Oh, it's perfect. Isn't They'd it? look ace, wouldn't they? Um, now then, if you bought the pearls and you bought the opal individually, they would add up to eighty pounds thirty-four. And I, I'm I'm happy with that. I'm happy that you're getting a really good deal there. Well, I did say we got the sales manager in the, in, the, in the studio, didn't I, today in the gallery, producing us. So, we have just over 30 available. First time we've ever bought in eight years. <laughs> eight years is the first time that we've ever managed to get Ethiopian opal in that royal blue. Sixty-nine ninety-five. Brian and Angela, I had a sneaky feeling you being my friends. I had I, I take we we get a feel for who's gonna come in. I thought possibly Mary and Jerry as well in Norfolk. Uh, no, actually I think Mary and Jerry aren't in Norfolk. Where are Mary and Jerry? You've moved, haven't you? Oh, I've got to remember where Mary and Jerry are now. Uh, but yeah, Brian and Angela had a sneaky feeling. And then we've got Julie, uh, Tina, Deborah, oh Brian and Angela, you got them, my loves. Jeanette as well. Um, Scott. You'll kill me for doing this. Mm. Scott, have you got any wiggle room? <laughs> wiggle room, I like that. If you don't ask, you don't get the... Okay. <laughs> he just said, you shouldn't have asked, should you, Zane? You had this ch problem the other week, didn't you? And I went... <laughs> what? You didn't mean to do 20, did you? You, he's just pressed the wrong button. <laughs> oh, well, there you go. Uh, we've just effectively then taken those down to what? 24.95 each? Ding dong. That's right, isn't it? 24.95. <laughs> You're so bad. Alison of the City of Bristol, Sheila in Essex, Jeanette in Bristol as well. Everybody from Bristol coming in. Deborah, Julie, Brian and Angela, Tina in Devon. Collectors, uh, we're after the last 24 chances um, on, yeah, Royal Blue, Ethiopian, Opal, the flood, the flood doors have just opened. He's just created a little, there's a queue on the phone. What a surprise. Um, uh, yeah. Telephone number is free phone, so that doesn't matter about the little wait, does it? As long as you don't mind uh, waiting a little bit. 0800 644655. Oh, my word. Um, do take it out. So, okay, what happened when you took it outside then, Mark? Well, there's, I couldn't, I shouldn't. I shouldn't say electric red, but that's the best way I can describe it. The, I mean, the, you imagine the, an ordinary strand of Ethiopian opal, the red and green flashes and the orange and blue flashes. So imagine the red, but the most intense red you've ever seen. Yeah. With the background colour of that blue. It's right. just phenomenal. That's really? the only way I can describe it, electric. Oh. And it, it takes you back. It really makes you jump really when makes, you see it. Does it? Yeah. And there's greens. It's just incredible. Yeah. So, um, as I said, we, oh, hang on a second. Oh, some, Alison just had two. Well, I'll tell you what, Alison, that, you just saved yourself £40, my love. So they it's are, there you go. You can see a little bit, yeah. but it's very difficult. It's yeah. with the studio lights, yeah. very difficult. You've got some turquoise in yeah, there, there as go. well. There's turquoise there, yeah. Turquoise, I'll turn that around slowly for you. There we go. Green, look. Got the green. 
There's the reds on the left. But below. as yeah. Scott and Mark were saying, actually, on a mm. day like today, certainly here in Warwickshire, where the, it's 30, 31 degrees, isn't it hot, hotter than Rio de Janeiro? I can never say that. Rio de, 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 de Nero. <laughs> Can well, you say that? Because I can't. Rio de Janeiro. Thank you. It's like I can't say. I can't do that one. Thank you. Yeah. I can't do that one either. <laughs> um, yeah, hotter than air today here in, uh, in certainly in the West Midlands and Warwickshire, any road. Yeah. So get those into natural. Oh, Linda's just had three. Well done, Linda. You just saved yourself yeah, sixty pounds, my lovely. That right, my dupe. Would you like to see those with white pearls, as well? Yeah, white pearls and with the with the opal. I think that's the look we're going for, don't you, Mark? Down the nautical route. Down the nautical route. Very Versace. Oh, here we go. Look at that. There he is. Look at that. Oh, do you like that, Scott? Hmm? Do you like that? Scott likes that. He's just going, mmm, my ear. Now, Ethiopian opal with these pearls should have been £80 and... Four P was it? Eighty pounds and thirty-four pence. And the naughty, naughty, naughty sales manager Scott pressed the wrong button. We won't mention that too much. Let's not focus on his um, failings. Forty-nine ninety-five. Right, we're down to the last seven chances. Sorry, seven, seven. And we do have seed. Be oh. Actually, can you just bring the bracelet over, Sweetie? Can we just show you how lovely it looks with sterling silver? Is it sterling silver in there? You've got all little silver spaces. The silver spaces come with the next part of the kit, but the findings and the wire down the middle is sterling. Oh, okay. Obviously, I wouldn't use anything else. With well, this. I didn't think you would, no, <laughs> quite frankly. I tell you what, these look nice with those Murano beads on the show yesterday as well, wouldn't they? They were extraordinary. They would, yeah. 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 But yeah, now then, um, Jeanette in Bristol, my lovely, you're in, you're in with a whisker of a chance of getting those, da getting those now. Six chances only. Okay, now, only because of the time, and I'm very conscious I've still got star buys, I've still got another kit, and I've still got a demo, which is what we're all asking for for Mark. Um, no pressure. <laughs> <laughs> right then, I'll do the... Oh, is that the um, posh oh, pearl wire? Yeah. Well, we'll do the seed beads first, if that's okay with Mark. We've got the iris mix back. I know, you like the iris mix, yeah. don't you? So we've got the Mayuki um, metallic dark blue iris seed beads in size 11, and the dark blue metallic iris in size 8. Yeah, and then, ooh, lovely mix. We've got the galvanised silver seed beads in 11, and also the Delica dyed matte transparent so Delica's in the dyed matte, tr oh, love, look at this. I mean, they don't make it easy for you, do they? Listen to this. <laughs> Mayuki Delica dyed matte transparent Kelly Green seed beads, 11.0. <laughs> I mean, it's not really the best marketing, is it? Who's They're Kelly lovely. as well? Lovely. Who's Kelly? Who's Kelly? We want to know who Kelly is. Why is it Kelly Green? How's it spelt? Kelly, K-E-L-L-Y. Oh. Kelly Green. Mm. Anyway, I just thought I'd share that with you. So we're also going to give you 20 metres of um, Mark's macrame wire. Because it, macrame, we always think 0 0.4, 0 0.6, don't we? Perfect. Yeah, perfect. Perfect. Yep. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Thank you. So it's the lovely pearl coloured wire that all our guests on as are going do lally tap over. They're very excited about the pearl coloured wire. It is nice, isn't it? It's still good to work with as well. It's got a completely different feel. And it doesn't go... When you take it off the really, the it, it, it doesn't do that. Oh, it's just lovely that. and soft and silky. Doesn't do that. It's lovely. It so, has a similar feel actually to the 49. Oh, the Flex Rice. Right. Yeah, oh, it's a similar feel to that. Yeah. But a fraction of the price. So, yeah, so you've got 11s, 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 and an 8. So, 11s, 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 and 8. And obviously, the Udenicas. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> So with the savings you made from the Opal part of the kit, four, five, you could get six, two of these four. and still have a tenner. Um, to, uh, Scott, oh, could you no, divide no, that no. by six, love, please? Because it's two pounds something. Mm. You've just taken seed bees to two pounds something. Two pound forty-nine. Ah, uh oh, uh, you're in trouble. Du -du 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 right, how many of those have we got? Well, we had ninety. 
My word. Fourteen ninety-five. Do you fancy Delica's Elevens um, for her? Uh, two pound forty-nine. And the pearl coloured wire for two pound forty-nine. When I said he knew which buttons to press, my sales manager, we weren't kidding, were we? Are you sure you want to get married in two weeks, Scott? I come with life experience. My house is paid for. Come on, I'm a good cook. I'm good at gardening, good at ironing. I can sing, I can play piano. Cooking, yep. Baking a cheesecake tomorrow, what else do you want? I appreciate it's tempting. I'm trying to tempt you. <laughs> <laughs> Could we go to Mark's demo and stop flirting with me? <laughs> I don't have a swimming pool, but I have a paddling pool. No, I can create a jacuzzi very easily. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> Mark's like, anyway, joking aside, right, my lovely. Is there any of the blue opals left, by the way, sweetheart? Wow. Single figures, yeah, single figures. Um, Mark, can we just have a feast our eyes on Mark's jewellery first? Which is your favourite piece, Mark? Uh, it was probably the necklace I'm going to demo, which is the um, this one here. I really like that. You know, and I, can I, I'm going to confess, I didn't use any of the delicas and I didn't use any of the wire. Oh. So I'd throw that in. <laughs> to be fair, that was only because you were up against it. You were very restricted on time this time, weren't you? Mm. Not that you can tell in your jewellery, but for you, you were, you were limited on time. But my goodness me, wow. So the wibbly, wavely, wavely one... The spiral. Thank you. That's the one. Yeah. I like wibbly, wavely, wavely myself, but... Now, look at those. Look at those. See now, what I mean about them look, looking like shell pearl? They are so They male. really <laughs> are, aren't they? Yeah. They really are. Beautiful yeah. jewellery. I mean, really beautiful. I don't Thank know why I sound you. surprised. I, I mean, to be fair, we do expect nothing less from you. It's hard, isn't it? I mean, Paul McCartney was talking about this the other day, and he was saying when you've actually got a career as long as his and as successful as his, it's actually quite difficult, you know, to keep coming up with new things and to keep that reputation, mm. and yet he maintains it and you maintain it. You're the macker of Jewelry World, <laughs> the marker. Can we call it the marker of Jewelry World? Jewelry well, maker world. Francis instead of them. calls me Mr. JM. Who does? Francis. Francis. That's what I'm, I think Mr. that's what I'm known as in the IT Well, you're the only Mr. Mr. Though, aren't you? So you, get to, you have to be Mr. JM because mm. you're the only Mr. Mm. Guest designer wise. Mm. Uh, right then, young man. Oh, hang on. Just quickly on the kit, I only had 90. Um, collector Sandra Viv, collector Caroline Sue, collector Carol, Susan Ella, collector. Well and if done, you think everyone. I'm just mentioning collectors because that's random, no. There's one in Hertfordshire, in Greater London. There's a collector in Somerset, in uh, Berkshire. Um, all checked out. There's a lot of people on the telephone. Susan's had two, Linda's had three. Jan in the Isle of Man. Have we found this egg yet or what? Is this egg? We've lost an egg from Jan Scott. Do you know about this? Jan's yes. apparently sent some form of egg in and nobody knows where it is. No. Well, we need to find the egg. It's in the building somewhere. I bet the snake's had it. Mm. I bet the snake's had it. Is it a real egg? It can't be a real egg she sent in. I would have thought so. No, it's, I think it's going to be a seed beaded egg. Like the one like that Alison Tarry did? Yes. Yeah, I've okay. Got a sneaky suspicion. Right, sweetie, do you want to get your specs on? Mm. Ready to go. So, this is. Do you need that or shall I move it? No, no, no. You can, you can move if you want okay. to. Okay, Mr. Demo, then please, okay. Mr. JM. So this. Um... Don't worry, I won't bite. Okay, thank you. So this is one of my favourite techniques. It's featured on the DVD, but I just love it because it. Which DVD? Um, the Christmassy one, the double one. The, what the Swarovski and the. No, the Mark's memorable makes. Oh. Okay. And there's also a version using bugle beads on the DVD that we had last, last night. night. Okay. Last night. Um, it's, it's just so lovely because it's one move and the spiral happens naturally. You don't have, you're not responsible for making the spiral and it's just, it's one of those techniques where you just chill, which is okay. what I've needed. Okay. Today. Yes. <laughs> so um, you do use a lot of thread. For the necklace I use four lengths of six feet, so 25 feet. A fire line? Yeah, or okay. wildfire. Okay, great. Okay, now this is fire line we've actually got in the second kit. So I've, Brilliant. So I've swapped from kits. Okay. So, we'll let so you, you need a stopper bead. Okay, so I'm just going to take one of the little 11 -0 silver beads and leave a little tail. Is it a stopper bead that you reuse or you take off? So it doesn't matter. You take matter. off, you take it off. Matter. Yep. Okay. And because it's an 11, you only need to take the thread back through once. If it was an 8 -0, you'd go through twice. Okay, so the first thing you need to do, you need to decide on your core bead. 
and I'm going to go for the Atos in this. I love that. That mix is amazing. And we're going to pick up five Bs. Now, this is the only time that we're going to pick up five. Every other time, every other move now, you're only going to pick up one of the Atos for the core. Okay, so we've got five, and we're going to slide those down so they meet our little stopper bead. Okay. Next, you need to decide on the number of beads and the combination of beads for your little arcs that are going to make your spiral. And I've come up with, for this particular piece, because of the number of beads in our core, two 11 iris. Then I want to break up the iris, so I'm popping on one of the silver, one of the eights, one of the silver, and two of the 11 iris. So that's the combination. Okay, and you're going to repeat that combination you're going to repeat that combination every move, okay? So seven beads all together. So for the first move, what we're going to do is we're going to take that little arc and we're going to go back on ourselves. So we're coming out of the top bead, we're going to follow clockwise direction and we're going to take our needle back up through all five of those core beads. We're going to pull that through and you can see you have your core on the left and then you have this little arc on the right, okay? So from now on, you're going to do this. You're going to take that little, that little arc we've made and just pop it around to the left-hand side or to the right if you're left-handed. So every move now, we need to add a B to the core. Okay, this is really important. So we're going to take one of our eights, and I just tend to pa pass it off of the needle. Okay, you don't have to put it all the way down, just off of the needle. Then we're going to pick up that combination. So two iris, a silver, a large iris, a silver two of the little levens, okay? Now, do you remember at the beginning we had five beads as our core? We did. We've just added one core, so we know that we only have to now take our needle back up through the last four. So coming, starting from where the thread is exiting, you count one, two, three, four. We take our needle up, so you don't go through the first one, so you go through four. So then when you pull your arc, You've got your arc, plus you've got that core bead, which at the moment is sticking out at a jaunty angle because it's part of this arc. So we're going to take our needle, and all we're going to do is we're going to pass it through that ato. We're going to pull our needle, and that, by magic, will pop up oh. and sit on our core. Okay, so it's popped up onto us. So we now have six beads in our core. We take that arc we've just made, and we pop it to the left, pulling nice and tight. Okay, so I've got both of those in my left thumb and finger. And you can see already that we've got that slight um, yeah. little arc. So if I do a couple more, if you've got something to show... Oh, can I ask you a question? Yeah. How do you remember all this? How do you remember all this? Because that's, that's I mean, I find seed beads fascinating. I mm -hmm. see all your amazing designs, but I think, how do you remember all... Which you, know, you go up through this and you miss that one, and how do you remember? No idea. It's... it's, 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 it's it's bizarre. It might be the CB thing because it is so repetitive. It's like driving. So that's you, you how it sort of gets instilled. You don't need to think about driving now, do you? You just get in the car and you, yeah. know, you know what to do. So as you start to CB more and more and more, this becomes a natural yeah. thing, does yeah, it? Yeah, absolutely. Because I think, how does he know where it goes? Miss this one, though. <laughs> so I'm thinking, how does he know? I'll show the viewers one more arc. Yes, please, okay. just to get I mean, it sunk in. If you've got something in. to show the viewers, I'll do a couple more just to show you how the spiral works. Okay. So we're going to take our eight, pass it off the needle, Two purple, oops, two iris, one silver, one large, one silver, and two of the elevens. Now you can choose any combination you like, but I like to have a larger bead in the center because you get more of an arc. So we've added on our first bead. So we know we're only going up the last four coming out of the top of the of the core. So one, two, three, four. Gonna take the needle up, up through the four. We're going to pull nice and tight. We've got an arc with the eight o sticking at a funny angle. So we're going to take the needle, pass it through the eight, pop it up onto the core, take that, that arc round to the left and pull. So we can see, already see we've got three already. We've already got the spiral starting. Okay. So I'll do a couple more, and then you'll, you'll see it really coming into I've fruition. I've got some seed oh beads. Do you think that would... I think that would go nicely, do you? Completely. Yeah? Yeah. Do you think those would go nicely with that kit? Wow. It'll be, yeah, because you've got slight little hints of that purple. In, in the, the iris? In the iris That's mix. what I'm thinking. That would really headline it. That's... Yeah. yeah. So if we could do those as well... Can we do those, Scott, please? Good call. Yeah, because yeah. they are lovely, aren't they? They're beautiful colours. 
Now you can have those individually, so we'll just give you some extra little colours to throw in with that kit actually. Or you might have this colour and you're thinking, oh thank you JM, I need some <laughs> extra ones. Because we always, sometimes if you've started a design and you've run out of the colour of the seed beads, you're kind of stuck until you get that colour again, aren't you? So these actually are an iris, um, they're the Mayuki Metallic uh, Copper Iris Seed Beads in size 11, full largest gram weight tube that we do, 24 gram. And you can have those for oh, 5.95. Yeah, mm -hmm. 5.95 to get these. And you do need to. I was speaking to Kleshna. Kleshna came in earlier because she's on the mid show tomorrow. She she um, she came in to drop all the stuff off. And um, she was saying that it is so important that you buy colours of seed beads when you when you get them mm, and stock up on right. them because yes. and you'd agree, yeah. wouldn't yeah, you? Completely. Because there's no guarantee. They do it in batches, don't they? Mm -hmm. So Mayuki always have the white and they always have the black. They have the standard. But then all the other colourways, they do them in batches. So until they're, once that sells out, until they're, next to, they're due to do a next batch, if they do a next batch, mm. you're kind of stuck. Even more so the treated types, so exactly. the galvanised or the, or the mm. iris mix or anything, mm -hmm. any, any treatment that they yep. have. So grab them while you can, because it can be the difference between finishing a design and, and not, and it's quite worrying. But um, that would match this kit. I'm just going to show you with the other iris, just to give you an idea, look, how beautifully they're going to match. Now, the kit we've put at the bottom, look at that, that's what I wanted to show you together. The iris that we're doing now, the copy, copper iris with those beautiful dark metallic blues in the iris as well in the kit would be perfect. And at 5 95 we sell seed beads by the gram weight. So, 24 gram tube there of the copper iris. Five ninety five. Okay. Are you ready for us? Yes, I can show you. What we I have did. put yep. the kit back. Well, we'll probably swap it around in a minute, but we've put the kit back mm. on. Have, we got any, have you got a couple left? Yeah, great, okay. No point in putting it back on if it's gone, is there? Thank you for the tea, Tom. Tea, Tom. Tom T, T Tom. <laughs> so I've done eight arcs and already that you can see you can see the spiral already. That's quick. Already it's starting oh, to do it to do its little thing. So if you wanted to, you could actually pop that on a shepherd's hook and you've got a really nice little spiral earring. Yeah. You could make a bracelet or you could just do what I've done with the necklace. And the necklace st took me three and a bit. I was just could you read my mind? I was about to ask how long it took. About three and a bit. I'm, hours. Getting, I'm getting quicker. Hours. But it's time flies by. Three and a bit hours though. Yes, yeah. yeah. Time flies by, and as I said, that spiral there, it's all done naturally, so you haven't got to worry about the tightness of the thread or, or the way it looks, it just does it all does it itself, naturally. it's lovely. It's clever, isn't it? Beautiful. Thank you. Pleasure. Could you just do me a favour? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm like, you know me, I have to know from beginning to end, can you just show us how you finished it off, please? Yes, yeah, so bring it round. Because I always think, well that's all very well, but then what do I do? What do I do to finish okay, it? Okay, so that's the spiral length, okay, so it's a full length of necklace spiral. Okay. And then just to finish, I don't like to have the spiral around the back because you can't really see it. So all I've got is I've got um, a couple of inches of pure seed beading using the And that's just for the comfort of around the back Absolutely. of the neck, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. And then all I've done is I've just tied the threads off to a, um, a sterling silver toggle clasp on the back there. And then whatever toggle yeah. you fancy, yeah. or yeah. metallic or whatever. Or magnetic, yeah, absolutely. Mm. Yeah. It's lovely, Did I say metallic? It? I meant magnetic. Yeah, really nice. Did I say really metallic? Just hold it, having those little silvers in there just enhances yeah. the spiral. Now, coming up later, when we talk, when we talk about uh, Kumahimo, we've got the discs, we've got the weights, we've got the threads, and we've also got the Kumahimo ending accessories as well. So we've, got, yes. we've really thought the show through for you. So in the meantime, though, um, we did, we've shown you this. It's been on pre-order and a big number have gone. Fantastic price point, but it's not the price for me. It's not the fact that it's black spinel. It's the uniqueness of the design of the strand. Brand new shape. Look at those. I they know. are cool, man. <laughs> and I don't feel comfortable saying that at 47, but they are cool, aren't they? Cool. Have you ever been cool? No. No, I don't think I have either. No. I don't, don't want to be cool. Mm. No. I like being odd. 
But these are cool. They are cool. These are cool. <laughs> these are cool. These are black spinel. Even my sales manager is not a big jewellery person. He said, Eve, wear these. Faceted cones. I just love the fact that if you incorporate those into a design, you could have... 100 have gone already, by the way, because they've been on pre-order. Code is D-O-V-X-95. Um, those would actually... You could have those in designs that draw your attention to what they're pointing at. Couldn't you? That's a good idea. That's yeah, a good idea. If, like you use, if you use a fine enough thread, like the, the fire line or the wildfire, yeah. you can actually... Um, do you remember on the Buglebee DVD, we show you how to do the dynamite, how yeah. to do the one and then yeah, attach yeah, the yeah. next... Yeah, 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 and then and put the one down it. So you can repeat that exact same design with these and you get a really beautiful 1920s decor fan. Yeah. That look amazing. That look oh, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. You, get, you get the fans, yeah. the little scalloppy fans. Oh, they would look amazing. that'd be good, wouldn't yeah. it? Yeah, yeah. yeah that'd look fantastic. These are just the best. We've never had this shape before. Who'd have thought we could come up with something different in black spinel? Because we love black spinel, don't we? You know, have we just decided to do graduated faceted codes? 110 have gone. Now, the only thing is, half the sock's gone. Now, can you see in the middle of that? That gives you the idea of what we're talking about, look. The way we set it back to back in the middle, look. Can we see it fat end onwards? Does that makes sense? So we can see the roundness of the cone base. Can we do, you, do that? Oh, or? do you mean like that? Oh, oh, there we go, yeah. It's quite big, isn't it? It's yeah. It's quite a, quite a, quite a, um, a large yeah. surface area. It is, yeah. Cone. Mark, mm -hmm. would you like to have a little play? What, throughout the show? With yeah. those? Yeah. Give it a go. I think they are... The thing is as well, well, like we were saying, you know, like if you get like a pearl and then you put this on the top or underneath or both either way, it's going to look really... With the round gemstone or pearl and then that pinpoint at each end. It's really accentuated. Yeah. It's look good, wouldn't it? Well, you say that, Scott. Scott just said, do you want to, stop? Do you want to have a little chat mm, about the price? Not really, if I'm honest, because... I don't think it's actually a price thing. Do you know what, though? Ooh. That's less than I thought. That is less than I thought. But do you know what By I mean, though? Can I just say that? I don't, I don't mean that to sound flippant, because I know it's still £10. But my point there is, that's about getting something completely different mm. in Black Spinel. Do you know what I mean, though, Scott? I don't mean that to sound like it's the, not that the price is important. Price is always important, but I, that to me is not about the money. It's unique, isn't it? Yeah, Never seen that's about... And I've got a lot of Black Spinels, I'm sure a lot of us have. I haven't got anything like that. Cone-tastic. They'd make good flowers as well, really funky flowers, wouldn't they? I'm trying to think how you would... Yeah, because you've got the pet wallet, as yeah. I said, make, if you make the fan, you make two back-to-back. -back exactly. And you have a really, really funky flower. Um, I'll tell you what, there's a lot of people buying twos and threes. Alison's had two, Sue's had two, Anila's had three, Christine's had two, Deirdre's had two, Marilyn's had two, Collection Greater Manchester's had two, Collection Somerset's had three. Um, we way, way, way over half the stock's gone now. Fifteen people on the telephones. Well, should we tell you how to, how to buy, in case you don't know? <laughs> if you're like me and you like to speak to somebody, yeah, I won't go on the self-service in the shop. I don't care how long the queue is. Oh, I'm no, I have to do that. You. What, you go in the self-service? Self yeah. You all self-scan, dear? Do you yeah. Oh, no. Are you like yeah. me, Leah? I get yeah. issues exactly. Always get. I always have to wait with that flipping, flashing light. I need to, to, to justify your age. That's all. No, oh, every time I've gone no. on self-service checkout, I've had oh, a no. I've had a problem. I'm gonna, yeah, I don't know. Every no. time. Oh no. I love it. And I have. My, I write my list now, according to the aisle. So I get there. I go down to the bottom end because that's where the heavy stuff is in the fridge. I have my four bags in the trolley, laid out ready. And I check off the list as I'm going up and down the aisle, so because I know what's on the aisle now. So I get there at half past seven. I'm out by ten to eight. I'm back home by eight o'clock. Put away every day, every week. That's done. It's a chore. Supermarket shopping. If you do that, why don't you just order online then? Oh no, because I'm not good with technology. And sometimes if they don't have what what you want, they send you replacements. And if you're not happy with the placement, and it's just not worth the effort, really. No. Okay. Yeah. You like an online shop, do you? I'm not. I like to go and touch mm. it myself. I want to. Yeah. I want to touch me own. I want to squeeze my kiwis. Mm. Don't you? Mm. I need to squeeze my kiwis because I'm They're funny really about cheap, kiwis. Aren't they? I thought kiwis were oh, expensive. Yeah. But, but, well, I always but... buy the organic ones. 
One pound for six in Waitrose, Kiwis. Go for the organic ones in the back of four, though, they're much nicer. Are they? Mm. Okay. I love my kit, but they've got to be mm. firm. Um, so, now the good thing is, we're talking about hardness there of Kiwis. Black Spinel is very hard. Eight on the most hardness scale. You wondered how I was going to bring that back with that tenuous link, didn't you, Scott? No, but they are. If you think about it, that can only be beaten on the ho most hardness scale by sapphire, Amazing. ruby and, and diamond. Mm, so, the reason we like a hard gemstone is it's kind of resistant to knocks and scratches. Now, I just think even one of... I actually think, you know, one of those on the bottom of an earring would, look, would be enough to you, Mark. Pointing down with a comb pointing down. Yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah. Like that, look. There we go. Yes. Yeah? So pointing down with a bit... I'd, I'd have to put one top and bottom, I think. You would like what, yeah. like, th like that in the middle. Yeah, like that in the middle with a with a with a pearl or the button pearls. I mean, this would look amazing. Yeah. With button pearls, oh yeah. yeah, and the stardust rondelles. Uh, Wendy says I will use the spinel with my peridots, which are on Ooh. the way to me in the post. They will look fab. They're not the ones that we had the other day, are they? The Those posh amazing. ones, Wendy. I think they could be, you know. Mm. They might be, you they lucky thing they were. Deborah said, I use those shapes to make arrows through the heart oh, shape. She, that's a good idea. She yeah. not daft Deborah, is she? She that's Deborah, you get a round of applause. <laughs> what a good through our heart gemstones. Yep. Shoot Bye. Hey. That's, that's, that's why I like you messaging in with your ideas, because you're clever, you lot. Yeah. I wouldn't have thought of that. Would you? No. Oh, I wouldn't have thought of that. that. Right then, how many do we have left, dear? Oh. Right, right. We started with 241. When I said way over half had gone, I've got about, well, Scott reckons about 60-ish. But listen in, the basketeers, Rosalind, Collector, Barbara, Hazel, Lules, that's a new one. Patricia, Carol, Caroline, Alison, Bertha. Hello, Bertha in Colorado. Hello. Hiya. Collector in Cardiff and Deborah in Derbyshire. Oh, now, having said that, Jeanette's just coming on the phone and bought two. Nora's just coming on the phone and bought two. Phyllis is just coming on the phone as well. Neil. Oh, and Celine in California's had three. Hello, Celine. Celine, probably tell us what time it is because she stops up, steps, steps, I can't speak. Stays up really late in the morning. Well, or, or gets up really late. Mm. But I think she stays yeah. up, don't you, Celine? You say California. I bet our weather's a bit like you at the minute. Over yeah. It's proper hot, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Do you reckon if you put like a cracked an egg onto your bonnet, it would cook it? I reckon it would. I reckon it would, you know. I don't fancy doing it on my bonnet, but I bet it would. Mm. Do you think it would, should we crack an egg on your bonnet? Okay. Please, <laughs> like, give it on mine. <laughs> uh, right, our oh, Victoria's in as well from Gem Gems Amore. Oh, oh, cantare. Oh, 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 oh. Um, Multicolored tourmaline. No, monsieur. Oh, it is. Talking rubbish. It were hiding. It were. Oh, that's cute. I don't know why I went northern then. Oh, that's, that's a bonnie nice. strand, isn't it? That's, a, that's lovely. Oh, I love, there's a lot of lovely greens on there, that. aren't there? I love there? the flat reason alone. I like those. Brand new strand. But that means we not had it before. Don't normally get that much green, though. I've Do got, we? So I've got a strand at home, old school strand of green tourmaline that's just... Oh, I it is beautiful, isn't it? It's a very unique green. It's beautiful. Yeah. Very, 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 very good strand of tourmaline there, actually. Very, each one, each one of those lovely little rondelles, well, I say little, up to four by two mil, has got a really juiciness about it. You know, like when you have a berry and you look at a berry in a packet, like, mm. I think raspberries particularly, and they look so overripe to the point where they're, not overripe, that's not fair, they're ripe to perfection. Mm -hmm. So they're going to be the best taste and the best flavour and the best, yeah? I had some of those today, actually. Oh. Oh, Mike, I can beat you. He's just said, this morning I had raspberries, strawberries, organic blueberries, grapes, pink grapefruit, kiwi. No, I don't like melon. With your, you with yoghurt. It's lovely. Mm. I had pineapple yesterday. 
multicolour tourmaline. And what is it? Isn't it, isn't it amazing? That is the same gemstone all the way through. Just different colours. That clever. That's... Wow. Oh, really? I'll tell you what, if that two and the one were the wrong way the way around, I'd still think it were cracking. I don't know why I've gone northern. I keep doing northern. It, I, 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 really cracking. I don't know why I started going northern, sorry. Wow. So we're going to do a sales manager special. Why are you going lower on a brand new strand than me? You don't need to. Turn yourself off. Go on then. You just then dropped it. Brand new strand and you've just... I don't know what to say. I wasn't feeling a bit emotional then, if I'm truthful. You know, sorry, it's the joys of hay fever. But those um, those uh, purple iris ones that we've just done would look fab, wouldn't they? They'd look amazing with these. And with your kit. Yeah, yeah. I like those together, though. I love that green in the, right in the centre. See, there's two sort of a lemon and lime Here. together. Yeah, the darker of the two. I really like that. Yeah. That's amazing. They are amazing, aren't they? Gosh, that is... And we know a lot of you are going, uh, because it's so on trend, are going for the tassels at the minute. Isn't it lovely to get the multicolour tassels as well, look? That's like the brush that you made me buy, well, you told me to buy for winter time to brush the leaves off. Your bees them. Your bees them. Yeah. You didn't get one in the end, did you? No, but I'm going to get one. Get before this autumn. I need you to help me this year buy one. A bees them brush. Seven ninety five. Now I've just had a collector in Manchester so knocked out with that price, Mr. Scott Delicious. They've bought three. Hello, Sue in Warwickshire. She's nice and local, is our Sue. She's just down, or is it up the road? Is it down the road, up the road? Warwickshire. Down, is it down? down the road? I don't know. Up You're road, asking down the wrong the person for geography. Yeah, I'd find out. 26 carats, 26 carats of, and it is multi, multi, multi colour, isn't it? I'd I'm wear a, that. Would you? Yeah. How would you wear it as, as a bracelet? bracelet yeah. would you? I think you need to start wearing bracelets because mm. I think you're you. I think you're missing not wearing bracelets, yeah. aren't you? I don't wear much jewelry at all. Well, I suppose it's a bit like a busman's holiday for you, isn't it? Mm. My mum's got a lot of my jewelry. My mum wears a lot. Of mm. it. What's what? What does that mean? A busman's holiday. I, I don't know the actual explanation, but it basically means you kind of. You kind of likes me selling printers. Then went home and started printing. That's what's the, what is the front? Yeah. Well, has it explained? A busman's holiday normally means, doesn't it, that you you you're doing something in your at home that you your job, and then you continue doing it at home. Can you look up what it's a busman's holiday? I'm sure I don't know how they. That is what you mean, isn't it? That's what it means. A busman's holiday, doesn't it? Because well, it's, it's busman, it's bus drivers taking holiday makers on holiday partaking in the holiday, but they're working at the same time. I think it's something along those lines. I've just always heard it, yeah. I've just always heard it called mm. a busman's holiday, mm. as in... Yeah. Yes, Thank yes, you. Yes. Say that again. A holiday or form of recreation, which is how I see it, that involves doing the same thing that you do at work. Mm. There you go. Mm -hmm. There you go. Anyway, um, Susan, Carolyn, Diane, oh, Jan, Diane, don't worry. I was just about to give you a nudge and you didn't need it. You checked out in the meantime. I bet she thought she's going to be on at me in a minute. I better check out quick. <laughs> Did you, Diane? Did you sit there thinking, I'm going to check out before she starts going, oi, check out. <laughs> I'll do it myself. <laughs> I'll do it myself. Say that again, sorry. What? Blue spinel. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking, what? Blue spinel. <laughs> what? <laughs> right, say it again then. Blue sapphire, okay. <laughs> Be in a pot. Oh, oh, um, Tom? Lucy. Is it Lucy or Tom? Like that? Is that? Oh, that will do, thank you. Is that a bit No, it's beige? okay. I've, it's I've, a I've, beige, that's fine. Or... I just couldn't right. do it on black, oh. could I? It's okay, I fixed it. I fixed it loose. I just needed a different colour background, but he gave me his mat. He is lovely, isn't he? Thank you, Luce. She came running. Sorry, Luce, I got you up for no reason. So, blue sapphire, microfaceted, in a little two by one. Oh, that's cute. What would you do? Because I'll tell you what, can you see that if I turn that around somehow? 
Because actually, if I can show it, the beta-hole oh. ratio is quite good. No, I don't know if I'm going to be able to... No, I probably can't show it. Um, I'd point for rosary link into a bracelet. Oh, I knew you were going to say that. With pearls. I'd have to put maybe three or four pearls in it as well. Would it be like... Remember that bracelet you made the other day with the Salon Sapphire? Yes. Exactly that you the rosary linked one either side of the pearl? Yeah. Oh, yes. Actually. Yes, that's yeah. exactly... Yes. Yeah. yeah. Or also, if you added... Yeah, when it comes around, I just want to show you, because there's actually quite... Get ready. There you go. There you go. Beat the whole ratio. It's actually really quite good. generous. Yes, yeah. Um, yeah, so I'm just thinking, actually, you know, like... Now, our, our in-house designer, uh, Anne, does this. She has a, um, a pearl p uh, piece of jewellery, but instead of pearl knotting, she puts a gemstone in between. Oh, yes. So yeah, it yeah. gives the pearl knot effect, and it has the same trick of looking oh, like pearl knot, amazing. but with a really yes. contrast gemstone like that. Incredible. Mm. Looks beautiful as ah. You can see where's you that can one see there? The hole, yeah. Look at the hole there. Look. Yeah. Or is it just the it's, light? It's oh, the it's the light. Yeah, yes. It's yeah. the. No, I'm talking rubbish. Um, blue sapphire. Wow. Wow. That's good. That's good. But oh. the good news is, he said currently. <laughs> he says twenty. Oh man, that's a bit naughty, hon. It's a bit naughty. 4 95 It's not actually illegal, but it should be, really, shouldn't it? Are you all right? Mm. Are you? Very well done. Beautifully swallowed. Yeah, mate, you can see the drill holes from here. <laughs> you swallowed a little yawn, no, didn't didn't you? <laughs> you can see the drill holes from you here. You can see the yeah. drill holes. It's just hard to show it. Yeah. You look like you're going to be... <laughs> you're putting your head down, mate. <laughs> I'm sorry, are you going any further, any lower? But yeah, a um, little bit of heat treatment, as 95% of sapphires are. But uh, again, we don't... Oh, hang on a second. Oh, it's Kyoto. Hello. It's a great name, isn't it? I used to have a Japanese friend called Kumi. Oh, Aww. Kumi. Yeah, she's lovely. Well, she's still lovely, just don't see her very much anymore. Mm. She have kids and it's a bit of a long way away, isn't mm. it? Kumi. She's really nice. Aww. Really lovely. Anyway, um, Julie, Rachel, Sandra. Sandra, see, I did that for you, um, Mark. <laughs> Sandra, Hazel, Deborah, Hilma, Glynis, G-U-C. I love your name as well. Hazel. And we've got some lovely names in our jewellery maker audience. Mm. We have, haven't like we? Names. I love names. We do like a name, don't we? Mm. How's little Ripley? He's lovely. Is he lovely? Fully recovered from his little injury. So he doesn't limp anymore. Oh, he's all right now. We were a bit worried about Ripley and his yeah, paw, weren't we? Yeah, it was last. Well, I went into the garden this morning, hadn't seen him for half an hour, and Andrew, he's not going to be watching now, so he, he, he won't know I'm grassing him up live on TV, left the side gate open. Oh. Could we find him? Uh, I was panicking, and I thought, I've got so much to do, and now I've got to spend an hour looking for the cat, and he was upstairs under the bed. <laughs> <laughs> Huge relief. <laughs> so we Oops. must learn now to check upstairs before we start running and panicking around. Or just don't leave the gate open. Jackie oh, said, evening, oh. Mark. Oh. Evening, Jackie. Great show as always and fab deals. Oh. Thanks, Scott. It's only 19 degrees here today. Much more comfortable for us than the dog. Yeah. I don't know though, Jackie. 19's about right for me. Mm. I'll take 19. Yeah, What's that too cold? Oh, no, 19's more than enough for me. Mm, and me. It's too hot. At, no. Mm. Mm. No. Jack and Glass. Oh, oh, Bertha! Oh. I was in Phoenix, Arizona. We got to 48 degrees Celsius, 119 Fahrenheit. We were tempted to try frying an egg outside. I was in Australia and it was 47 degrees. I was in, in oh. India and it was 47 degrees. And it is oh, horrific. Okay, horrific. Anne said, Team Mays, my faves. Oh, thanks, Anne. She said, Love you guys. Well, we love you as well. Uh, it works both ways, you know. Celebrating the start of the summer holidays in Scotland, it's even sunny. Well, if it's sunny in Scotland, oh. then it's really sunny. What are, the, what are the Scotland holidays then? Do they, what does that mean? Kids, do they kids finish early? Do they? Maybe? Well, do they? Because ours, ours break up in two, three weeks' time. Do you mean ours? We haven't got kids. English, English, oh. Oh. England kids. English. Yeah, it must be do some they holidays. finish earlier in Scotland then? Mm. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. Oh, mind you, I wouldn't know because we haven't got kids, do we? So we wouldn't know. We're not Scottish. No. no I did buy Scottish no. strawberries this week, if that's any good to you, Anne. Did you? Well, they were a better date than the English one, so I had them. Mm. I never look Can at dates. Can you have some? Yeah. You don't but look I, at... But <laughs> the only thing that I do do 
do do do. Have you just said do do? He just said do do Scott on telly. But I think I think that it might be a double bluff. Is when I go to buy a loaf of bread because we buy one loaf of white a week for toast, and then we we make the other loaves with the bread machine. And I always go to the back of the shelf and take the loaf from the back. Okay. But if I was the bread department manager, I would put the older dated ones at the back so people will think they're getting a newer date, but in fact they're taking the older dates. That's what I would do. I yeah, never take dates. most people, if you watch most people, they just take the first one. Mm. But anyway, know. I'm very impressed with the Scottish strawberries. Very tasty. I must say, very, I don't think I've had Scottish strawberries before and they're absolutely fab. Just thought I'd share that, share that with you. Uh, right then, now... Uh, can I just say at 4 95 I've got people buying five of those. Oh, All right. Like um, my uh, Mark, Dave, mm. Graham, would you like to choose something? Ooh. Not the tea, not the not the Star by Tea Bar. Well, then. I'm intrigued with the multicoloured tassel strand in the middle. I'm not quite sure what it is. I think what I know what it, it is. Yeah. Do you know? Is it? What did you buy on Saturday? Oh, is this it in the flesh? Well, it hasn't arrived five yet. Five It's not left. arrived yet. This is in the flesh. I have got. Well, let me have a look. Let him have a look Ooh. first. Is that all right? I have got five left. He bought this oh, on Saturday. I'm so chuffed. Only because five didn't check out the baskets. It sold out on Saturday, so somebody's not checked out. Oh, my word. Oh. It might actually... What's today? That won't be here yet. It'll be tomorrow or Thursday, won't it? Um... Oh my god. Anybody gosh. that missed, I'm, I'm a bit miffed actually, Scott. If you'd have told me, because I tried to get this on Saturday and they'd gone. Every one of them. So I've got Do to you be want half of mine? I can give you half of mine. But it won't have a tassel either end. I can't, I can't take half off you. Have we got the recording from Saturday? Look at, at those. Wow. There we go. Look at these. These are 10 mil. Oh, that's very kind of you to offer half a meal, but I couldn't take it off your sweetheart. No, honestly, honestly. Well, yes, please. Yeah. <laughs> um, what you've got here, and you've got to be quick, wow. though, because they are about to go. The Boulder Opal gemstones are these, comprised of this beautiful brown ironstone with delicate layers of dark chocolate and golden brown caramel marbled with absolutely gorgeous veins of precious opal um, and they do I'm just trying to show some of the ones here again we're in a bright and lit studio but they come with flashes of ridges and lightning ridges of really bright purples and we had some reds in there you can see that marbled effect on that ironstone there supply of this rare gemstone is uber limited I think on Saturday we'd only managed to source Something like 72 for the, and it was the only strand that we'd got. This is the last and final chance that we've got on the last five chances. Those of you that missed out, um, one has gone, we've got four left. Rare, rare, rare boulder open. In fact, in eight years of jewellery maker, we've never had this gemstone before. Never. I bought no. it for one reason. I was just going to say, oh, why did yeah, you buy it? To go with my lunar lace. I've been looking Ooh. for a really dark, vivid, dramatic stone that I can put my lunar lace and this is it. This is why I bought it. Did I you just see the purples yes. then? Yeah. Wait till you see the purples <laughs> um, when you get it home. So I'm actually going to get this. Yeah. Gosh, it's it looks super. so much better in the flesh, doesn't oh, it? It's stunning. Man, it's just, we can Beautiful. never make gemstones look as good as they are in an artificially lit studio it, through a camera lens. We just can't do it. That's We're not magicians. Me up. That's perked me up. Well done, they've all gone. Yeah, they've all gone. Well um, 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 I well. wish I'd known there were any, because I should have put myself on the wish list, shouldn't I? Because mm. five just obviously forgot to check out. Because you can bring the call centre go on the wish list, can't you, Scott? Oh, there's one left. I thought you said they'd all gone. There's one left on the Boulder Opal. One chance left on Boulder Opal. And that is the, uh, to my knowledge, and can I just tell you this? This is something I mentioned on Saturday. Um, it's very difficult to value Boulder Opal because of the rarity. So we don't get the chance to value Boulder Opal very often. However, in the gemstone industry, to give you a rough indication, uh, Boulder Opal, like this, can, fry, can fetch prices of up to $3,000 per carat. My word. On Boulder Opal. So please... Have an, have, have an idea as to when you're thinking about pricing your gemstones. And if you, this is a lovely thing as well. This is another reason I wanted the strand. Listen to this. 
Boulder Open is thought to help alleviate depression. That wasn't my reason, but help find true love. There are two of you on the phones to the call centre. If you want the Boulder Opal, it is first come, first at all. Oh, Scott just said I can pick one. Well done, well done. I, I've got to be honest, if, uh, there wouldn't be one left because had I known there were five in my show tonight beforehand, this is why Scott won't give me login from home. He's not stupid. He's not stupid. <laughs> uh, Shara White, it's got to be. Knockout Shara White as well. I've not seen this for a while. Oh, look at that. Are they 10 mil? 12 mil, 10 mil, whoa, 10 mil. Eight, oh, I know my sizes. Eight left, rare Russian beautiful Shara White. And if you've got those amazing oh, iris yes, purple yes. seed beads, they're gonna go fantastically. I do think that um, Shara White goes great with pearls because it's got, um, only the gemstone other than pearls that actually possesses pearl essence to my knowledge. They're cute. Yeah, don't they go lovely? Yeah. I like to put Shara White with white pearls, not just because of the pearl essence in the Shara White, but because I think it enhances the marbled mm. effect of the Shara yeah, White even, even yeah. more dramatically. I think it really works. You've just got them. Oh, oh actually, wouldn't that go lovely with the Boulder Opal? Well, oh, with the so. purple ridges coming. Oh, oh. man. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, yeah. no, I'm jealous because I've got, I've got strands of Shara White like this. Oh, I haven't got the ball. Oh, actually, actually, could I, if yeah, I can yeah. just have a couple. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Um, rare Shara White, brilliant. And again, if you want to pop it with some of our beautiful amethyst that we have here at Jewelry Maker, that does go wonderfully. Look, keep it all with the purples if you fancy. That's nice as well, isn't it? Or, better idea, even more, I don't know if we've got any left mind, with those. Those Love black spinel. Well. Did we take those to? Did you take those to? Pardon? Nine ninety-five. Okay. I tell you what. We've taken the black spinel to nine ninety-five. We'll take the price of the black spinel off. So actually, if you want that with that, we've just reduced. So basically, that should have been thirty-nine ninety-five. We've just discounted it. The price of the black spinel. Oh yeah, twenty-five percent off on Shara White. You try and find that anywhere else online that says 25% off Russian rare 10 mil <laughs> Shara White. I bet that'd be hard to find. Hard to find. Sorry, I'm getting terrible at not saying my... my Brummies don't <laughs> say H's, do they? We don't even say it in Birmingham. Birmingham? Well, I don't say it in Birmingham. Mm. Now, you might, be th you might think we've peaked at Boulder Opal and Shara White. We've got Burmese ruby. We've got chrome diopside. We've got carved labradorite cabochons. And the most affordable, cheap Larimar ever. Getting started with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. When you spend $4.95 with us, you'll get a free welcome pack, which contains everything you need to get started, including step-by-step -step project cards and a DVD, which will give you the chance to be able to create an arrangement of different items of jewelry. You'll also get a manual, which will help to familiarize you with all the items you're going to be creating and all the tools you're going to need to do so. Plus, you'll also get a free pack of tools. These will be everything you need to get started. Getting started with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier, so why not give it a go today? Our Jewelry Maker community is a fantastic platform to share, learn, chat and make new friends. So why not like our Facebook page and join over 64,000 like-minded people?
Buying with Jewelry Maker online couldn't be easier. Just head over to our website, jewelrymaker.com, and click on the register link. Simply fill in the required fields and you can shop 24 7. You'll also be privy to a faster checkout and personalized offers. Jewelry Maker, your one stop shop for all your jewelry making needs. Did you know that if you go to jewelrymaker.com and sign up to our mailing list, then you'll receive 10% off your first order with us. We'll also keep you updated with special offers, themed shows, program guides, and Jewelry Maker tutorials. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Oh, that's good ruby, isn't it? My word. Oh! Oh, can we just watch that rat go round again, please? That is... Oh! ...pretty striking. My word. Oh! OK, the good news, there's good news and there's bad news. I'll be, I'll be truthful. Good news and bad news. Good news is, we've got them. And they're brilliant. And they're fab. <laughs> but, there weren't many. I mm. know, oh, no. there's always, you know, I thought I'd give you the good news. But, it's better that we got some. Because, you know. Um, cracking this is. I mean, cracking strand. I have 20, when I said not many, 28. I know it's not enough, but what a 28 it is. Burmese Ruby. No, we know, don't we, that Bur Burma delivers some of the most fantastic gems. So just think of the jadeite, mm. yeah? yeah? And the sapphire. Royal blue Burmese sapphire. Stunning, stunning green jadeite from Burma. I mean, it's a very generous landscape, isn't it? A very generous yeah. area of the world. A bit like Sri Lanka, actually, Certain, and Madagascar. Some, some areas of the world just deliver the best gemstones, don't they? And Burma is definitely, um, definitely up there. The brightest red, Mark. I've not seen anything like it. It's absolutely phenomenal. That is a fantastic recording, whoever did that. It is, to be fair. It's incredible. Absolutely 28 incredible. available. Limited edition. I think that's a real pigeon blood red. Which is a, quite a horrible term, isn't it? It is, but in the industry it means... Yeah. Poof. It's my I... mum's birthday on Tuesday. Is so it? Ruby's, Ruby's her birthday. Oh. Yeah. Oh, yeah, just since July. What's that, the third? Third, third yes. of July. Yeah. Oh, well, I'll tell you what. Uh, mate, mm. Are you going to think about making your mum some... She's not watching, mm. is she? Do you know what I'm thinking her for her birthday? What? A path. <laughs> for her a garden. path? A path for her back garden. I said, what would you like for your birthday? And she said... I'd like you to pay. <laughs> I'd like you to pay for the builder to put me a path down. I said, okay. Oh, so, bless her. So we're getting her a new path. So is she going to get some Burmese ruby as well? Yeah, I'm sure she will. Oh, yeah, I yes, thought she might. I'm sure she will. She's got to have something to wear, hasn't yes, she, your mom? Yeah. Mark Smith's mom. I mean, come on. Nine carrots wow. of quite, quite. Well, there's no two ways about it. Superb. Superb. Um, with um, Sally. Well done, you. Sally can't resist. Sally's not even waiting for the price to come in. She wants to know what we're going to do, don't you, Sally, in Somerset? She's like, yes, please. You're joking. You're joking what? That that's gone under 50? We're not finished. 
We're not finished. We're not that. finished, Sally, and everybody else coming in. We're not oh, finished. Forty-four ninety-five. Sales manager's superb, spectacular saving. Oh, wow, <laughs> Have wow. you just what was that? Fifteen pounds off. Yeah. It's Burmese. Fifteen pounds off Burmese ruby. Ah. Oh. Nine carats as well. Shall I show you with the pearls? Just to give you an idea of how fab they look. Look, 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 look. Hang on. Come here, you. Come on. Oh, what do you think about that? That is incredible. Well, that's a great idea, Scott. Scott's just said, what about, you know, the kit earlier, we had those beautiful blue pearls and, and um, blue Ethiopian opal. Can I just borrow that? Oh, thanks, Leah. Let's show it, because there's no point in saying, how about this, and they're not showing you, is there? Because Scott just said, when he went outside into the garden with Mark. And Callum. Oh, and Callum, you with were With a video like, camera. Oh, but why didn't you take a video then? We did, but it, didn't, it just didn't, I didn't, didn't know. Yeah. Sometimes you it can't capture it, can you? Yeah. yeah, the sun yeah. was very bright this yeah. afternoon when you went out, to be fair. But what wow. um, Scott's saying is when they went outside, this is the colour of the flashes yeah. of the red in the opal. Mm. Incredible. So if you did manage to get that really, really bright opal from earlier, that beautiful royal blue, uh, you can just see it at the bottom, but it's not a yeah. fraction of what it's going to do when you get into natural daylight. Just be lovely combinations. And mind you, having that with the white pearls as well and going a bit, uh, for us Brits, patriotic. There'll always be a... Land of hope and glory. Oh, I started a bit lower then. Um, but yeah, so that would look fabulous. Oh, Suzette, hello. Suzette, are you coming in for them? Oh, Suzette's going posh. Suzette in Moray, show her. She's going posh. She said, I'll have a bit of that, thank you. And it is next month's birthday. We Can you should have been. It's July. Can you believe it? Well, it's not, well, it's not yet. Maybe next week. I know, it's Sunday. Can I just mention, do you remember a while ago, I think it was last year now, it might have been the year before, when we used to do that thing where we said, buy yourself a mystery strand, mystery luxury strand, spend £29.95 and we will guarantee that we'll send you something more expensive. It was ages ago, what, a couple of years ago? Mm. Yeah, possibly, yeah. And, and then we sent you something more expensive. But the only thing is, you didn't know what you were going to get. No, some people liked it, some people were a bit, oh, I can't, I can't release control, I need to know what I'm getting. So this way you're getting a luxury strand, 44.95 by our pricing, which we already know is brilliant, but then we're going to tell you, we're going to tell you what you're going to get. So you're going to get nine carats of Burmese ruby. 29.95! Wow. Now, we mentioned, um, we met, oh, they're nearly gone. They're nearly gone. You've got to be so quick. You've got to be quick. Sandra in Leicestershire. Collectors come in on those. They're about to go. Not surprised. Not surprised. You've got some amazing little pieces to your left. I know. It's because we've got Scott. That is so good. Can I have it here for a bit? Let's have it just there. Look what? There. Um, sorry. Wow. Oh, collect. You've got to be quick. You've got to be quick. You've got to be quick. <laughs> oh, we promised to give you the black smell, and we didn't. That's all right. Oh, that's all right. Should we? Oh, we promised. Do you want it? We forgot to give it you. I don't mind. Would you want to sit and have a bit relax? Yeah. I think he wants to relax. <laughs> I think we've worn him out. We've worn him out, haven't we, love? I'm intrigued what that strand is. That? Yeah. It's the. <gasps> yeah, no. uh, yeah. Yeah. Mm, Have you not seen no, that? No, never. I don't know. The best ever. To be fair, I could never be that, Scott. That's not fair. You knew what... Oh, he's been cheeky. He's been cheeky. Oh Can we word. do these, darling, please? I love these. Oh, we do love these. These... Stop getting used to it, Mike. These are carved labradorite. We don't get carved very often, do we? Oh, look at this. Oh, the look at the purple! purple. Oh, 
What's the rarest colour in Labradorite? Is it purple? That's incredible. I'll tell you what as well, that's a very unusual carving. They are ablaze, aren't they? It's got a, quite a tribal look to it, isn't it? Well, I don't like to say mm. this because I don't mm. want, but it looks like a forest fire. Yes, yeah. Isn't it? Don't it's you think, more look... three-dimensional, doesn't it, with the, with the carving at the front there? Yeah, very different, deeper. those. Mm. And yeah. every single one oh, is absolutely look. ablaze. I've not seen that, that bright yellow colour no, before. No, look at that! That's a real lemon yellow. I've never seen that before. Wow, no, I've never seen that brighter yellow in there. Have you, has anybody seen that brighter yellow in a Labradorite? Oh my word! No! That's incredible, that's a neon yellow, isn't it? That's tennis well, that's ball like yellow. A, whoa, isn't it? That's amazing! I rescued a tennis ball from the river by the Warwick Castle the other day. There was one floating in the river, so I rescued it. While you were kayaking? It. While I was kayaking. <laughs> Look, oh, do you know, isn't what every getting, one of these... I'm getting these. Oh, I, I, love say, that, I love that yellow. Look at that yellow. It's, on, it's a proper tennis ball yellow. That's if you go phenomenal. to Wimbledon, get these. Look, but then again, it's not just one colour, look. Look at the gold, look at the teal. Wow. Oh, my, oh, and they've look. all got the mark. I'm getting these. Well, hang on, has he got a chance, Scott? Don't, don't get oh. too... Don't get too... Oh. Yeah. Do you want to go out and get them? Because I feel like, would you like to go out? Is he allowed to go? Do you want to go out? No, no. Oh, no, I don't know. He doesn't like to leave the studio. He doesn't like to leave the studio. He doesn't think it's right. That's incredible. I love that colour. I love that colour. So oh, that, that's phenomenal. That is, that's, that's just that's my, extraordinary. That would have been my favourite. Yes, yeah, mine too. Without the yellows. But mine then the too. yellows have, have, have yeah. come in and st stolen the show, haven't they? Look. I'm sure I had a pair of socks that colour back in the day. Our Labradorite is, well, I mean, it's, it's thanks to Madagascar. Madagascar just delivers the best Labradorite, I think. I know we all love original source Canadian, but for me, Madagascar. So yeah, we said, you're going to Madagascar, completely. Madagascar, every yeah. time. But, and again, nice depth of cabochons as well. Yeah. What's, so, the back, what's the back like? Oh, my oh! God, look at that. <laughs> <laughs> That's the back. <laughs> Hand on heart, I've never seen oh. that bright yellow before, ever. These are superb, man. What? Oh, look, look at, at them. Oh, they're ridiculous. They're absolutely ridiculous. In a good way. I don't mean that negatively. See, today's, today is all about bugs and bug days, isn't it? I mean, that's dragonfly wing there completely. Do you know, you ne we keep saying, how does it keep getting better in a gemstone? How does our planet keep doing this? You haven't seen that one yet. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, these are the back. I'm not even, we're not even showing no. you the front. Oh, my, how many left, Scott? Oh, 13. Oh, my word. Oh, my word. Oh, my word. Somebody says it says sold out. They're not. There's 12 left. So why does that, why does our website do that? It's, it's a bit, I think it's a bit naughty, our website, mm. sometimes it fibs, doesn't mean to, I think it just can't keep up with himself. If you call the call centre, they'll check you on out. 0800 644, ring them up and say your website's been devious. It's not just the colours though, look at that carving, that's the most unusual carving that's I've amazing. yet seen on one of our cabochons. Oh my god, that's extraordinary. Oh, they are, that yellow man. So yeah, I know it says checked out. It's not um, sold out. They're not. Naughty website. We'll tell you as soon as they are, because Scott can tell. I don't know why it does that. I think what it is is, do you know what happens? I think what happens is you absolutely descend on us, mm. and then I, th I think it almost. You know, sometimes when it says a website crashes, mm. and then it can't get the algorithms and the basket things right, and then suddenly it goes, oh, it's sold out, and you're like, mm, no, it hasn't. We did that, didn't we, on Seed Beat Day. We did do that on Seed Beat Day. We completely crashed it, didn't we? We broke we the did. website. Yeah, do Well, you did. It was your fault. I'm blaming you and your popularity. You broke to it. Oh, he dear. did. These. Now, are you guaranteed? Ah, I don't guarantee the amount, but I've got four, five. Five, five, five. But you are guaranteed a whopping great big two, 280 carrots. I do think that looks like a forest fire. Where were these lawns? In a good way. Didn't, I've never seen it before. Oh. oh, they were in a kit, weren't they? We've got the last 28, mm. the kit. 
Oh, designer envy again. Ah, oh, right. So, okay, Scott just giving me some information for you, and you only think, well, that's just confused me. I don't take much confusing, Scott. Oh, oh, I see. Oh, he's just explaining. Because he said, right, shall I explain to you how it works? Because he just said in my ear, oh, the kit's sold out. They're in a kit before. And I'm thinking, okay, well, if the kit's sold out, have I got some of those? He went, well, there's so many components. And if you, mm. let's say you make want to make 100 and you've got 100 of the wire, but you've got 120 of those, but mm. there's no more wire, you can only make 100 kits. Mm. But that leaves 20 of those left over. Ah, yeah. got it. Got it. Thank you. Because he, I was thinking, how's that work? And if it was in a kit, he said, the kit's sold out. I'm thinking, well, but now we, now we get it now, don't we? Now we get it. Uh, oh, Alison's not. Alison's just bought three of them. I'm s can I just apologise? Oh. I do, I do apologise. It seems to be just this one deal and we don't know why, so I'm so sorry. Would you mind just shifting to the court to making a phone call if you want those? He's trying to make it work. Aren't you doing your best, aren't you? It's, anno it's annoying us. <laughs> it's annoying him. It's annoying us. Um, I'm so sorry about that. But do me a fact, would you mind? It's the same process, you just got to ring up and the call centre, they're ever so lovely. 0800 644 655 if you want those. You can't get over them, can you? Well, I'm looking at the back, okay. I look at it there, you've got turquoise. You tilt it, it goes yellow. You tilt it again and it goes dark blue. Sure, can you, I don't, can you show I don't it? To the, I don't know if you can do it on the, on the we were uh, looking on the... Uh, oh, so we start and we sort of got this bright yellow and then you go to turquoise. And then you can't, you know, it goes dark. You can see, we can see dark blue. Yeah, outside. but we're, so we're, it's three colour range yeah. on the back. <laughs> That's the back. <laughs> oh, they're incredible. They are. Why they are those? super. I've never seen them before. Well, I didn't see the kit. Well, you've only got it. We can't watch twenty four no, hours a day, no. can we? So if we no, no. Pod anyone? What else is incredible? <laughs> I thought he said your neck. You did as well. But you've got an incredible neck, apparently. I thought you meant that as well, actually. <laughs> wow. Um, I must just say, the ridiculously priced, best price, lowest price, naughtiest price, Larimar, we've ever seen on Jerry Maker. Could it be 15 minutes? <laughs> oh, man. Limited edition, I'm afraid, but I'm going to put... <gasps> I know, I'm ignoring it. Microfaceted, microfaceted, it's, it's, it's microfaceted chrome dark side. We're being teased. Oh! Microfaceted chrome dark side. Mm. Didn't even know we did it. Didn't even know we did this. Oh! Oh! Yeah, hello! Oh, I've had, I've had dealings with this. What do you mean? I've had dealings with this strand. I had a kit. You I did know, not. I had a kit on a morning show recently. It was, it, it was, one of the components was this, and also a strand of green aventurine. I need and these. And the two in the kit. I it's need these. stunning. I need these. Mm. I need these. These have never been outside of a no. kit before. You've, no. got to, you've got to get me these. Can you ring the call centre, please, uh, Scott? Please. Look at oh these, look. man! They're amazing. That to me is a bracelet, bracelet, bracelet all day long. Microfaceted, yeah. microfaceted, chrome dots are my favourite gemstone in the world. And I'll tell you what, I'd mix those with. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I'd be doing. Look at that. The Burmese, Burmese ruby and microfaceted. How long have we been doing microfaceted chrome dots? I've never, I think it was, never I think seen it. Brand it. New, I think it was two weeks ago we had it, and it was. Brand wow! New. I did yeah. not know this was happening. Oh my word! I've got to have that. I've got, that's just a... Can I leave the studio? <laughs> Scott's like, no, you can't. I'm like, can I leave? Just to nip outside and call the call centre, please. That's incredible, isn't uh, it? You know why as well. Twenty four ninety five. Mm. Oh, that is brilliant. <laughs> I'm not even going to moan and complain about that, even if I can't get one, because that is just wonderful. Deirdre, Anila, Sally, Shaolene, Suzette, Melanie, collectors in County Antrim in Yorkshire, Angela... Um, amazing, amazing chrome dots on microfaceted. I can't cope. I uh, think they go with the, well with the Burmese ruby. They go with great with white pearls. They go with the Larimar beautifully. Um, what a superb strap! And that that's the first. That's the first time I've seen those microfaceted. They're phenomenal. Two Absolutely by one mil. What would you class that as in a seed beads? An eleven? Um, a bit bigger. 
No, 11, I think. About an 11? Just, just slightly it's more than 11, yeah. Can you imagine, excuse mm. me, for those of us that know what we're talking about, can you imagine a BDB cluster in them? Mm. On a drop chain. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know how I can cope with that, but yeah, I think that to me would be... What would you do with those? What did you do I when you had use, the... I, would, I use them as space... <laughs> I use them as spaces. I don't have an issue with that, though. You don't have it, Not twenty four ninety five. incredible, incredible. You can, you and, I, can... and I made a bracelet with re rosary linking, because you, you can be able to get point four wire through the drill oh, can holes. you? So you could rosary yeah. link, Or your featherweight head pins from your yeah. findings. Silver featherweight, do you remember? Yeah, sterling silver featherweight. Yeah. It'd be lovely. Oh. It's beautiful. Oh. How would one physically... No idea, facet. sweetheart. No idea. By hand as well. Oh, that's incredible. And hand it? drill, and hand facet, and hand polish. Just don't... On, on such a rare, it. and as well, can you imagine as well, on such a rare gemstone mm. that there's so little of in the world, and then you, somebody gives you that and goes, cut those to a little two by one mil, you're like, you are kidding me. And yet, oh, cut these, mm. oh, yeah. facet them beautifully, <laughs> let, you yeah. know how rare they are, hand drill them, don't you dare ruin them. You'd be mm. like, oh, 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 oh. That's the, incredible. The, the, I'll tell you what, oh, oh. Um, Jan said it was green Oh, yes, it was. Sorry, I do apologise. It was green kyanite. I've had a green event tree. And chrome topside mark. But it was um, green kyanite. Mint kyanite, which is brand new as well. You can't get these things wrong with no, people like Jan. because you she Don't help. miss a trick. Thank you. It was mint kyanite and chrome dioxide in a kit. Nice. Yeah, yeah, OK, yeah. last two chances on those chrome dots. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. If you like me and they're your favourite, and a lot of us, their sparkle on those is just <laughs> wicked, isn't it? Oh, my world. Is it your favourite as well, Scott? Is um, it? Oh, we're destined to be together. I think you're confused. I do. <laughs> Sorry, Laura. <laughs> and Laura's going to ring in a minute. So will you stop her from... <laughs> Sorry, Laura. I just in my, in my in my mind, in my dream world, we're together, Scott. I'll be honest. She said that about me as well, Scott. I did not. Yeah. I did not. Mm. I did not. You did. Yeah, but I know I can't. I know I can't. You I can't know have I can't Scott have. either now. Just a little window of opportunity. <laughs> Two week window. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Oh, wonderful. Do I have these? Um, li uh, loose? No, they're not here. Honest, they're not here. <laughs> okay. Um, do what? Oh, can we do the the, tr the chain, please? Is that okay? Can we can we have a look for the rainbow and moonstone cabochons, loose, please? Thank you. Because what what what? We should have some rainbow moonstones cabochons, the white ones. Thank you, darling. Uh, I have a metre of sterling silver Rolo chain. It's got a look of Rhodian plating about it, I Do you think. know, it doesn't half, doesn't it? Yeah. Because it's such a bright white, isn't it? Yeah, it's amazing. Yeah. Um, I just like, I like Rolo chain because, uh, Mark and I like Rolo chain because it's got her consistency. Mm. <laughs> it all matches. It's very neat and tidy. But nice high-end... Um, High end, you could turn that into a really nice high-end um, charm bracelet or necklace. Oh, completely. The links are large enough. Yeah. To pop jump rings and yeah. wire them. And I've got to tell you, way. because of, you can see it's a very sumptuous chain. Um, did you notice, just watch the graphics at the bottom of the screen roll over now. Get ready. Seven oh my word. grams of silver. Oh, my. Seven. Seven grams! <laughs> mm. What? That's a lot, isn't it? That's a massive amount. Isn't it, sorry? In it! In it! <laughs> okay, lovely, I love a Rolo chain. Do you love a Rolo chain? I, I don't think I've come across a chain that I don't like, to be honest. Do you know that's a very good point? Mm, well, you I know really me. don't think there is. I actually own... You need, to you need to come to my house and I'll show you my jewellery stash mm. from Jewellery Maker. Okay. Most my favourite is a... Is it Takali? Takali, that's, yeah, that's my favourite. that's my favourite. Takali. Your favourite as well? Oh, my f I've got every Takali chain. I love every length. Ticali. Every colour one. I've even got the yeah. multicoloured one. The three tone. Yeah. Nineteen ninety five for a metre. Could we have... Mm, it's 
Come on, Scott, you can do better than that. Come on. Just give us a bit. You're give not, us a you're bit. You're not like this with other producers. Well, no, I can't get away with it with other producers, can I? They don't have oh, the I buttons. They don't have not. the logins no. and the special codes that Scott has. That's got... lovely, just like Isn't that. Isn't that? Yes. I tell you what, we need to do. Sorry, we were looking at. Did we do that mm, thing? What we? <laughs> at the big camera. Um, we need to do a bracelet like that with all those strands wrapped round. Yeah. That's a nice design, isn't it? Yes? Yes, Leah. Leah says yes. Yes, we like that. I like that actually, just wrapped around, it's wrapped beautiful. around, wrapped around. Because you could make, you can easily make six full bracelets out of a, out of a, what, okay, what would you do a sterling silver bracelet like that for? What would you sell it for? What would I sell it for? Just plain with a silver, yeah, yeah. with a clasp? Yeah, yeah. £30? £30, times six, £180. £180? Yeah. Yeah. You've just got to add six clasps and a couple of jump rings. Mm. Done. It's not bad, is it? It's not bad. Very elegant. But terribly elegant, mm. isn't it? It doesn't like me. <laughs> you could turn them into drop earrings tassel if you like. Earrings. Tassel Oh, they do make nice yeah. tassels, don't they? Yeah. Tassels. I love a tassel, especially in chain. Especially in chain. They're lovely. Very unisex chain as well, would you agree? Completely. Mm? Oh. All gone. It's gone. It's gone. It's gone. It's gone. Did I tell you my spooky story about the piano tuner? Oh, what did it not hear? Oh! That's proper, more like prop, it. Hang on. That's more like it. Proper rainbow. Yeah. Oh, I'm scared that when I turn it over, you're not going to be able to see it. And it's on the back. Can you... Wow. Oh, <laughs> my word. Oh. oh. Uh, bear in mind, I'm doing the same as I did with the Labradorite reverse. This is the best ever. I've not seen it like this before. Oh, my goodness. Look at the front. <laughs> oh, my goodness. We're doing oh. it again, Mark. Best ever. Sorry, I've got to say it. Best ever, yeah, best completely. ever, best ever. I've never ever. seen anything near this. No. I'll tell you what, our new, our new gemologist, Marie, massive pat on the back for getting these, love. So incredible. That's an amazing cocktail ring, isn't oh, it? Oh, yeah. That's the yeah. back. That's <laughs> the back. And I still can't show you in the best light because I'm in a bright elite studio. That's the worst you're going to see them. Can you see down the bottom there? I don't, just don't, don't want to hide it with my fingers. Look at the colour. Can you see the proper rainbow colours? Look, I still, they're still not coming through, right? That is royal blue and mm. turquoise blue in the, in the same That's cushion amazing. shape. These are unbelievable. I mean, that, I mean, goodness me. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, <laughs> oh my. <laughs> Respect, <laughs> Marie. Mm. Respect. Wow. Oh, I'm not surprised, you know. Is that the full parcel mm. that we got? 24 available. That's it. That's absolutely it. <sighs> Limited edition, best ever rainbow moonstone. Now, do you know what? If you've been waiting for something like this, a true rainbow moonstone, we are also going to do you a very special live show, sales manager special. £20 saving. Thank you, <laughs> lovely. Thank you. That just means we've just saved you the price of those carved Madagascan Labradorites. And these ah. Moves. And these ah. moonstone hold up against <laughs> hold up against these. Did you hear Lucy then? No, no, no. She just went, How much can I get these for? <laughs> How much can I get these for? Uh, they are superb. And I do mean superb. Alison in Bristol is just coming for those collectors are coming in for those 90 spectacular carrots. Of, of Rainbow Moonstone, I mean, just <laughs> the best. Oh, Miracle said, wow, amazing, Z. They are, aren't they? Look, you can still see that the studio lights are ruining it, but my goodness gracious, they are the best. 
Can you imagine having the royal blue Ethiopian opal and then that as, your, as, bezel. as the bezel? Mm. Oh, the, sorry, the bezel surrounded uh, around that around those moonstone. Karen, well done. Hill, well done. Alison, well done. Collection, Suffolk, well done. Excuse me, what? You know, when excuse me a minute, Scott just wants to have a chat. I'm gone a minute, everybody. You know, our photographs on the website, yeah. Yes. Oh, the photograph's really good as well. We managed to capture it. Brilliant, 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 brilliant. That's always handy. But again, that's what your 30-day money-back guarantees. I tell you now, your 30-day money-back guarantee, it's great that it's there. You ain't going to want to use it. That confident. I'm absolutely They're confident. Extraordinary, aren't they? Aren't they? You're all right, little mm, flower. Yeah, transfixed. Absolutely transfixed. They're beautiful. They are beautiful. The finest I've ever seen. No, no. By a shadow of a doubt. Oh, girl. yeah. They're awesome. Awesome, oh, awesome, 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 awesome. Oh. I'll take it the natural. Yeah? They are. They are absolutely natural as well. Uh, well done, well done, well done. We're getting down to very limited. I mean, we only started with 24. Two thirds of the stock have gone. Two thirds have gone. They are superb. Just superb. Well done, everybody. I just, I'm just conscious of the time. We can't, we can't stay well. any long because it's, it's Laramar time. It is. Um, we... What? For the Moonstone. Yeah, yeah but mm. we can't... Ha yeah. Uh, we've got um, two on the telephones. We've got four in baskets. So actually, at the minute, if you all do check out... Oh, sorry. I'm actually over-allocated now. So if you all check out, they're gone. Okay. Right then. Now, at the minute, if you're sitting there thinking, oh, I've got £50, pounds, but I've got, I've got sort of 15 20 wouldn't expect that to buy you Larimar, would you? Or have I done it? Is it? Start by. Sorry, that was a bit of a clatter, wasn't it? I do apologise. Right then, um, okay. If you've always dreamed of owning super rare, beautiful, exotic, and it is exotic, Larimar, that um, rare blue form of pectolite, then... Oh, that's... Oh, no, I didn't know that. Yes, yeah, it's a rare blue form of pectolite. Wow. Yes. See, we learn something every day, don't we? Yes. Oh, okay. Oh, you like that, don't you? Yeah. Yes. So if you hear the word pectolite, that's the rare blue form of pectolite. Right. Uh, but it's your lovely, lovely, beautiful Larimar, found only in a... It's a one-location gemstone. I can't begin to tell you how excited gem collectors get about one-location gemstones. There is something special. So the likes of your Larimar, the likes of your Tanzanite, the likes of your Sarite, gemstones that aren't found, like Sharawite, that aren't found anywhere else. Your Amatrine, it just that mm. one location, sometimes one mine... You know, it makes them extra special because it means that that area has to have this specific amount of heat and pressure, chemical elements, all coming together to produce this gemstone. Isn't that, doesn't, this is why we are so fascinated with genuine gemstones, isn't it? I just think that there are people out there who only collect one, yeah. one, um, yeah. what's the word? Location. One location. Thank you, Mike. One location gemstones. Yeah. It's very, oh, yeah, I'd, massive. I'd, be I'd love that. Mm. Now then, I'm going to show it you because it's so beautiful. Because what you get is a subtle, soft shade of, of this beautiful light blue. And then it's formed with natural streaks and patterns of turquoise within it. And white crystals. So you, you've got these streaks of your turquoise, your white crystals in there as well. And that's all influenced by copper as it's forming. And as the crystal grows, every single Larimar is unique in its colour and natural markings. Every single one. It's a fascinating gemstone. It really is. I think very, very much unisex as well. Mm -hmm. No, so, yeah, yeah. Yeah? 
very um, surfing, surfer yeah, surfing, dude. surfer dude, mm, yeah. yeah, surfer dude. Um, the blue colouring is because of the presence of cobalt. So oh. again, lots of things got to, and it'll only be found by anywhere that's had volcanic activity. Okay. The only pain now, this mm. is why I don't understand the price, you know, Scott, because they're having to tunnel deeper and deeper and deeper to get hold of Larimar. So, uh, yeah, you've heard this the other day. So, how come the price is so low then? Yeah, but prices are supposed to be going up on this. You're not in charge of pricing. Oh, that's very convenient, isn't it? Well, actually, you are in charge of pricing. He's such a fibber. Um, but um, you can get um, Larimar in white, light blue, green blue, deep blue. But the original pale blue Larimar is where it's the most highly priced and therefore the most valuable. And there it is. And there it is. Now, how, how, were it one of the other colours that isn't priced so much, I could get the price point mm. he's doing. But mm. I don't understand because it's the actual one everybody wants. <laughs> and it's the one that's the most valuable. So you're like, why? But we love you. We do. We love you. Now, everybody is um, checking out quick and quite a few of you have bought two each. Do it, Scott. I dare you. We dare him, Mark. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. It's madness. Twelve ninety-five. Twelve ninety-five. On Friday last Bonkers. week, I had the most extraordinary Larimar kit, consisting of Larimar cabochons, which I'd never seen <gasps> before. Oh, so if you got that. So if you managed to pick up that kit, which I believe sold out on the show, this alongside it would just. Be <laughs> Phenomenal. <laughs> I wouldn't mind the natural as well. They are the natural. Uh, yeah, you've just lit up. You've just lit up. The, uh, oh, what are you doing? <laughs> that was so charming the way he said, There we go, see? Larimar for everybody. Oh, lovely. He's very generous, isn't he, Scott? Mm. Yeah, yeah. Oh man. We basically just bought the Dominican Republic to you, haven't we? Mm. We had 124. Now watch this, try and keep up with you all. <laughs> Natural Larimar, local speciality of the Caribbean. I'll tell you what, we feel like we're in the Caribbean at the minute with this weather, don't we? So if we yes. feel like we're in the Caribbean <laughs> weather, we might as well have the right gemstone, won't we? The sun's shining, whop your Larimar out. Nine ninety-five. That that has got to be the first time we've taken Larimar under ten pounds. Has to be. Has to be. I'm willing to bet that. No, no way. Dawn, there's something wrong with this price, so I bought two. <laughs> <laughs> Love the show. We do that, though, don't we, Dawn? We have no we have no qualms, do we? When no. we think so we've made a mistake, we go. That's really naughty, Jam. I'll have two. <laughs> I'll have three. <laughs> I mean, I'd love you to try that. I'd love you to go into the into your local jewellers. I mean, the chances are they're not going to have Larimar. No. <laughs> Sorry, but they're not. In fact, yeah, try going into your local jewellers. Have you got a Larimar jewellery? Pardon? That's your first problem. And the off chance they do. They won't. But if they do, <laughs> imagine going in and saying, oh, I love that. That's lovely. And they go, yes, that's £100. Lovely. Could I have it for 70 They'll be like, no, it's a hundred. We don't do that. We go, okay, you can have it for twelve ninety five, and everybody scrambles for the phone and the, and the website and start checking out ZERU seventy two. And then Scott goes and thinks, I can't even tell you why he's doing it. We all know why he's doing it, but we're not allowed to tell you. Pardon? I know why you're doing it. I'll tell you. Now then, Sharon, wow. Collector, Judith, Isabel. So this is a guaranteed sellout. Guaranteed. No two ways about it. My only concern is who's going to be successful. Because they bought... I can't, there's no point me reading the names out, because as soon as I read them, they've gone and they've, they've checked gone. out. But there are a few in the baskets. Sharon, Collector, Judith, Isabel, Sandra, got a quick, quick... Oh, God, I can't keep up with you. LD, Carol, uh, Hilia, Kelvin, Caroline, Nia's just got them. I've got... Do you know, there's names here I don't recognise. So that tells me what a great deal that is. I bet that's just created some new customers as well, Scott. Hmm... Yeah, if you've just joined us on Jewelry Maker, welcome, welcome, wel welcome to the fold, welcome to the family, because once we've got you, that's it. <laughs> you, ca you can't, you can't, you, you just can't resist, can you, once you're hooked? 
Once wow. that first parcel comes through your door, you will start having to admit to people, hello, my name's Zena, I am a jewellery addict, addict, jewellery maker addict. I'm an addict. Mm. I'm an addict. Nine ninety-five. Yeah, the thing is, though, you've got to pre-warn all. You've got to warn all your friends and family because from then on, everything they get for the rest of their lives will be Christmas, birthdays, <laughs> anniversaries. Will be handmade jewellery. <laughs> now then, do we still have those, Scott? Yeah. Now the good news is, if you're new to jewellery maker, we send you a, a welcome pack for the first for the first order. When you spend four ninety-five or above, you get that lovely white um, uh, package inside. Project cards there for earrings, brace, bracelet, and necklace. You get a DVD, you get a manual, you get those tools, which is a side cutter, round nose, and chain nose. You get findings pack and what the, what findings are. There's your tools. You also get a threading pack as well. Four ninety five or above. Oh, Zena, you are so right. Once hooked to JM, that's it. Anila, hello, darling. Somebody just said she's oh. right. She's what? Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. I read a Wall of Fame out on Friday from Anila and... Ah. Oh. No, it was, it was Sunday morning. And I was, I was worried that I pronounced the name wrong and I did I remember pronounce, it because you said did Anila, didn't you? You said yeah, Anila. Sorry. Um, somebody just said, is it long enough to do a bracelet? Yeah. And earrings to match. Earrings to match. Yeah. Look at that. That's well, well is it, well, uh, to be fair, I've got, I have got a slim mm. wrist, but even mm. so, I'm a good six inch wrist. That's incredible. Right then, 21 in baskets. 21 in baskets. And uh, how many on the phone? 10 on the phone and uh, single figures. Well done. That's amazing. You are amazing, Scott Delicious. <sighs> Just went. Did you go all girly? I do, I go right pathetic with Scott. It's just <laughs> not right. Do you know, do you know what I'm gonna say? I'm gonna say something now, if you don't mind. Because I split up with my fella last year and I got I've gone right off, not interested at all. People keep saying, go on over that. Oh no, right off. You're the only person apart from you. Scott, excuse me, I'm burying my soul. To... Forget it. Forget it. Forget I was burying my soul to him then. And he started having a chat with the director. Forget it. Forget it. Forget it. Not Doing it now. No, not doing it now. No, no. <laughs> what would you like me to do? I'll, I'll talk to you, Lucy. What would you like me to do? I am wounded, Lucy. Can you believe that? I was burying my soul to him then. And he started talking to the director. Can you believe it? I'll tell, we'll, we'll go for a drink later and I'll tell you then. Story of my life, that is. Bear my soul, not interested. I love these. I love them. Can I try them on? Please. There's cufflinks all day long. Something for the gents. Yeah, I think so. But, yeah, but you know, yeah. can I say something? And I, I don't, don't mean to, I don't mean to say. What do you think I'm going to say? Ladies wear cufflinks too. Yes, I am going to say that because when I was in mm. corporate land and I wanted mm. to get I want, in my powerful business pencils, skirt, all that bit corporate world, I had to dress the part. Um, I couldn't get nice no. feminine other than the obvious, obvious mm. high heeled shoe. You know, come mm. on. Mm. Um, so, yes, yeah, so actually, I know we always go cufflinks, men. No, ladies as well. Ladies as well. Big carrot weight, great shape. Oh, you That's know funny. what's... Oh, we took them away. The black spinel. I'd put the black spinel uh, faceted cones yeah. with them. Would you? I've never seen this shape before. Isn't it lovely? Love I've only it. seen it once before. Ah, I have seen it before. It was in a kit, wasn't it? It was in a kit. Yes. Yeah. Claire. Now, what did we put I them with in the kit? I can't remember. remember. I'm trying to... I'm trying to remember as well. <coughs> oh, oh <laughs> thank you, Lucy. She's not only going to mention black spinel and she's there. Look at that. It's beautiful. Ooh. Wow. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, absolutely, Lucy. 115 carats of Amazonite. Do you like those, Mark? Love them. Or would you go black, white? No, no, no. Black always works with Amazonite. It does, I doesn't love it? That combination. Because yeah. I actually think that looks far more dramatic than putting mm. like white pearls and stuff with it. Yeah? it just makes the Amazonite pop, doesn't it? It does, doesn't it? it? Just brings it out. 
Um, they are superb. I do also think was that Amazonite oh, yeah, yeah. that goes. So I actually think um, I think um, amethyst goes well with Amazonite as well. Yeah. So we're lovely colour block mm. contrast contrast. <laughs> Can't beat a bit of Cheryl. No, she was amethyst and orange. She was. She was amethyst right. and orange. She was, yeah. When she got sacked from thinking because he didn't like the outfit, Simon Cowell. He's not shallow, is he? Didn't like that outfit, did he? That what? wasn't. That wasn't the reason, was it? Oh, I think it. Oh, it wasn't the reason. No, they couldn't understand her accent. The they Americans. Couldn't oh, they couldn't understand no, her accent. Oh, I no. thought it was the outfit. I thought it was a bit shallow. <laughs> uh, right then, okay. Um, there you go. Oh, what about these? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That did it, did it, look at that. Ooh. And, and I've got to show it. I've got to show it, because... Oh, what's this? Oh, look at this. Wow. That, that... Oh, you wear that, you're... You wear that, you're a mermaid. End of. You, yeah. Which one next? The abalone. I like the way it's dripping. It's really lovely. What's dripping? The abalone. Oh. I was thinking, what? When I was on air yesterday, things were dropping from the ceiling. I don't know what they no, were, no, but they no, were, no. weren't they? I was with you. Yeah. yeah, I know you were. Mm. Did you spot them as well? Because we didn't discuss it. Mm, there were some random so. things dropping from the ceiling. <laughs> so. I hope it's not like in um, Indiana Jones and the <laughs> Raiders of the Lost yeah. Ark when it's all them snakes. You'd be like, oh! I love that. Double-sided abalone coin, big cabochon, 30 mil. Four ninety-five. Make a nice, beautiful ring, do you think? Yeah? I love that. That is fabulous. Fab I love, do you see what I mean about the, the, yeah, sort of the drippiness and yeah. the ooziness? It does. That's a nice word. Oozing, I don't think yeah, it's a good word. No. Do you? Oh, Oozing, I, like I think that. of a wound. Oh, no. I do, though, <laughs> a wound oh, that okay. oozes. Sarah, hello. Hello, Gorge. Abalone sells, sells, sells. Double-sided yeah. is just so versatile, too. So summer. Oh, I love the word. So Very summer. summer. Sarah put some lovely pictures of Steve on Facebook over the past couple of days. Steve who? Steve's the Jack Russell. Steve! Yeah, he's so cute. Yeah. <laughs> Great. He's not very keen on this hot weather. <laughs> it's brilliant, isn't it? <laughs> oh, I love that, Steve. <laughs> I'll show you pictures. Steve. I'm going to finish the show, I'll show you pictures. He's I lovely. like that, Steve. Steve. <laughs> I sent Lucy a friend request today and she accepted. Lucy who? Lucy. Oh, this Floor Lucy. Manager Lucy. Yes. Ooh! <laughs> Lucy and Mark sitting in a tree. K I F S I N G. Yeah. Ooh, so watch him friends. loose. <laughs> watch him loose. Think before you accept. It's been done. The deed has been oh, done. Oh, she accepted. Mm. Well, she could mm. defriend me before we've even spoken. She wouldn't. But nobody else. Yeah. She accepted yours. Oh, look. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh, you're friends with Lucy. Yeah. I don't think I've ever sent a friend request out. I You've already sent one to me, I think, haven't you? I did not friend request you, Scott. No, I didn't. <laughs> you haven't got a page. You haven't got, you've only got that producer one. You've got your own. <laughs> I'm not on that. We're not friends, are we? Are we? Oh, apparently we are. <laughs> right. <laughs> and now I'm... Are we really friends on Facebook? Oh, I didn't know we were. Oh. No, you've only got your producer one. He hasn't. He hasn't. I, haven't. I sent a friend request H from Steps and he accepted. <laughs> so there. That beats all of you, I think. <laughs> H and I, I like that. There we are, you see. Me and H. Yeah, yeah just, just saying. Just saying. What I love about you, you actually think you've made us jealous. <laughs> 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 I'm sure he's very nice, but H wouldn't be my person to friend request if I'm okay. truthful. You know. But he accepted, though. He said he accepted me as a friend. 
Oh. Bless him. I'm sure he's very nice. Um, which one, sorry? I don't... I think Lucy... Sh um, Lucy, if you... I don't think she's deciding to give me these things. Are you just randomly picking things that you haven't loose, as, asked Lucy to get out? Could be. Mm, yeah, I mm. think that's what's happening. Poor mm. Lucy's. Okay. Sorry, Luce, but I think it's all right, she says. <laughs> bright, 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 oh, bright. The, oh, um, oh well, this has got a really amazing name, hasn't it? it has got, yeah, it's got that um, funny name, hasn't it? Yes. It, uh, oh, I want to try... You had it then. I, yeah. Uh, oh. oh, no, they've got a really special oh, name, yeah. haven't they? Oh, no, I can't remember. You're going to have to help us, Scott, we can't remember. It's eluding us. <laughs> do, 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 do. Do, do, do. But they're like a, they're like, like, a, like a, a, um, I don't know, a coral, some sort of sorbet, sorbet, a coral yeah, sorbet. Coral sorbet. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's brilliant. Yeah, they are beautiful. If you can't find them, does that mean we can do them or we can't do them? If you just show me where those tourmalines are, darling. Oh, you're trying to find them. I thought she said they were on my desk. I thought they're not. Um, hmm. We just try it then, darling. Opaque mandarin. Could be. I think that is them. Yeah. Well, they're 15s, aren't they? They are 15s, aren't yeah, they, Mark? Yeah, they're 15s. 15s. Yeah, yeah, that's right. This is the one. Mm. Opaque mandarin. We were completely wrong, weren't we? We were completely. We were completely wrong. I'd be putting those with the royal blue Ethiopian mm -hmm. opal. Yeah, I think I would as well. Would you as well, Mr. Smith? Yeah. Yeah. We like they're that. Or with the tangerine opal, if you want to sort of mix mm. it in a bit. Yeah. 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 Size 15s. Opaque mandarin, size 15s, full 7 gram tube. Price please, Mr. Scott. Beam me up, Scotty. That's brilliant. Eight ninety five. For 15s, that's fantastic. And again, it, it's two finishes this time. Yeah. Brilliant. So there you go. Brilliant. Voila. We're going quite French today, aren't we? Voila. Voila. Voila, monsieur. Oh, do you, know what, do you know what? I just fancied eating then a gherkin. I fancy a huge oh. slab of Christmas cake. Oh, do you? Is that because I just sang? I was sing I wasn't mm. singing Christmas, I was no, singing. No. Why are we waiting? I could Christmas have bought you some, My friends just had some lovely fruit iced like a Christmas cake for their 30th wedding anniversary oh. and she offered me a slice, but I don't like it. I could have bought it in for you. Yeah, that's all right. I don't know what I've got you could have. I've got yogurt coated raisins. Oh, they're quite nice. I got them, given them in a little packet when I went to the 30th the other day and I thought, I've got chocolate covered raisins. You mm. could have the yogurt coated yeah. raisins. Shall yeah, I give I like you those? Them. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Z. It's fine. What did you do with the garnet? What garnet? Ah, uh, no. What did you do with the best garnet in the world ever? I have no idea what you're yes, talking about. Yes, you did. Where's the garnet? No, I... No. Yeah, where's oh, I the garnet? You... you flipping hound. Did you see that then? Did everybody see that then? Oh, we've created a... You know, I thought for a moment when I saw this earlier that it was purple sapphire. Well, you would think so, wouldn't yeah. you? Yeah. I was thinking, wow, this is this is extreme. This is about as rare as purple sapphire. Yeah, it's it, incredible, you know. Isn't it? Um, and it is also wow. the most captivating, exciting find, and most incredible. No, it sounds very technical. Purple pyro Belmandine garnet. Now, if you talk wow. to anybody that's uh, a gemological uh, from the Gemological Institute of America, you talk to a gemologist, you talk to an accredited jewelry professional, and you 
understand the rarity of this. We are really lucky because this was um, launched at the 2016 Tucson uh, Gem Show in Arizona. It's a new breed of garnet. Now you can get garnet from Tanzania and Malawi, but it's not as bright. So if you want the brightest purple garnet ever, then you've got to get the Mozambique because it's got an intensity that is just unbelievably striking. But it's got this unusual, super rare, brilliance and brightness it's about incredible. it. It's absolutely incredible. It is, without doubt, if you're looking for a purple garnet for us here, and when you're talking to the people across the planet, and I tell you what, we are the... When I spoke to... When I, I shouldn't say who, but I spoke to somebody that owns a very well-known jewellery shopping channel. So jealous that we got a parcel of this. So jealous. <laughs> we have got the best, best, best material ever. Brightest purple garnet. Um, also, there's something I want, do want to mention to you about this. You might think, ooh, two by one, three by two. They're quite small. That's what you want. Mm. Because the bigger the size of these, the darker they get. So if you can get pieces less than three to four carats, that's the most valuable. So again, don't always think bigger no, is best because it isn't. Not when it comes to gemstones. Sometimes it is, sometimes it isn't. Not with Mozambique garnet. You want the smaller sizes to get that. <laughs> well, I've got thing you've just said. <laughs> we've only got ten left, and this is the la this is the last ten in the business, isn't it? This is. I've got to. I've got to just oh. sound. I'm really sorry because I don't like to highlight this, but there's real political unrest in this location, and they've closed the mine. It's closed. So, I don't know if he's going to... We don't know, do we? We've got no information yet, have we? Has Marie got any information? No, she hasn't got any information. Okay. So, unfortunately, we don't know when we're, we're going to get them again. It's the real deal. It is the pur pi purple pie rope almandine garnet. It's the real deal. Highly attractive in colour. Superb brightness. You get notes of red and blue when you get it outside into natural daylight. That's guaranteed. We are one of the very few people in the world, one of the very few places in the world that have actually managed to secure a parcel. Um, and the fact that we've then given you actually, I, I know it's an eight centimetre strand, but nine carats of purple mm. pyropal mandine garnet is rare. Super rare. I've got three left. That's it. Best quality. Prices range on fine quality purple pyropal mandine garnet in the industry currently at about six, up to $600 per carat. S up to $600 per carat. Puts into context, doesn't it? 59.95 for nine carats. And as we said, unfortunately, this highest grade material that we've managed to secure for you, we are very proud of ourselves for this. I've got to say, pat on the back to Jewelry Maker for this for you. Um, I've, I've managed to get this strand, and when you get that out into natural daylight and you do the trick, look at that. Mm. Bewitching, so isn't it? Beautiful. It's actually like bewitching. It. Not really like yeah, and um, again, we've actually dared to film that against the black backdrop. I'm showing it against a white background, and you can just see how bright they are. But again, in that recording there, they're just as superb against a black backdrop as well. Last chance on those. No more of those in the business at all. That's not like me going and everybody goes, oh, there'll be another one on my. That's it, there's none mm. left. Gone. Okay, one left. Um, right then, after the break, we're giving you a giveaway. And a Mark Smith piece of jewellery if you buy the kit. Not that you need any incentive Stunning to buy the kit. kit. It is. Can't he, wait. He was near to tears this morning. Do join us after the break. Knockout kit and great demo as well. Owning a strand of genuine gemstones is always exciting, but being able to use it in your handcrafted jewellery, then passing it on to its new owner with proof of its authenticity is even more incredible. Why not add one of our printed authenticity cards to your order and share that same feeling with your customers? 
You can also access online authenticity certificates through items you have previously ordered by looking at your order history on your account details. The certificate gives you valuable information about your purchase and is your guarantee of quality and peace of mind from Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Love Jewelry Maker but don't have an account? You can now purchase items on the Jewelry Maker website through our guest checkout. To do so, select the products you wish to purchase and head over to the shopping basket. Simply enter your email address and select Continue as Guest below. After this, the checkout process is simple. Select your quantity and delivery option and then check out securely. Enter your billing details in either a credit card or PayPal account and proceed to payment. From here, you still have the option to create an account if you wish, making shopping online easier for you. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Did you know that if you go to jewelrymaker.com and sign up to our mailing list, then you'll receive 10% off your first order with us. We'll also keep you updated with special offers, themed shows, program guides, and Jewelry Maker tutorials. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. He's lost on these kits. He's just gone. He's just gone. This. What is it about these kits that have that have got to you? I think what really got to me in particular with this kit is the components are so beautiful. Every one of them is just incredible. And because I've been a bit short of time, I've been really frustrated because I would have loved to have had a week to spend on this kit. And I think the jewellery that could have been produced could have just been now stop above it above and beyond. It already is. I mean? It is. Well, okay. No, not okay. But no, it's incredible, and it's got brand new Swarovski pearls. Brand new Magatamas, the most amazing seed bead bundle yep. alongside. But for me, it's those iridescent green Swarovskis. They are just, I've never seen anything like them. I was going to oh. ask, I couldn't borrow your, did you put your mat away? It's in my bag over there. Could, you, could just, I borrow it? Just on the, on the left hand the side. The soft bead up. mat, the soft That's one. That's it. Do you mind? I'm no, sorry. sorry. It's packed away. No, I'm sorry. sorry. Thank you. It's just, can we do this one? Are we doing the, thank you, darling. Yeah. Oh, look, uh -huh. at look at this. Look at him, he goes. He, he, now, can you pass over the bracelet we're going to give away uh -huh. as well? Just to sort of get everybody all excited. Okay, so. Look at that, look at that, look uh -huh. at that. Uh -huh. This is what it's all about. It, do you know this is? This is this is a kit <laughs> and a half, isn't it, my love? Now then, we have got some... First of all, let's talk about the Magatamas, if I may. Mm -hmm. Because the Magatamas are Magatamas that we've never had before. They're also the long Magatamas. The long Magatamas. I can't remember the last time we had Magatamas full stop. We had, I don't think we've had them this year. Now, why is it you're posh mm -hmm. and I would have thought you said Magatama and now you're saying Magatama? Did I say Magatama? Yeah. I've always said Magatama, I think. Magatama. 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 Come Magatama. on. Mm. Um, so these are far, four by seven mil. You got them in this on oh, new market like these. Now these are the long magatamas, silver lined gold beads. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and you get a massive stash of those. And then these, which we're thinking, if you got that kit earlier, with the seed bead, are you turning right or are you no, waiting to ask I'm a question? I'm going to ask you a question, but I don't want to interrupt. Okay. Well, you look like he was turning right. <laughs> look, I thought he was turning right. You know, and then on the bike. Um, sorry, go on. In each tube, there are two hundred and six. Please tell me you haven't counted. I them. counted them. I love you. There are 200 in this bracelet. 
and there are 206 in the necklace I made. So that is the whole yes. parcel of yes. Magatamas or yep. Magatamas Round. in that brace. Yeah. Now then, Mark's saying, if you buy this kit, not that it needs an incentive, but he just said, well, shall I give a giveaway? I went, no, yeah, why not? No, yeah, why not? Mark says, if you buy the kit, when the kits have all gone, because they will all go, mm -hmm. we will call the call centre to get them to draw at random, because we're not allowed to, and because uh, we might pick our favourite, or one of them, and then it gets drawn at random, and you get sent it. Yeah? So, both of these colours, now this, this colour of this uh, metallic variated, uh, is it called variated? Variegated, is that a word? Yeah, that's so. You variegated. Get variegated yeah, sorry, plants. yeah, variegated, yeah. you're quite right. Yeah. Long Magatama is in the metallic variegated blue iris, which we think will go so well with the first kit. So well. Yeah. Never yeah. had this colour on jewellery maker before, either yeah. in the blue, um, uh, in the variegated blue iris, nor in the silver light gold seed beads. So that pile is brand new, never had that colour before. That's brand new, and to our knowledge, we're not aware that we've had these no, before no, either. I've never seen them before. They're amazing. These are your <laughs> Swarovski pearls, okay? Now, the th th and they are very dragonfly-esque. These mm. Swarovski pearls here um, offer a great value price for what would perceive to be a natural round Absolutely. pearl. Absolutely. That's why they were designed. Yeah. So they are perfect replicas of genuine pearls. And what I mean by that is you get, they're made of a unique crystal core, which is covered with a really very clever, innovative pearl coating which then produces this silky smooth, flawless pearl finish with a rounded surface. You get lots of different shapes and sizes and colours. Shapes? Shapes. <laughs> um, and actually, I think they're the biggest ones I've seen. Mm. And this, this, this little bundle of pearls here, uh, this is what made me weep this morning. I've, I've never oh. seen anything so incredibly beautiful. Can we? They're, oh, they're going to set you, me off now, actually. Don't. I just, I just think yeah. they're, they're just... They are beautiful, they are delightful. In fact, the size of these, that's the first time I've seen that, 10 mil, half the stock of the kits have gone. I've also oh. got these in the front. Yeah, okay, so I've also well. got, these are new as well, iridescent yeah. purple. Mm -hmm. Now they, they're 58 tens, do you know what that means? Okay, a 58 ten Swarovski pearl means that it's drilled right through. Mm -hmm. Okay, there are different different numbers depending on what they are, um, but you get no hole pearls, half hole, large hole, and full hole. Fifty eight ten is a full hole, so you're getting size wise there. You're getting um, forty eight of the six mil in the drilled iridescent purple, brand new, and fifty. Mm -hmm. Now these is it? What does that word mean? What can you pronounce that? Scarabaeus, scarab beetle. Yeah, light, but light. so it's scarabaeus. Thank you. Yeah, so they are yeah. scarabaeus green. Yeah. Oh, um, yeah, no, that's not the amount we've got left. Scott's trying to press his little button to tell you where we've got. So you're getting, um, of the, of the uh, 6 mil, you're getting 48, you're getting 50 of the 10 mil. Mm -hmm. And you get the, so brand new of the Scarabaeus, brand new of the um, iridescent purple, brand new long Magatamas in both colours, beautiful kit. Uh, as I put on my Facebook page today, it's the finest kit that I've had on a late show ever. Could I Absolutely just... Absolutely. Yeah, he did say yeah. that to me this yeah. morning. And he well, I've told the world on Facebook. I woke up to a text yeah. saying, he said, this kit has made me weep. practically weep. Yeah. Did oh, he ring yeah, you as well? Scott did as you? Well. Yeah. Sorry there. Now, this is all right. This bracelet's being sent out to one lucky winner. I'll do it the other way around. Oh, sorry, sweetie. Sorry, I got, my, I got the jump ring tangled. There we go. Yes, someone's going to win this. Yeah. Very kind of you to give this away. Oh, pleasure. That's look at that. Yeah. Look at that. Oh, it does look like a, a, one of those oriental dragons with yeah. the long serpents with the manes. <gasps> oh, Mark, that yeah. is superb. Sure, you want to give it away? Mm -hmm. Well, we've said it now. It's a bit big for me, anyway. Yes. Thank <laughs> goodness. Thank <laughs> I've got a tiny wrist. That's really sweet of you. So, the, the deal is once we, and Mark's going to teach us how to work with the, with the Magatamas as yes. well. Yep. We've got the Kumo disc, we've got the round, we've got the large, got the small, got the square, got the cords, got the Kumahimo endings as well, the findings for you, got everything. And that's Mark asked. I think the, actually it's the same it is. findings pack. Oh, there we go. In that's action. why we put it in. Ah, fantastic. Brilliant. We think about this, you know. <laughs> we do, we think about this. Some people think we don't. We do. You know. Oh. So then, just to confirm, I mean, that is actually, if you, if you add those up, you know, mm -hmm. that's 98 Swarovski pearls I know, there. I know. And I would pay that. The price of the kit, I believe, if it's, if it's what it is, yeah. it's just ridiculous price, 
Um, I would pay that just for that for those green pearls with that shadow. And I'm going to use mine with my Murano glass. Ooh, from yesterday. Be so beautiful, absolutely beautiful. I'm also thinking, dare I say it? Mm -hmm. Christmas colours. Yeah. Christmas colours definitely on that on that scarabaeus. Mm -hmm. It's so beautiful. Would you like to see the price point? Over half the kits have gone. Price point, please, Scott. <laughs> I was told the price, and I thought, no, that, that can't be the... But it is, isn't it? That is Do the you, price. I'm being funny, love. Do you know how much Swarovski pearls should be? I don't think... That is... Um, and you got the chance to win a bracelet at Marks as well. Now, those Swarovski pearls have got the sensory per perception of real pearls <laughs> because they, have got, they adapt to the, to the warmth of the skin, like real pearls do. They've got a high specific weight, which is very similar to natural pearls. They've got the luminous luster because of that innovative coating. So you haven't got to worry about not about you know that protection that we have to have, and that worry about your real no, pearls. No, no. But the fact that they adapt to the skin to the skin's warmth, so the warmth of the skin, they will adapt to. They've got the same weight. This that they mimic a flawless round pearl to perfection. That's why Swarovski came yep. up with them. Yep. Um, but you're getting 50 of the 10 mil, wicked, brand new colour. 48 of the 6 mil in that beautiful brand new colour. And the lo long magatama's brand new colour. And the long magatama's their brand new colour. All of those for 29.95. Oh, that's that's I, would, I would pay that for those green pearls. Well, we said that, didn't we? Yes, I, I think you've yeah. got... I actually do think you've priced the whole kit for the price of the Swarovski mm, 10 mils. I think you have as well. Scott. <laughs> Oh, well, you've done it now. Um, and you have the chance to win. So the second that kit sold out, I do have some seed beads to go with it, actually, as well, if you fancy mixing it up with some seed beads. So I've got those coming up for you as well. Um, but, um, ooh. How many baskets? Ooh, 14 baskets were over-allocated. Yeah. Ah, OK. Uh, bear in mind, in fact, could you call the call um thing up on the screen for me just to show you there's no point me reading the basketeers out because look how many people are buying on the telephone as well thank you scott is it doing it there you go look telephone 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 look, half and half oh yes do you yes, see just wanted yes. to prove that then a lot of people on the telephone a lot a lot of people actually that's the most i've seen i think by two sheila's had two mm. uh allison's had two Carol's had two. That's a lot of people. You don't normally see people buying two of a kit. I actually do think, because the thing is, the, the thing is, though, Scott, people are now making Already? for Christmas. We're yeah. nearly into July, hon. Yeah. We're in the second half of the year. Mm -hmm. And we'll be having Christmas in July when we all confuse all the, uh, all the people in the garden shop when we go for a cup of tea yeah, in, our, yeah, yeah. in our Christmas jumpers. I got a bit goosebumpy then. When's Christmas in July? Well, it's the same week of the 25th yeah. of Boxing Day and Christmas Day. Mm -hmm. Oh, bless her. When is it? 25th. Mm -hmm. 25th, Leah. Bless her. Uh, right then, now, should we just mention how many people have got it in their baskets? I'll give you a, cl I'll give you a little heads up. Collector Karen, Ella, they're about to sell out. Sharon, Sand well, I say about to sell out. You've got about 20, 25, 26 left. 27. Ella, Sharon, Sandra, Teresa, Sue, Dawn, Collector Angela, oh, Victoria, Mrs. Christmas. How do we know you'd be in? She said, that kit is fabulous. Got mine. So excited. You're so clever, Mark. And Zena is brilliant. Oh, Can't help but make amazing jewellery with this kit. What nice of her to say, though. Mm, there is. I love our viewers. Our You're viewers lovely. Are She's actually yeah. Mrs Christmas. You know that, yeah. don't you? Yeah. The real Mrs Christmas. The real Mrs Christmas. She is. Mm, mm, Jean yeah, says, yeah. Mark. Oh, here's a question. What is yes. the difference between a Magatama and a Super Duo? Well, I will. when I come to do my demo, I will... I will um, reveal, reveal all. all because Leah helped me make this. I did look at those earlier. Yeah, I did look at those. It's brilliant. I would, so all will be revealed okay. when I come to do the demo. So we're yes. doing it in a second. Karen yes, says, yes. and we concur, oh my word, Mark. Absolutely amazing. Amazing. I'm in complete agreement. What a kit and makes are out Thank of you. this world. Thank you. I, was, I wish I'd had a week on this. I really do. Well, he was, he was getting stressed. Because he was saying, oh, I haven't got time to do it justice. Ah, nah, 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 nah. Well, you are. Should we tell the viewers? Should we tell the viewers? I started this kit at 8 o'clock this morning and I finished this kit at 1 o'clock lunchtime. 
You know, you, see, you see films of people working really fast and all the smoke comes that was like that today. Well, if you can do that in five hours, Mark, yes. there you go. Sarah yeah. says, terribly Wimbledon, darling. Yeah. Well, actually, yeah, good point. Yeah. Stunning colours. I love long magatamas. Really effective used in Kumahima. Absolutely. Mm. Oh, uh, amazing jewellery, Mark, I think it said in capitals. Did it? Thank you, Sarah. Amazing jewellery, Mark. Thank, thank you. you, Sarah. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Right now, then, that kit's going to sell out. It is an absolute no-brainer. At, at, um, have you got stuck in Georgia to get fed up pressing the button? There's no way we're still on 27, hon. You still, come on then, get your finger working. Come on. Um, yeah, this sorry, he's trying to keep this up. Made my day. Oh, Absolutely you knew it was going to sell out, didn't you? Um, when I'm I read so those, happy. the last Norma's just coming on the phone. Brenda's just coming on the phone. Um, Tracy's bought on the phone, Janet's bought on the phone, Collection Angles is bought on the phone, uh, Veronica's on the phone. So, yes, when I read out those names, don't forget as well, you are, at the minute, how many kits were there? 118, so not everybody's bought one, some have bought two. Let's say you've got a 1 in 115 chance of winning that bracelet, so your odds are pretty good, mm. aren't they? Odds are, and that's very kind of you to give this away, Mark. Pleasure. Absolute pleasure. Beautiful. Aww. Shall I just give you the other part of the kit? And then we can let Mark show us what the difference between a Magatama and a Super Duo is. And do a little demo. Demonstration. This is just fantastic. Do you know, I've never had in a kit a 6-0, an 8 and an 11 in well, the same colour mix. And let me tell you, he hasn't, because he normally brings me up. I've got 10 packs of 11, <laughs> what am I supposed to do with them? But it's fantastic to have the same colourway in all three sizes. I've never had it before. You haven't actually, no, have you? So you and, it does, and for everything in, these, in the other part of the kit, it matches. Beautifully. So we've actually got, um, as Mark says, 11s, 6s and 8s. Um, and we've got the champagne. So if I show you those, we've got the... Sh In fact, if I go through them, Mark, yes, can you absolutely. put... Thank you, because yes. we work as a team then, don't yes, we? Yep. So if I start with the 6s, um, you've yep. got the Mayuki Metallic Green Iris. There we go. Okay. Do you want to tip, tip them up so we can see inside? Because yes, it's only because. Yes. Thank you, darling. There you it go. Warrants, isn't it, with the iris it does warrant it. it indeed. Then in the size eight, we've got the metallic purple green iris. Lovely. Mm. Then in the eleven, we've got the metallic dark blue iris. Mm. Brilliant to have the three sizes. Then you've yep. got the champagne Mayuki Duracoat galvanized elevens. And then you've still got. We haven't finished. Mm. Mayuki round cobalt gold luster seed beads in size fifteen. There we go. Okay. And as Mark said earlier, he did say he'd worked with the fire line when he did yep, the demo right, earlier on. Right. And we're going to throw in eight pounds. Uh, oh, hang on a second. Can I clarify? My description says it's the ten pound fire line. So I'm going to hide that. It says eight. Can we just clarify that for me, Scott, please? Fire line in the smoke grey. Just, just clarify. I got eight in my kit. Yeah, so it's fine. It's okay because we're talking about the break weight, but we're just. You've got eight, have you? Mm. Need to clarify that then because mine says ten. Okay, sorry about that. Ten, eight pound. Eight pound, ten pound. <laughs> Your sweet beads aren't no, going to weigh that no, anyway, are they? No. But uh, yeah, so we are right then. Eight pound break weight. We have to rip that off. We don't. It, it's just to take the code off. So we have to just take. That. I know it looks a bit messy, but sorry about that. So um, yeah, eight pound break weight um, for your fire line as well. Eight, yeah. Just why does it say ten on mine then? Mm. <laughs> anyway, who cares? Uh, one, two, That's three, four, silly. five tubes of seed beads. That means they're less four ninety nine each, and we've thrown the fire line in for free. If you want to work it out that way, or you could divide it by one, two, three, four, five, six. Can you divide that by six for me, Scott, please? Just so we can work out, because we like to know how much each thing costs, costs don't we? Wow. Four pound. That's Fifteen. Crazy. Brilliant. And they go so beautifully with the first part. I mean, the, the Magatamas, the, the oil on water look. Yeah. And then you've got the Swarovskis. Everything just matches beautifully. So a massive, massive thank you to Hannah for yeah. putting this kit together for me. Yeah, I mean, you're very happy, aren't you? He's just beautiful. loved it. He really it's has. It's been a really nice end to the, to the little group of, yeah, work, of, of shows. Yeah. Yeah. So that's mm. nice. Go out, with yeah. A, go out with a bang. Dragonfly delights because it, they just are the loveliest dragonfly colours. You don't have to make a dragonfly design no, with I it, didn't. obviously. <laughs> no, you didn't. <laughs> I was going to no, say, yeah. Uh, no. 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 Um, although there might 
be news to follow on Thursday. Anyway, you'll find out on Thursday on The Late Show. Mm -hmm. All good fun. Oh, it's very exciting. 24.95. Yeah. We're actually going to keep our, keep it shtum till we Thursday. Are, we we, are, we, we are, promised are. ourselves yes, we're going to keep we quiet. Are. We're very impressed with ourselves. Yeah. Um, right then, how many of those available, sweetheart? Okay. 123, we've got about 50 left. So do keep checking out because obviously somebody else will take those. Those both those kits today are a guaranteed sellout. There is no question about it. Super value for money, and it's not that; it's the selection. And to have, as you say, the three colourways in those three different sizes. It's fantastic. Oh, it's super! Fantastic. And your jewel. I mean, just that Swarovski pearl bracelet on its own, just with a few little seed beads in between. You don't necessarily have to make complex Look seed bead designs. Look at them. You can't help but get carried away with those I just think they're so I tell you what if I, if I was going to Wimbledon mm, yes. I would borrow that jewelry or yeah. remake it with this kit I really or Christmas mm. I mean that to me is high-end Christmas yeah. beauty imagine yeah. you know like when you have those black velvet tops and dresses at Christmas time with those green uh, yes, oh yes actually you're right that would look amazing yeah. yep or if you're going to see the musical Wicked Mm -hmm. Wear oh, them. Yeah, yeah. Wear them. Oh, yes. Actually, oh, yeah. It's a wicked green, isn't it? Well, if you start going out with like Yoda. <laughs> sort of like Yoda. He's a dude, Yoda. Yeah, he's cool. He's a dude. He is cool. Um, right, I'll tell you what then. We're well. talking about now. Who was it messaged in and asked about the super duos? Can't remember. Who was it? Asked us. Was it Sarah? No. Karen. Sarah. Jean. Well, Jean. Oh, I got that completely wrong. I bet Jean was going, it was me. You no, definitely... I don't have a super duo in the studio, I don't think, but I can, so I can describe it. So, okay. So a super duo, um, we always say that from, from one side, it always looks like a little piggy snout or a barn owl. So if you can imagine an oval bead, but both ends have been slightly pinched, so the cinched ends, and then they have two drill holes. Okay. Okay, so that's yeah. a super Shall duo. Shall I hold the Magatama up to help you? Well, I've got... I've, I've oh, got, you're going to do yeah, it? Okay, yeah. I'm sorry. Can I slap you there? Yeah, Take that, because yeah. I, I don't want to keep wearing something that some, that somebody's, oh. it's somebody's jewellery. Do you okay. know what I mean? I was just thinking, oh, Zine, be careful with it. Sorry. I'll do that, darling. Okay. Thank you, sweetie. Okay, so I've, we've set up this little mock-up here. Leah, help me with this. Okay. Oh, thanks, Leah. So this is a Magatama in the front here. So it's, it's an oval, but it's, but it's got two flat sides. Yeah. And two shorter, um, ver not, what's the, horizontal, no, not vertical, not horizontal, the other one. Diagonal. I always forget diagonal. It's bizarre. So you've got two flat sides, which are the same length, and then you have two diagonal. So it's a, it's a rhombus shape. Rhombus. A rhombus. Now, a, a Magatama has one drill hole, not two. Okay. okay. Now, because of the angle of the, the diagonal here, if I... I don't have another... Do you want my tweezers? Um, no, a little piece of... I've got a little piece of wire here. Ah, oh, perfect. So I'm going to use a piece of wire. Now, with the Magatama that we've got laying flat on here, I'm going to take that hair away. I'm going to, oh, don't know who that is. I'm going to place the wire down through the hole. So you can see that's it, it, the drill hole is, is diagonal as well. Okay, so one side, one drill hole, but diagonally through. So what we've done, we've done this little mock up here because depending on which way you thread your magatama will depend on how. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to turn it up on its side so they're all. So give them a little tap so they're all laying down. And can you see? Ah, oh, they either go down or up. So the bottom row goes down and the top row goes up. Oh. Have you got something I can put behind? Is that going to be a bit, a little black board maybe? Just so I can, will that show? Will I lose it a little bit? Let's have a look. Will I have I lost it a bit? We are. Yeah, I'll borrow this. Borrow this. Are you sure? Yes. It's quite important that, um, there we go. Perfect. So if you see the top row, okay. That's with the with everything drilled the same way. So you yep. place it, and then the bottom row. Just move this down a little bit. Okay, I've taken the thread through the other direction. Okay. So when you're making a bracelet and you want to have that scale look, you have to ensure that the they're right exactly way. the okay. same way. So that's really important. Okay. Okay. It doesn't matter which way you go for, but as you long need as you to, go the same way, you need to do it the okay. same way. Okay. So that's your magatama, which I just. Thank best. you, darling. Okay. 
So what I did for the big necklace in the middle here... If is I that the spiral, this, yeah? This is the um, Kumihimo. OK. This one here. Oh, yes. Yeah, so what I, well, as you can see, I've started off doing a little section of 6-0, then the Magatamas, then the 6-0 Magatamas. So I used two full tubes in that necklace, and okay. I think it's worth every single oh, bit. Oh, yeah. I just love it. Yeah, I yeah. think it's so beautiful. It is beautiful. So what I've done, I've got my Kumihimo board. Okay. okay. Pop the specs on. We've got those coming up as well. Oh, brilliant. So I've got the Kumihimo board, and I've got eight bobbins, and this is your basic eight warp Kumihimo um, braid. Okay. So what I, what I did, on my um, bobbins, I've put two six, two maggas, two six. Okay. For the necklace, you need to put on your, on your board section here, I believe it was 25, then, so it was, it was 25, 25, 25, 25 on all of the eights, which is where you get your 200 from. Oh, okay. Okay, so I've only put two, but it's 25, and you'll end up with, if I remember rightly, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine sections. Can we bring it over so we can is reach it? Because, right? yeah, because the camera can move okay. over. Okay. So there we go. So you've got your, your 6 0 section. So basically, take your contents of your tube out, split it into eight, the same with your 6 0s, and then you can join them on together onto your, onto your warp threads oh, on your bobbins. Oh, OK. On your, on got your you. OK. Does that make sense? Yes. So that's what I've done on here, but I've, obviously, I've just got smaller amounts to show you. OK. So I, I always use the large disc. I know we've got the small coming up at the got, mini one as well. Yep. But I find because of big hands, I, I use the bigger disc. OK. OK. So what I've done, I've, I've popped everything on the bobbies, and I'm using 9, 0.9 Eslon, which we've got a bundle coming so up, have, which is yep. my, my, uh, my um, thread of choice, especially with larger um, seed bees, because it's quick. It's okay, quick. That's, good. That's the main reason. So I've knotted all of my eight sections together, and I'm going to take it through my disc, and I'm going to attach the knot with a weight, which we've also got coming up. Is that the 50 gram? This is the 50 gram. Okay, and what we're going to do is we're going to place each of our eight cords. Can you see at the top here, now this is a beadsmith, the jewellery maker one is exactly the same. Um, we've got four compass points and you need to put two either side of north. Okay. Well, you so I just can up. I just say as yeah. well, yeah. you say the jewellery maker one is exactly the same. Yeah. Um, in fact, yes, it, it, oh, it's that one that's got the north and south on, isn't yeah. it? Oh yeah, there we go. So, we'll just pop this on while Mark sets yep. it up and he'll talk you through, save you watching him do it, but he'll explain it. So, this is our jewelrymaker.com version, exactly the same. Your north, your south, your east, your west, all the numbers, and this is wonderful. This is a compact disc, not the compact disc we all think of, it doesn't play any music, <laughs> and it's 5 95 I think these are great things to take on holiday. They're brilliant. Yeah? You're not doing all of them. You are not. Oh, yeah! That's one bundle. That's amazing. Oh my, that was good just on its own. <laughs> Blimey. That's oh, outstanding. So he's doing, he's doing, sorry, he's doing, hang on a second, let me get this here. Yeah, he's doing the large, he's, the compact, sorry, the large, the compact. I was thinking that's not small. The large, the small, and the square in one pack. Oh, Can I amazing. ask though, the, why would you, why do you go for the square all around? Is it, the, is it the style of the Kumihimo? Yeah, so if you wanted to make flat braids, yeah. you'd go for the square, because okay. you, do, you, you do the braids a completely different way. Oh, okay. okay. Now, I've never made, I've never gone down the square. Um, I've the, never the seen you route. do a no, demo I've never, on I've square. never done a flat. Sarah Elvin is, is the flat oh, okay. Kumihimo queen. She's amazing at Kumihimo. So the large round disc is the one I would use with big hands. The smaller one is your travel or for children, or if you've got smaller hands, you just want to you know, pop in a handbag or something like yep. that. I use the square Coombe Hemo disc for wire macrame rings. Oh, okay. Because there's, there's not very much wastage. Because it's pretty, mm. it's obviously, it, it, it's going to be a smaller um, length of, of lasers on your okay. wire. But instead of using a macrame board and cut off all the wasted ends, I use, and also oh. for pearl knotting, use it as a pearl knotting Oh, yeah, absolutely, well. yeah. So, um, I hate to say it as well, she's really naughty. Mm. But the, the, especially this one here, yeah. it's the best frisbee. <laughs> 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 They're brilliant, especially on the beach because they don't hurt you. Because frisbees. Is this talking from experience. Yeah, I've taken one. <laughs> I know that's really. You bad. could colour it and paint it and do all sorts. It's just you could honestly, jazz it up, bling it up, I've gone through you? that at Leah now. I can pinpoint a strike. It's brilliant, <laughs> honestly. <laughs> it's and you know like one of those games on your holiday where you keep playing, yeah. you keep throwing it back and forth. Nobody wants to drop it. It's just, and because it's soft, if it does catch, it's not mm, like a plastic frisbee. It's brilliant. Yeah. Five ninety-five for all three. 
Well done, Scott. That was really naughty. Well How done. How many do we have of that deal? Because I need new oh, ones. Oh, he wants it. We had a hundred available. Fantastic. Large, compact and square. Large, Science. mini and square. Brilliant deal. Code UGXE74. Fantastic. Okay. So I've set up my eight bobbins. And how do you do that? Okay. So all, all I've done is I've taken the... Can you see the weight? Yeah. So if I show Leo, there's the weight in the centre. Okay. And then you want two cords either side of your four compass points. Oh, okay. South and north Dead and east easy. and west. Okay. okay. Now, I, I don't do very many different um, braid techniques. I tend to do the same one all the time because okay. it, it works and, yep. and it's one I'm used to. So if I show you the start, then I'll do a little section and then I'll show you how we incorporate the magatamas and, and the And we'll pop the weights in as yep. well. Okay. And the cords. Okay. So I'll try to do this. Normally I sit back and I have it on my lap like so, but I'll try and do it on the... Um, so I lift it up a little bit, okay? So what I tend to do, this is how I would do it, okay? And I know Sarah does it a different way than Deb Rudge does it a different way, but this is the way I've always done it. So we take bottom left up to top left, okay? So you have now have three at the top and one at the bottom. Now you need to replace this one, it needs a partner. So you take top right, bottom right. They always turn the same direction at 90 degrees after every move, but you can't change direction, you have to go for the same. So I always go anti-clockwise. Bottom left, top left, top right, bottom right, 90 degrees. Bottom left, top left, top right, bottom right, 90 degrees. So this is your basic eight warp braid. So I'll do a couple of rounds of this and then I'll show you how we incorporate beads. Is that all right? Yes. Okay. What would you love about Kumima? I don't have to think. Okay. I just don't, I don't, because I, it's, it's, it's lovely actually, Kumahima wing. I, I really enjoy it. You do, don't you? Yeah, the, um, the only, it's not an issue, because it is, it's all part of the jewelry making experience, but if you're doing beaded Kumahimo, it will take you longer to thread your threads with the bees than it will to actually make the piece of jewelry. Oh, okay. I made that necklace in probably in about three quarters of an hour. Really? And it took me over an hour to thread all the oh, beads okay. on. <laughs> okay. It's a really quick make. Actually, okay, that's good news then. That's yeah. a, not too long. What, so less than a couple of hours to yeah, make that? Yeah, and it was, wow. a, it was joy, an absolute joy. It's beautiful. Loved it. Loved beautiful. It. So I'll do a few rounds of it. So shall I put the weights on? Yes. Yeah, because yeah, we don't want to wait around, do we? <laughs> that's good. Well, to be fair, I just read it. <laughs> don't, 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 yeah. Uh, now, can I just check, because I've got, I've got, is it one of each? Okay, sorry, I had a three out, I do apologise. So, we've got a hundred weight and the 50 gram weight. Now, the one that Mark's working with is the 50 gram weight, and there's the hundred. So, is, d when would you reach for the hundred gram weight, then? So, I would reach for the hundred gram weight if I was doing multiple strands. So, if you can look on this, this board here, there are 32 slots. So you can have 32 cords. Oh, blimey. So if you've got 32 cords, you need a heavier weight to hold to them all down. To hold the tension down. So I would recommend using the small one up to 12 strands. Oh, well, And then the larger one for 12 and above. 12 strands and below go for the 50 gram. Yeah. That's, oh, that's, oh, that's oh, I'm going to bear that in mind for now then, when yes. I, for, for future then. Yeah. Um, and the 100 gram weight if you're going 12 strands and above. That's a really yeah. good idea. I also like them because I think they look like pterodactyls. <laughs> they do look. They look like, watch, pterodactyl look, yeah. watch. That looks like a pterodactyl. Yeah, it certainly does. Oh, no, it doesn't! <laughs> Sorry, pterodactyl. So if you want a pterodactyl, wait. Now, the thing oh. is, I know people say, oh, you can hang this off and hang that off, and you've got to find a bunch of car keys and whatever. Why, why try and do that when you could buy the proper weight, though? No, absolutely. Do you know what I mean? No, and they're so convenient. I use one all the time. I wouldn't be without mine now. You, yeah. Also, yeah, yeah. little handy tip for the garden. You're having a barbecue. Got your tablecloth on the table. Oh, yes. Why the edges down with those? Brilliant. When the wind comes, it says where it is. Brilliant. Brilliant idea. You can have that for free. <laughs> so, a yeah. Set of two? Yeah. Oh, yeah. So both Put, of those for 9 95 Both of those That's for brilliant. 9 95 That's brilliant. Pretty good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's fantastic. How are you getting on? So, if I should just talk about cords up, as well. Yeah, if I just, just bring this up slow, you can see that I've got the, the little section of braid. So it builds really quickly using the um, using the nine the point nine S. Okay. One. Okay. So what I'll do now, I'll show you how we incorporate six O's. Okay. Then you can show something and then I'll show you how we do the magnetic. Oh, okay. 
Is that all right? Brilliant. So we do exactly the same, exactly the same technique. So we're, we're still doing the um, over and under. I'm still doing the turning. So to incorporate beads, what we're going to do is we're going to take our bobbin. We're going to slide the first bead. And because these are six O's and magatamas, there's a lot of surface area, so they sit under the cores really well. So we're going to place the bead underneath so it catches the horizontal. We're going to replace our cord exactly the same way. We're going to take its partner. We're going to slide it down. We're going to feed it underneath so it gets caught on the horizontals. Replace the thread across. Take up our bead. Pop it underneath. So you can see with a 6 o, it's so easy and they catch so quickly. Yeah. You can do this with 8 o's, 11 o's, but obviously because it's a smaller bead, you'll need a, a smaller cord. And also you'll just need to be a bit more careful when you're popping your beads underneath. Okay. So you just slide it down, drop it in, hook it underneath the horizontals. And you can see they're so sturdy in there. Yeah. Not, none of those are going to pop out or fall out. They're fantastic. All that iridescence and rainbow colours coming is it's brilliant. So I'll finish off this row of six. Okay. And then I'll show you how to Shall do Shall I jump in? Yep. With some cord. These are ace. So we've done the weights. Both of them, a 50 gram and a 100 gram for 9.95. And now we're going to give you one, two, three, four, five different colours of your Eslan. Which, uh, is that 0 0.9? They're all nine. Yep, yep. thought they were. Yep. 0.9 in those lovely colours there. Um, really pretty, lots of lovely vibrant colours there. So again, you could really jazz up these designs with some beautiful cord, couldn't you? All of those colours would work with these, Every with single these beads. One. Yeah. Uh, cracking cord indeed, all beautiful, uh, 0.9 mil. Uh, 0.9 mil rather, which and you can use these for macrame as well. Oh, absolutely. Yep, yeah, that's yeah. what you taught pearl, me to macrame knotting. with, you didn't you? You can do pearl knotting if yeah. you've got a large drill hole. Macrame friendship bracelets. Can we times things. 32 by 5, please? <laughs> 160 metres of cord. <clears throat> that's a lot. Let me just re uh, talk you through the colours that you've got here as well. That's wrong. That's really wrong. I know. I, I didn't like to say. You can That's tell him. That's really, really wrong. Burgundy, light peach, neon green, rust nylon and steel nylon. Yeah, fourteen ninety five. Oh. What, what should it be, Mr Smith? I think we've been doing it £4 the reel recently. I've never Four, seen it go eight, under £3. I've never seen it go under Awkward. Well, you have £3 now. before. Well, you have now. Three, six, nine, two pounds ninety nine a reel. Yeah, I've never seen it at that price. Never. Ever, ever. Oh dear. Well, they're going to go, aren't they? Yep. They're amazing colours as well. Yep. That green, that green with oh, the lemon. The green yeah. with a yum, lemon. With the what? Well, lemon. Easy for you to say. Magatama. Oh, yeah. Akuna Magatama. I had to do it. You did? No, I had to do it. I, I tried to resist. No, I, I tried to resist. <laughs> I did try. Oh, Sorry. Dear. So, under the Kumahimo board, you can see that little section Ooh. of six O's, which is just a, and you Look can make a full six O bracelet. You can make two six O bracelets, and you can make, um, or as I've done, into you, I've used the two different sizes together. So, for Magatamas, exactly the same way, but you just make sure that before you th attach your bobbins to your disc and do all, all the malarkey, just make sure that they're all facing the same, the same way because you, you can't, because if, if you've got one facing the other way, when you come to make it, it will stick out like a sore thumb oh, and, you, and you'll notice it. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. So exactly the same. So we take our, our bobbin, we slide the magatama underneath. Can you see how easy that catches underneath? Mm -hmm. Then we slide the next one down, all the way down, and it catches so beautifully. And then we turn it around, so it's exactly the same way. And if you have the, the beads in the groups, that's a sign that you, you're, you're coming to the end of a you're coming to the end of a group. Can you see they all they all stick out at they an do, angle? They do, yeah. So the, already, I've only put four on. You start to get that sort of fish scale, dragon scale. Look, I love it. Which is which is what magatama. I think magatamas were made for kumamimo. Oh, I, I really that's do. That's exactly what when when I first saw them with Joe Barkley Logie, oh, yeah, she yeah. said exactly the same thing. No, They're just thrill. perfect for for, for kumamimo. Yeah. So if you've got something else to show, I'll quickly finish the beaded section okay, and then I'll talk through well, how I've Well, I've got the endings that you've oh, used fantastic. in the necklace. Brilliant. Um, you couldn't... Yeah. Can I borrow it just yeah. so I can... Just so I can show... Thank you so much, lovely. I've put a different clasp on the back of this yeah. one, but... That's we can put any difference. clasp, but... Yeah. Clasp. Well, the bracelet, the, the um, yellow bracelet had the clasp from the final uh -huh. back. There we go. So those there are what we call the bell caps. And if you show it in your... If I show it in the bracelet as well, look, just to show you... And Mark's actually used the toggle from the, yes, from the, yeah. there you go, look. 
So those are your bell cups that Mark's used for the bracelet and the necklace. So what we've done here is given you, thank you, sweet pin, that's the bracelet that we're giving away. Excuse me, excuse me. Oh, okay, sorry. Um, so what we've got here is the um, rose gold colour and the yellow gold colour. So I confirm if they're coloured or plated. I think they're plated, aren't plated, they? Plated, yeah. Yeah, I think they're plated. There you go. Fancy findings. Rose gold, plated and mm -hmm. yellow gold plated. They are designed for Kumahima, but you can use them in um, macrame as well, but perfect for Kumahima. Because the other thing that they've got is they've got the actual O-rings that... The oval rings, yeah. The oval rings yeah. that... And why do you need oval rings? Because the, if you look at the little loop at the top of the bell cap, yep. it's too deep to take a conventional round jump ring, so you need that, that long side. Does got that you. make sense? That does make take, exact yeah. sense, yeah. So attention to detail is amazing. Oh, yeah. So we've got yeah. the O-rings, we've got the bell caps, and we've got every, we've got the toggles, we've got every element that you need there to finish off your Kumahimo jewellery perfectly. And you've got it in the rose gold plated and the yellow gold plated for you. Um, so, yeah, designed specifically for Kumahimo. That's brilliant. There's two packs there, aren't there, you've popped in? <laughs> yeah? Because the rose gold come on their own, rose gold plated and the yellow gold plated come on their own. Yeah, it's £7.48 each pack. That's brilliant. Fourteen ninety five. Well, say £7.48. We haven't so seen these for such a long we time. We have and they're just lovely. great. But they yeah. are, you can use them for macrame as well, can't you? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And you can use them as, as you can put, um, you know the long shards of amethyst or, or crackle oh, quartz yeah. that we get? You can actually pop one of the bell caps over the top on a leather cord and just have a really nice amulet pendant. So that's another way of using them. You can use them to pop a round bead in if you want to. You do all sorts. I love them. You're so cute. You can tell I'm enthusiastic. He gets so, he gets so, I love, I love, our, I love how passionate you get. And look, have you seen the different sizes as well? Because you oh, don't always do, because obviously the different amount, the amount of strands you're using will depict as to what size bell cap you go for. You've got enough there for eight pieces of jewellery, so that's eight bracelets or eight necklaces. So you've got a lot of findings in there. Look at that. And it's all specifically made. Look? I also think those would be nice for in a doll's house for the cloche. Is it a cloche? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Look at me knowing the word. Yeah. Yeah. Do you know all what the cloche is? What's the cloche then? Over the plate of food, yeah, in a doll's house. Yeah. That'd be nice in there, wouldn't it? I've just thought of that. A little cloche in a, in a doll's house. For posh. Be a guest. Be a guest. <laughs> Put our service to the test. Tie your napkin round your neck, shall we? And we provide the rest. Do, 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 do. I love my piece in the piece. <laughs> I love the new one. I watched it again the other night and I bought the soundtrack. I've got it in the car. <laughs> you're, you're quite like Gaston. Luke Evans. He's Luke amazing. Luke Evans. Look at Luke Evans. You're Luke Evans. Oh, Luke Evans as Gaston. Oh. Luke Evans as anything, to be honest. I was going to say, if it had to be Scott or Luke Evans, I might have to go Luke. Uh, oof. Suave and Kinney's just <laughs> said in here. I don't know what I'd say, Suave. He's from Wales. He's very manly. He is yeah. from Wales, very he's manly. Got, yeah, he amazing just, voice. Oh, yeah. superb. Yeah. Superb voice. Anyway, you ready yet? Because yeah. we're chatting away about Luke Evans. 14.95. Luke Evans. Oh. How long have I got? Well, we go off in 20 minutes. Well, that's what I'm thinking. So. Oh, oh well, 15 okay. minutes. All right, sorry. So, imagine you've finished your piece. Okay, I'm just going to set this up. And what the first thing you're going to do, you're going to make sure your threads are hanging over the edge of your Kumhimo disc, okay? And we're just going to cut the ends. So all eight. You need to make sure that you leave a couple of inches tail on each end. So I'll quickly do that. Okay. And then what you're going to do, you're going to take thread from top, thread from bottom. We're going to tie a knot, just a single knot. Going to turn it round. Yep. One from the top, one, one from, from the, the bottom. bottom. Tie a knot. Just a single little knot, it's just to hold your cords. Same on the third side, just a little knot. And then the same with the other. Okay. So that's your little section. So I've just made that little section just to. Oh, I mean, that Mark, would make just a lovely, little, a lovely little bead or an earring. It's beautiful. And they, it's the colours for me. It's beautiful. It's the colours. So the colours on the shapes. Yeah, no, it's brilliant. So then what I do, I use the glue that's super, okay, and what I do is about half a centimetre from the end, I just 
pop a little blob of glue there, turn it, just there, just there, just there. That seeps into and glues your kumahimo end. Okay. Then I cut this end off, which will leave a little tuft, which oh, you okay. then use that tuft to stick in the bell cap. To stick in, in the bell cap. Okay. Massive, massive, massive tip. This Ooh, is, this is yeah, a tip we like the tip. Top tip. Is, if we can just go across to the findings pads, yeah. attach your loop, your oval jump ring, yeah. your clasp to your bell cap yeah. before you put your bell cap onto your necklace. Because once you, if you put your bell cap onto the necklace and then you have that faff trying to get the loop of the, you know, the jump ring and get your clasp on, sometimes if you're not putting enough glue in, the whole thing will come off and you'll get a completely glued end and you'll get into a mess. Oh, so do the whole clasp that's bit first tip, isn't it? and then attach it onto your kumihimo. So you can see on the back here, Ooh. we've got some... So this the gubbins end here was oh, put... Oh, you had to get the word gubbins in, didn't you? So, put, so get your, um, your clasp together first. <laughs> then attach it onto the end of your kumahima. And that, it's a really professional finish. And I love these findings. I love everything about these kits, as you've probably gathered. But I just love that. I would sell that for 100 quid on my would, store. Would you? Without a shadow oh, hurrah. It would, it's it pricing go, it something. Go, it would sell. Good, I, yeah. I really do think it would. Uh, wow. Level, but I'm not going to sell that. I'm didn't done. think you would. I didn't think you would. Wow, well, we need. We do need it for something else that we might be talking about on Thursday's Late Show. Did you like our little um, head pin? That's I did. Nice. Just want to make sure nobody sits down. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well done. Oh. oh, we have not. Which one? Which one? Which one? This, which one? The Magamatamas. The Magamatamas. What a wonderful this phrase. This There's ten left. Well, Ain't um, no passing craze. Please. I can't stop. Every time I look at those pearls, it's something strange. The Swarovski happens. pearls. Yeah. You go all gooey, don't you? Look at that shot you? on the screen, look. Look at it. Um, can I just mention oh. 50 of the 10 mil Swarovski pearls in that gorgeous Scarabaeus? Scarabaeus, yeah. Scarabaeus. Yes, how you remember. Scarabouche, Scarabouche. Yeah. <laughs> Will you do the fandango? Uh, and you've got 50 of those, and you've got 48 of the 6 mil in that beautiful um, purpley tone. Mm. Then the, and bear in mind, these are all brand new. Never mm. had any of these on air before. No. Never had the Magatamas in the gold. Never had the Magatamas in that beautiful, oh, mm. gorgeous. Uh, let me give you the right colours again, actually. Scarabaeus green in the 10 mil Swarovski pearls. Iridescent purple in the 6 mil Swarovski pearls. 48 of those, 50 of the large 10. Mill and then the metallic variegated blue iris in the long magatamas, they're four by seven mil. Uh, full twenty-four gram tunes I've got to add as well. We're not we're not we're not skimping. In each. That's it, because Mark's counted them. <laughs> and silver yeah. line gold, brand new colours of magatamas. Now then, I've got ten left, peeps. Is it still ten? Six, sorry, six. Morag, Chloe, Elizabeth, Jane and Steve, Angela, uh, Collector, Dawn, Eileen, Sandra, Ella, Karen, Collector. That's just the people in the basket's got six left. No, you need to get them all checked out, otherwise we can't give the bangle away. Good so point. So you've got to all check out quick, because we need to bring the call centre and we need to get somebody winning Mark's stunning bracelet. So you need to, can you check out quick, <laughs> please? <laughs> I'm sorry to say, but I don't, I don't want to have the chance to give this away, and then we can't. Helen, right, great. Helen's just checked out. We've got five left. F oh, Amber. Can you imagine Amber? Oh, Amber's, Amber. Amber's called Amber, and she could have that bracelet. Oh, oh Amber. Uh, well, she's got a chance. We're down. Oh, hang on. Eileen, are we down to four? Three or four, Scott? Okay, four left. So Amber's got a chance. Ellen's got a chance. Helen's got a chance. Saren's got a chance. We've just had somebody check out in Nebraska. Oh, wow. Okay, they're on now. Sorry, is it three left? Four left? Th two left, sorry. <laughs> right then, we need the last two to check out. While, we, while you do, we'll have the star by. The second they're sold out, hon. Oh, they are. Okay, can you call the call centre and get a winner, please? Being very demanding, aren't we? Very bossy. <laughs> Bet Scott's thinking, who's in charge here? <laughs> Me or you? <laughs> sorry. Me. Him. Uh, right then, star by. These ambers in the frosted ambers 
I'm thinking with um, the beautiful gold maggot armors. Perfect. Yeah? Perfect. Oh, yeah. I mean, I've seen this strand once, or, or a strand similar to this with the frosted, and I just fell completely in love with amber all over again. It's a very different look, isn't it? Completely. It's lovely. Yeah. And I think totally unisex. Yeah. yeah. Frosted agate. Uh, frosted ambers in nuggets. Reminds me of Demerara sugar. Oh, yeah. That, that sort of colour, isn't it? Yeah. But if I just show you with those, look. How superb wow. would that look? Yeah? It's very Game of Thrones, that bracelet. I'm just looking at it. Is it? Like Dragon's oh, Dragon okay. Sorry, I don't watch yeah. Game of Thrones, do I? So I don't know. Don't know. Sorry. Don't know. Baltic Amber. Multicolours of Baltic Amber with that frosting. Totally changes the look, doesn't it? Beautiful. Totally. It so beautiful. They are eight. And the big pieces as well. They got to 21 by 10 mil on there. Okay, how would you set jewellery with those, darling? Well, I'm just deciding whether I would separate the colours or not, but I don't think I probably would. Because I, I just I love wouldn't. them. They work so beautifully, yeah, don't I, they? I think that's the beauty of them. You could, you could actually do, you know, like we had ombre day yesterday. You could actually. You could do yeah, a nice yeah, yeah. ombre design, couldn't you? Yeah, that'd Dark be nice. to light, light that'd to dark. Nice. Yeah. yeah. I like that idea. Yeah. Like, I'd have to, I think I'd have to separate each stone with something. Like what? Just to, just to space out so you can see around all the stones. Whether Would you put one of the Magatamas in? I was thinking the black spinel we had. <gasps> the little daggers. Because you'd have the daggers going completely in one direction. Is there any All left? the way around the neck. That would be amazing, wouldn't it? These are ace. These, yeah. we took to 9.95 earlier. If you, if you, um, there are a few left. 9.95, first time we've ever had that, um, Faceted cone design. Now then, wow. if we didn't have the sales manager in the studio, just the studio, we would have gone to 26.95. That's what it's always been, hasn't it? It's not staying there. Well, we are giving you a big <laughs> saving, a big sales manager saving. My word. Seven pounds, was that seven pounds off? Mm. Seven pounds. Yeah. That's a big saving. And it's Baltic Amber Frosted Nuggets. Never, we've never done that before, Anila, straight in. I'll have two of them, thanks, Scott. You just saved yourself 14 pounds, Anila. It's not to be sniffed at, that saving, is it? 14 pounds. Yeah, that's brill. 14 pounds. That's two starters, isn't it, in a restaurant? Well, I'll tell you what else it is. Mm. I've just bought some new bed linen. That's two pillowcases. Wow. You yes. just saved. Yeah. It's got two pillowcases on nice thread count mm. pillowcases. <laughs> mm. <laughs> I could make pillowcases. How can you make a pillowcase sound flirtatious? <laughs> <laughs> I'm imagining oh. his head on my pillowcase. Oh. <laughs> anyway, Baltic Amber. Baltic Amber Frosted Nook. Do you want to show the neckline? Let's take it upstairs to the décolletage. Look at them. Oh, they're very tribal, aren't they? But with a sort of a, a, quite a modern contemporary look. Yeah. I think. I think they're amazing. I've always liked this. You'd wear these, wouldn't you? Without a doubt. Yeah. I do like conventional amber, but there's just something, yeah, so something really different about the frosted. Yeah, it's well, they're frosted. Yeah, imagine this with it. Remember, we used to do the frosted rough cut um, tanzanite nuggets and. Oh, I'm sh didn't we have some of them in the show tonight? Oh, did we? I'm um, sure we oh, had right. a strand of tanzanite. I think you need to put them with, with, um, with some. Have a quick scoop, will you, Scott? I'm sure we did, you know. No, yeah. I thought we had the frosted ones, mm. the, the frosted nuggety ones. I'm sure we did. Oh, perhaps I'm talking. Perhaps I just dreamed it. Might <laughs> <laughs> have done. Brian and Angela has just got them. Wendy's coming in. Collector's coming in. Claire's coming in. Melanie, Anne, and Neela Joan. Collector. You are. Have you run the course into yet for the draw? Don't forget, because we've promised. Has the kit sold out? There are still two left. Mm, hurry up, you. Like, we need to do the draw. Hurry up. Right, we've got a quick chat, quick, quick chat. We've got, to, we've got to do one more and then we'll have to announce the winner. Yes, please. Somebody messaged oh, in earlier and said, you got any cries of colour? Oh, have we? Very limited, though. Sorry. Sorry. Oh, their eyes. Oh, those are the Larimar. 
Oh, oh were well, those yeah. ridiculously priced Larimar? We, we took Larimar into ten pounds today. In fact, do you want to see with the Larimar? Oh, there we are. Yeah, it's still yeah. there. Shall I show you? Just got to grab it. Excuse me, I've got to lean across. I can't lean across. Sorry. There you go. Voila. Oh yeah, look, perfect, perfect. <laughs> I love that. Those Larimar went under ten pounds earlier. Just saying. Sold out though. 105 carats of Chrysocola there. In s now, how unusual that is. Seven mil round. What? Seven mil round. That's unusual because they're normally six, eight, yeah, or ten. Yeah. And we're going under 20. Oh, you said under 20? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I thought I just got myself in trouble again then. Uh, yeah, beautiful Chrysocola. Rare. We know how rare it is, don't we? Oh, we've got to do the winner as one of the kits. Of the bangle, rather, sorry. Somebody's going to win my, uh, Mark's bangle. It's going to be a quick exit tonight, isn't Ooh, it? Yeah. We're going to have to go. Thank you from him, you, me, the, goodbye. Yeah. We're just waiting for the winner to be um, confirmed from the call centre. Sorry about that, we've got to wait. We're not allowed I to do it ourselves. I love that one there with the turquoise. I know. Splash That's beautiful. It's proper special, isn't it? Well done, everybody, on those. They're nearly sold out. There were very, very few. They're the original source as well from the Congo. Um, right then, so... Oh, phone. Oh, there we are. So, let's get the mangle. Come on, hurry up. We're waiting to see who's won it. This beautiful bracelet, very kindly donated by Mr. Smith as a lovely gift for somebody that whoever bought, whomever bought the kit, whosoever bought the kit. Mm -hmm. Oh. He's got it. Is it? The winner, da 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 da, of Mark Smith's bangle. You can announce it. I didn't hear. I didn't hear the name. Chloe in Kent. Well done. Oh, I love giving my jewellery away. You do, don't yeah. you? Yeah, he does. Yes, and that's yes. going to be posted out to you, Chloe, in Kent. Congratulations. Not well only done. are you going to get the most beautiful kit, Chloe, that you're going to love, you've got the added bonus of that spectacular yeah. bracelet. Well, well done, done, Chloe. Well done. And thank you, Mark, pleasure. for letting us Absolute give that pleasure. away. It's very yeah. sweet Absolute of you. Pleasure. Very kind of you. Thank you so much. Um, right then, what a show it's been. Um, Jilly says he wants it. Thank you, Team May, Scott and crew for another fantastic evening of entertainment and lovely goodies. Sleep tight. And you. Our absolute pleasure, Sweetie. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. And said Zena and Mark, I love watching you two, like spending an evening with two friends. Oh, mm. well, you know, that's how we feel with you, don't yeah, we? Absolutely. We just feel like we we're amongst it. We, friends. Yeah, we can't do it without you. Yeah, it's wonderful. All. So thank you for that lovely message, Jan. Very you. kind of you. Scott, sales manager, you have outdone yourself well this done. evening, my friends. Yeah. He's looked after us. But we can't do it without our fantastic team. We've got Mike directing, we've got Leah on cameras, and we've got the wonderful Lucy running around looking after us left, right, and centre. And Tom. And Tom. <laughs> oh, we've got two tonight, I meant to ask. Ooh. Oh. Oh, mm. they're training each other. Mm. Um, but most importantly, um, it's all about you. So thank, thank you, you for your company because Pointlessness would be sat here talking to ourselves, wouldn't we? Would. We? we would. So and we love it. But now the good news is we do have an announcement. We're back on Thursday on the Late Show together, aren't we? For fairy tale day. For fairy tale day. Are you going yeah. to be my fairy tale? I'll be your prince, prince charming. Will you, my prince charming? Yeah. Who will you be? Rapunzel Ugly sister. Or Cinderella <laughs> or Snow White? I love. Oh. oh. Are we mentioning that? Oh, I didn't know this. doing some clearance on Thursday. Oh. Anyway, we will see you on yeah. Thursday's Late Show, but tune in bright and breezy at 8 o'clock tomorrow morning for more Live JM.